Welcome, guys. Just jamming to the the title screen music. <laughs> Wonder we'll get some fan songs for Raincode too. Now that I think about it. <laughs> but welcome, guys. Hopefully, uh, y'all can hear me and see me okay. I think everything looks okay on my end. <laughs> Thank you for the happy birthday messages. Always appreciate it. Always appreciate those. Oh yeah, there was a dono, I think, that happened before I started to. Let me go to that. Thank you, uh, Shine K, for the donation. Oh wow, that was at 10 a.m. Dang. Hi, Weeby. I think Yomi is inspired by Yuri from Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc B. Both are lead enforcers for the villains. Introduced with a, sis a sister. I was like, wait, sister. Sinister smile. And her psychopaths. Hashtag Yomi did nothing wrong. Hashtag pure okay. I can't, I can't support that. <laughs> I don't know if I can support those hashtags. I appreciate the donation though. Man, he did my girl Martina so dirty. I wanted to just say, like, I wanted to stand him. I wanted to. I saw him. I saw how evil he looked. I saw his crazy Kamida eyes. And I was like, this is my man. Like, I want to, with every fiber of my being, to stand this man. But what he did to my wife is so wrong. So wrong. So wrong. So cruel. But anyways, let's go ahead and get it. Get started. <laughs> We're going to see the masked guy today. I'm interested to see what's up with him. Um, he seems pretty important, at least based off of the little intro movie that we saw. <laughs> Y'all still simping for him in chat. He's still Someone's fine though, Weeby. So that corner. makes it okay. The pretty privilege in chat. An unrealized ideal is shattered. Okay. Like tears flooding the city. Oh, this kind of looks like uh, some of the posters we saw throughout the city, right? The rebellion or whatever. No one can be saved this way. Kind of mirrors it at least. I think. Someone oh, Jesus first. Christ. Oh, that looks like a child's As hand. In a melted dream. Ugh. City's pretty messed up, man. <laughs> Martina X Weeby. That's the new Meeby. I will not hear any of that old Meeby ship. That's Meeby from here on that out. That was quite refreshing. A bath is like a fleeting dream. I feel like his voice kind of sounds familiar too, but I'm not totally sure. Where exactly I recognize it? Your sweat and past are washed away. You're born anew. Would you like to join me next time? Hmm. No, thanks. <laughs> God, everybody just hits on Yuma constantly. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, a uh, big chunk of Beyblade Burst. Last time on Raincode, Martina became geometrically perfect. <laughs> but she was still cute. That's all that matters, right? According to Yomi. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Appreciate ya. Oh, if you're embarrassed about taking off your clothes, you can hop in with them on. I do that once every three times anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, who are you? <laughs> it's like, I, I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> oh? If you want to know who I am, does that mean you wish to be friends with me? Oh my god, Bestie. He does kind of have like a sassy undertone to his voice too. I'm very curious to see what he's up with. F friends? What's up with him? Yes, I want to be your friend. How about you? Mm -hmm. Huh? I, I. I think you should avoid sketchy guys like that. You're just gonna end up joining a pyramid scheme or something. I just want to lie for now, so he doesn't kill you. You know? Oh, that's right. I haven't introduced myself yet. It is I, the one who runs the city. He's kind of giving me, like, Mikado vibes, too, with the mask. I'm sorry. It's been so long since I've built personal relationships that I don't remember the procedure. <laughs> My name is Makoto Kagutsuchi. Nice to meet you. Makoto Kagats Kagutsuchi. It's like, oh my god, Makoto? Dad? <laughs> is that you, Nagi? Makoto Kagutsuchi. Okay, cool. Uh, hi, I'm Yuma Cocohead. Oh man, I really meant to rewatch that scene too before. Um, the one that had to do with Yuma, like uh, his old memories as well. Crap, I meant to, re to rewatch that. Hmm, Yuma. Master, maybe you should comment on his mask. He's probably waiting for you to do that. 
His mask kind of creeping me out with the tongue, you know? I don't know. He's going to be like, la, 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 la. like, and I was just like, kind of weird how I feel like sometimes he's able to stick the tongue out and sometimes he's able to, like, not do that. It's like, how do you control the mask, dude? Thank you, Inner China 20 Rose. So excited. Haven't finished the chapter myself. He's sus. Yes, he is. Very, very sus. But thank you for being a member. And thank you, Kyoko. Kyokuro Kirigiri for being a member for 13 months. Dang. Wait, he kind of sounds like Dezuhiko. <laughs> I guess a little bit. Huh. I'll pay attention to it. I, I doubt it's him. I can't really imagine Dezuhiko being a threat at all. <laughs> but I'll keep it in mind since he is able to like disguise himself and shit. Um, about that mask. Oh, this? Interested? Like just the way it's positioned. <laughs> looks weird. This is like a family heirloom yeah. to me. It has quite a history. Mmm, with the eye too. It is said my family has demonic blood flowing through us. Normal people who gaze upon my face lose their sanity. <laughs> but you survived. I think that means we're like boyfriends now, right? That's why I must keep my face hidden. Or I can't even hold a normal conversation. Oh. So what is this demonic blood, you might ask? I did my own research on the matter. What is going on with the genre of this game? It goes back 500 years. Back then, this land was comprised of over 200 kingdoms, great and small. Uh, um, <laughs> I think I got it now, thanks. <laughs> it's like, yeah, can I leave now? I don't really want to get lore dumped on. I just kind of want to go back to the submarine. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, are you sure? <laughs> but I was about to lore dump a whole lot, man. This guy's worse than I thought. Where are we anyway? Good question. Excuse me, where are we right now? My assumption is that this guy's like the leader of the whole city or something, you know? It's like, why else would he have a scary mask on? Mm -hmm. This is my home. It's the highest point in town. Yeah. The top floor of Kanai Tower. <laughs> I'm like God to these peasants. Thank you, big chunk of Beyblade Burst. It's weird how much in common the Suma has with Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel Yuma. A ghost partner they can only see, but Zexful was more like an angel. Amnesia plot, hints of romance between them, especially in the manga. Interesting, I do feel like amnesia is pretty common. I guess, I kind of feel like, well, I guess partners you can't see isn't super common. I feel like sometimes you do see that in anime. But that's interesting, yeah, I still haven't checked out Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexful at all. But thank you for uh, the donation, appreciate ya. The top floor of that tower? These guys serious? are rich. He's like Stark uh -huh. levels rich. Hey, let's take a selfie while we're here. Uh, maybe you should flirt with him. Come on, let's become let's become rich, Yuma. Why am I here? I assumed you were playing in the river. However, it's not good to get carried away. <laughs> You're like drowning and stuff. You were lying by the riverbank in tatters. One of my men just happened to find you. Just so happened. So I had you brought here. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if we just let you die. You're here from the lowest part of town to the highest. How does it feel to have traveled between heaven and hell? Um, where are the others? Was anyone else there besides me? Yeah, I was kind of wondering that too. I was like, everybody else drowned as well. There was no one else. I Ooh. see. Yikes. Chief Yako. Lara. No, Vivia. Tezuhiko. Fubuki. Vivia. I'm like, Desu, it's okay if you die. <laughs> <laughs> but not Vivian, no! They're probably okay, though. Surely they're not gonna kill off the other half of the detective cast. I hope they're all okay. It's all my fault. The peacekeepers have it out for us because I've been butting into cases, pretending to be a detective. If I'd followed the chief's advice and stayed put at the agency, none of this would have ever happened. There we God, go. Me Acting like some tragic heroine again. The only people who'd give you any sympathy for that shtick are the possessive types drawn to the naive. Just forget about it all and be positive. <laughs> Say you have amnesia and reset your past. <laughs> we just go through that shtick again. Come on, be positive. I'm my memories. The Nocturnal Detective Agency was the one place where I felt like I belonged. If that's gone, I don't know what to do. Hey, you're lucky to be alive. Compared to the other dead detectives, that is. <laughs> and they're like super dead, let me tell you. I, I was looking over them when they were drowning. Oof. <laughs> Oofers. They're not dead. They have to be alive somewhere. Oh, we have lots of visitors today. Ew. You might want to hide for now, Yuma. 
Oh, is it gonna be Yomi? Hide? Why? Oh god, is he gonna have Cube Martino with him? You don't want I to can't go look. play in the river again, do you? I don't wanna look. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Master, I've got a bad feeling about this. Do as you're told and hide. Yeah, for real, Yuma. But where am I supposed to hide? Where oh, I, I gotta hide? choose? Oh god! Hi, oh god, Yomi's please. coming for me! Oh god, he's gonna turn me into a cube! Oh Jesus! Oh wait, let me god dang it. A uh, stupid Steam Deck having the opposite controls. Yeah. And <laughs> I don't know what's it voice to give this guy. Should I give him like a Mikado voice? Because of the mask? Uh, looks like we have lots of guests today. Maybe I should order in. Okay, I guess I'll hide behind here. Uh or oh, can I explore some more? Is that is that what else I'm able to do? <laughs> He's like, aren't you gonna hide soon? No, no, I got very important stuff to do. I need to get five detective points over here by examining the plant. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, very, very important. Very important. Oh, wait, there's a, shar a shard somewhere? That's what people are saying? Oh, yes, I need to get in the pool. Wait, can I jump? I don't, I don't think I can jump in this game, can I? Come on, damn it, Yuma. Damn it, Yuma. Uh, he's going so slow. <laughs> Higher pitched Mikado. That could be good, yeah. A shard. Oh, maybe the kitchen would be a good place to hide. Oh. Where's the shard? Oh, kitchen. Wow. This kitchen is incredible, but I wonder if he cooks for himself. Oh, uh, with this kind of opulence, you know, there's a personal chef somewhere in the mix. Oh, kill him! Ten detective points. I knew this was. <laughs> I knew this was a good place. Uh, near one of the. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. I think. Yeah. Come on, Yuma. Go quicker. <laughs> Okay, you need to have some pep in your step, Yuma. You're about to get turned into a cube. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll hide here. Let's hide in the kitchen. Yuma, are you just gonna sit next to the... Come on, at least hide behind it, you dumbass. Oh, it is That's him! The director of the Peacekeepers, Yumi Hill Smile. It's rare to see you all the way up here. Maybe this means we'll get a bright and sunny day tomorrow. Hmm. Well, a damn good day to you as well, masked man. Or is trick or treat the proper way to greet a mask lover like oh. you? <laughs> I guess they aren't on great terms, it seems like, so far. So what brings you here? Hmm. If it's a treat you're looking for, I have some homemade cookies. Lisa doesn't really seem like he respects Makoto too much, which I wasn't really uh, expecting. Unfortunately, I only accept tricks. I heard a rumor that you're hiding a detective. <laughs> that can't be true. I love it goes behind him even more. Oh shit, they're talking about me. Detective? Whatever do you mean? <laughs> you think you can hide your expression behind a mask? You're as creepy as ever. If you weren't in this city, by now I'd be... Mm. Oh, so he wants to like usurp his uh, role, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. The peacekeepers are always watching you. I think Yomi, he's the one who's like in charge of the peacekeepers, right? And this guy, I don't know if this guy's some like Nepo, like, <laughs> I don't know. Nepo you maybe kind of situation. That's why he's so high in power, but interesting. You, Cause you'd think that Yomi would be the one with the real power since yeah, it seems like he's the one who can actually control the peacekeepers. Okay. I guess uh, let me read some donos. I feel like I've gotten quite a few that I have not read through yet. Yeah. Now that we're not rushed to hide anymore. Okay, thank you, big chunk of Beyblade Burst. If these similarities keep going with Zexel, Shinigami and Yuma are gonna fuse and go Super San. We can only dream. God, knowing Kodaka, we probably will do some shit like that at like chapter six or something. Thank you, uh, Jean Philippe Hansen's next Kodaka game. Everyone just dies on the cover. <laughs> Like it's just a five minute long game. Everybody dies immediately. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even be shocked, honestly. Thank you, Demon30. This Makoto guy is a Chun Boyo for sure. Oh, like a Chunie? He does kind of seem like it. He seems really important and kind of evil, but I don't know, he doesn't get along with Yomi, which seems like a good sign. I, I we'll see. We'll see what 
We'll see what happens. Thank you, Emma. Hi, Weeby. I love your work and your voice. Also, I think you'd really enjoy the game Little Misfortune. It's a short horror comedy and also adorable. I've heard a lot about that game. I've had it on my list to play for quite a while. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But uh, thank you for the donation. Appreciate you. But yeah, I do plan on playing that eventually. Eventually. <laughs> Someday in the future soon. I just have so many games on my list, you know? Okay, let's talk to Makoto. That was the director of the Peacekeepers, wasn't it? You know him? Hmm. Our relationship isn't so shallow that he's a mere acquaintance, but I wouldn't call it a friendship either. Okay. If I must call it something, I'd say he's like a shadow. Mm. We all have our own inseparable shadows, right? Shadows? Thinking it'd be more like a rival. Who are you? I'm just a man living at the highest point in town. Do you need to know more than that? <laughs> that doesn't tell me anything. I'm rich, okay? So that's all you need to know. <laughs> you sure are honest. I love this city more than anyone. And more than anyone, I worry for its future. I don't know, man. This guy is so sus. He's trying so hard to seem, like, nice and chill. And he's just, you know, a homie who happens to live in a penthouse at the top of the city. But... We'll see. That's why I feel so gloomy about it all. Like the sky, the cold rain falls within my heart. Oh my god, the fucking fake tear on the mask. By the way, I hear that you're a detective. I didn't know they still existed in this town. I'm a trainee. There are other detectives much better than me. Somewhere out there. <laughs> they might be dead, but you know. Naturally, this means you have some knowledge about this place. I suppose so, yes. Even as we speak... A disaster strikes Kanai Ward. You could say Amaterasu Corporation is responsible. For years now, the tragedies occurring in this city are the result of an upset of the power balance within Amaterasu. Is there even like a mayor of this town? Could he be like a mayor, but then it's like Amaterasu is the one who like really controls it or something? Along those lines, maybe? But uh, thank you, big chunk of Beyblade Burst. Yomi, <laughs> get cubed, dummy. God. Oh, too soon, too soon. Thank you for the donation, appreciate ya. The power balance? The company has gotten too big. Each segment yeah. has grown increasingly independent and now lacks overall cohesion. Oh wow, even the, like, divisions are kind of fighting? As a result, the power structure has been completely thrown off balance. Amidst it all, the peacekeepers took charge. Makes sense. They've imposed strict rules within the company and eliminated anyone who refused to obey. The corporation was on the brink of collapse, but the peacekeepers managed to regain order. And I'm sure you can easily imagine what happened after that, right? That order took hold over all of Kanai Ward. Okay. You're a sharp one, detective. Let me read through this. Three class peacekeepers managed to regain order. Okay, that makes sense. They fly the banner of order and force laws only convenient to themselves on the people. Both Amaterasu Corporation and Kanai Ward belong to them now. They do as they please. Okay. They can overturn laws on a whim, which permitted bribes to be exchanged at a rampant pace. See, it seems like this guy's probably like the mayor or something through, I guess, some kind of bloodline. But then, yeah, it's like Yomi who like really kind of controls the town because he has you know, dominance over, like, uh, the peacekeepers. This is why the city continues to erode away. So much so that this gloomy rain cannot wash it clean. I thought the peacekeepers were like a police force, but they hold much more power than that. As their name suggests, in the beginning, the peacekeepers were a single department that handled security. They changed and grew into the powerful organization they are today, because there was a need for it. Okay. After Kanai Ward's isolation, Amaterasu needed to become stronger and more ruthless to protect their secrets. Okay. Taking advantage of the corporation's supply routes, the peacekeepers began trading with the military industry. Okay, the military too, wow. damn. They sound like some dictatorship's army. Before anyone realized, they were the most powerful force around. I'm sure they saw everyone else as incompetent, which led them to believe that those with the power should rule. Okay. The shadow that hangs over this city is none other than the threat of the peacekeepers. His voice does kind of remind me of Kamida now that I think about it. 
I feel like I'm getting like lore dumped on by Kamida right now. Thank you, Harold Hale. Hi, Weeby. Remember me from last stream? Yeah, I think I do remember. Uh, you sent a couple of uh, super chats as well. Thanks for stopping by again. Appreciate ya. Their tyranny continues to this day. They will never stop. Even after they've gained control over everything. So that's the situation the city is enduring. At this rate, Kanai Ward will continue to decay. More innocent civilians will fall victim to them. I can't with this little fake tear that he has. I'm sorry. I like, I guess he's not as much of like an initial threat right now or like, I guess, super important threat right now compared to like Yomi. But he's got some little plan in his back pocket. He's gonna try to like, I don't know, <laughs> convert us into like a, what was it? Like the Philosopher's Stone or some shit at the end of this game. That's what I'm expecting. That's why I want to stop the peacekeepers on this reckless path of theirs. I do so as a citizen who loves Kanai Ward. Yeah, sure, buddy. I need the help of people like you. Like me? I mean detectives. Okay. He needs detectives? Something about this sounds fishy. What do you mean by that? Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little Lord, bit. The only ones that can stand up to the peacekeepers are outsiders like yourself. That's why, in order to save this city, I need your cooperation. I can't do it. I'm too important. <laughs> I'm too important to do that, but you can, little trainee detective. Thank you, Erno China 20 Rose. Wonder if Megaphone Guy became a cube. Oh, no. <laughs> Not Megaphone Guy. I think I saw somebody in chat was saying he became like... A sound like a speaker or something. Oh, yeah, megaphone man became a full blown sound system. <laughs> oh my god, poor megaphone man. Detectives are the only ones who can save this place. That is what I believe. But what about you? Save this city. Chief Yako also asked the same thing. If their goals are the same. Oh, hold it right there, uh, Master. You're gonna agree just like that? Yeah, for real. I'm, I'm with Shinigami this time. But he's asking for my help as a detective. I have to respond. Oh my god, Yuma. Jeez, think about it for a sec. The way he's talking, he probably works for Amaterasu. In other words, you're not sticking your neck out for an impossible crime here. It's just a spat between adults. For real. What do you think you can do about it? Although the part of me that loves drama wants to get involved. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I kind of want to deal with the drama between the Amaterasu Corporation people. Yeah, let's frame Yomi for murder. But we should at least talk to him about it first. I got proof that he turned Martina into a cube. He's been like, it's not murder. I just turned her into a cube. It's totally not the same. Totally not illegal in Kanai Ward. I made a law about that. He's obviously taking advantage of you. Oh, you're so gullible. Listen, detectives need to suspect others all the time. Besides, can you really trust anybody in a mask like that? Like, that? <laughs> like uh, Icon kind of reminds me of like Nekamari or something. <sighs> normal. Everything feels so ominous about this. You're better off not associating with him. Trust me on this. It's rare for you to be so <laughs> absolutely against something. She is... I, for once, I'm agreeing with her. I owe you a lot for saving my life, and it's true. I don't know him enough to be sure if he's trustworthy. And he does seem sketchy as hell. Oh, this reminds me. Speaking of detectives, is number one in town as well? <laughs> this fucking guy's like, oh, this guy does seem kind of sketchy. He did tell me he has demon blood, and he does have a penthouse at the top of, like, Trump Tower, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, fucking Yuma, you're so... <laughs> So freaking uh, gullible, dude. Uh, number one? I mean the guy at the top of the World Detective Organization. Things would go much faster if he were here. Okay. Uh, number one. Oh, you know about number one? So he... Oh, God, I gotta rewatch that scene, dude. Because I feel like I was not totally picking up on everything that scene was saying. And I feel like I was kind of, like, distracted by the chat, too, because I feel like I kept seeing messages get deleted. Oh, man. Let me, um... Thank you, big chunk of Beyblade Burst. It's Kamida, and he has that skull-looking face like Sans! Oh, my God! It's the Sans Mida child! Yes! Oh, my God. Based, my new favorite character! You just convinced me. Thank you, Demon30. This guy is an Agito if he went to Arkham 
Arkham Asylum. Quirky insanity in a neon lit Gotham. I can see that. See that for sure. Thank you so much for the donation. Appreciate ya. He does give me kind of like Nagito vibes for sure. And thank you, uh, Phosphorescent King. Finally catch stream live. Usually on night shift, so I have to catch the vibes. For my obligatory plug, you'd love two amazing games from last year that fell under the radar. Case of the Golden Idol and I was a teenage exocolonist. I love that game. I was like, oh my god, I was binging that so much like a month ago. I was thinking about it though. I was like, damn, I should have streamed that game because it's so good. I haven't seen the case of the golden idol though. I'll take a picture of that one. But no, I love Teenage Exocolonist. That's such a good game. God, that would be an insane playthrough though, because there's so many endings for that game. It's oh, that's such a good game though. I I completely completely uh back that up everybody in chat should play that game too huh? it's so good don't you i've only heard of him recently i don't know much about him i see well that's no surprise he's a shut-in who rarely appears out in public but if you get the chance to talk to him please ask him to come visit soon okay wait let me uh, i got <laughs> i got distracted because i was fangirling over uh exo colonist um, no number one, only heard of him recently, don't know about him, that's a lie, Yuma, you're besties with him or something. It's a surprise, a shut-in, he rarely appears out in public, chance to talk to him, please ask him to come visit soon. This guy is so sketchy. Uh, tell him his son is in trouble. Oh, what the fuck? You're his son? Son? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Anyway, I've kept you here too sure. long. Sure. Sure. I was kind of thinking Yumo is like number one son, to be honest. I don't know if that's a stupid theory or not, though. Does that make us brothers? I don't even fucking know anymore. If you're looking for your missing friends, you better move fast. That's right. I have to go look for everyone. <laughs> they are currently drowning as we speak. I need to get going. Thank you for saving me. I saw them in the river, but I was just letting them sink, so you got about 10 seconds. No problem. Don't worry about it. But please, consider cooperating with me. R right Oh, also, I should ask you this while I'm here. Do you have any idea what Kanai Ward's ultimate secret could be? Or does the word homunculus uh... sound familiar to you? I was like wondering, this guy's gotta be related to the homoculus stuff. I'm like totally just like, my like theory right now is really and truly he's gonna make a philosopher's stone out of the city, but that's just my full metal brain, like, you know, <laughs> taking over my, my thoughts. But it was like, demon blood, does that relate to homoculi at all? I don't know. He's gotta be related somehow though, he's sketchy. <laughs> <coughs> no, I have no idea. Sorry, I couldn't be of help. Sorry, just a little cough. It's not its not uh, sussy at all, though. I see. Yeah. Now, go on and look for your friends. But your greed or something. Right. Say something. Say something sketch. Hmm. So that's oh. my... Oh, wait. Am I really his brother? <sighs> okay. I thought there would be more emotion involved. Oh, okay, so we really are probably his brother. Ooh! Does that make us... So I guess Yuma... Oh, oh, thank God, Yuma. That means Yuma's last name isn't actually Coco Head. Oh, thank God, buddy. <laughs> I was really upset. <laughs> really upset for you for that one. I guess they could be, like, stepbrothers or something, though, too. Damn. <laughs> it does kind of seem like we're related, though. Interesting. Interesting. I take back my boyfriend's joke. I didn't know. <laughs> that does seem because yeah. Why else would he say like, oh, I thought I'd be emotional. Interesting. Interesting. Man, you about you're a nepo baby, and you didn't even know. Could be you living in that penthouse. Given how tall the building is? The elevator took forever to come down. Since he lives on the top level of this tower, he can't be an ordinary person. Makoto Kagutsuchi. Who is he? <laughs> I really hope for Yuma's sake. His last name really is Kagutsuchi <laughs> and not Coco Head. How is he connected to Amaterasu Corporation? He brushed it off, but he's affiliated with them. He knows that dangerous peacekeeper's director. Not to mention, he knew an awful lot about the internal workings of the corporation. 
He talked about saving the city, but is he on our side? Or could he be... I guess if Yuma does have, like, demon blood or something in his veins, that might make more sense why he wanted to, like, I don't know, actually wipe his memory or whatever. I guess, I guess, I guess Either so. Way, you're better off not getting involved. Let's sleep in God's lie, as they say. God, I gotta rewatch that scene. Are you sure you're one to say that? Anyway, I'm worried about Chief Yako. Let's go back to where the detective agency was at the riverbank. <laughs> yeah, they're still drowning as we speak, and Yako is still dying of starvation. I wonder what happened oh, to the this is a new house. area, too. We can actually walk around here. They're no fine. way. That's they cool. Must be. All the drone brellas, too. We punish spoilers around here by using our cube machine. Yeah, guys, no, no spoilers or you will turn into a cube as well. Oh, Fabuki's accessories. Is she going to be our uh, person this time? Choker is decorated with video playback control symbols. She's pretty goofy. Oh, Makoto's meals. Almost always eats at restaurants. His favorite restaurant's McDonald's. <laughs> He's such a little goofy goober. Um... Oh, I can't, I can't fast travel? Damn. This might take a while then. <laughs> I'm pretty lost in this city. <laughs> I think I finally figured out the staircase that leads down to... Oh wait, should I get some meat buns first though? Oh, I can, can I actually get a, can I actually get a meat bun? Did somebody actually say that in <laughs> chat? Ooh. Can I finally get a meat bun <laughs> while like Yako's drowning? I just decided to buy a meat bun and eat it. Coco Head sounds like the name of somebody who is cubed. I see it in his future. Gl Glommy's lucky fortune telling. Glommy's unlucky humor of the day. Are there still office juices around? Shouldn't we go back to just 12 zodiacs? Office juices. I don't think I understood any of that. <laughs> oh. My God, it's Organization Thirteen. Hey, can't look like my he jacket a little bit. when he saw me the other time too. Maybe you did something. I don't think so. He's a complete stranger. You sure you don't need to hurry to the riverbank? You might find Fuzzhead's corpse and then some. <laughs> it's been a really long time. No, that's not true. Oh, what's that? Ominous <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> Is that the same guy? <laughs> <laughs> kind of does look like the same guy. No, he's breakdancing. No, I gotta know what's going on. Oh, wait, there's that? a shard. And why did they run when they saw where me? I'm going? Oh my god, dude. It's not like you're gonna figure it out by standing around here <laughs> thinking about it. I want to dance with them. This is important. This is way more important than my dead supervisor. <laughs> That's right. I have to get to the agency. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, Yuma, you gotta break dance. You gotta break down. What would Desuhiko do? Just remember that. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it is the same guy, but it's kind of funny that it looks so similar to him. Oh wait, we go this way over here. Okay. I thought we would go down that other path, unless it means down. Let me just check. No. Uh, it means okay. I think it means, yeah, go down here first and then go over there, right? Do, do, do. I don't think I was able to interact with that guy, unfortunately. The dancing guy. It's in here, right? God dang it. It's like I'm trying to. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Curse you, Steam Deck. Epic <laughs> opposite controls. <laughs> really does mess me up so much. Okay, let's just keep going this way. It looks like it's right. I like to move it, move it. <laughs> oh gosh. WWDD. What would has Desuhiko do? Other side. Just do the uh, do the opposite. <laughs> whatever, whatever you think he would do. Don't do that. Yeah, we're we gonna recruit that dancing guy. It's terrible. The agency is completely blown to pieces. Uh, his his uh, forte is serving. Serving those dance moves up. I thought I found a place I could call home. I don't smell mm. any corpses. I thought there'd be some around here. <laughs> Aw, man. Damn it. I was hoping Yako was dead. Of course not. Everyone is still alive. Master detectives wouldn't die so easily. 
You say that, but didn't they all die on the Amaterasu Express? <laughs> yeah, they died pretty easily there. <laughs> that's that's different. <laughs> huh? Oh. Oh Jesus. <laughs> what the? Oh, man. The Wait, who the hell are these people? What the? Oh my God, is that an elf? <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like Kazuichi, but in elf form. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> I thought for a second it might be Yako, but nope, I think it's some Amaterasu people. <laughs> oh, God. I guess maybe they abducted them, too. Hopefully they'll bring us to them, at least. Um, ooh. Oh, God, are we, like, in the trunk or something? Master! Oh. Huh? Oh, yeah, we totally got kidnapped. What does it say back there? <laughs> the drool! am I? You're finally awake! Well, I also just woke up. When you go to sleep, so do I. I'm kind of surprised we're not restrained at all. Because we're one and the same! I remember... I was suddenly thrown into a car, and... I think you let your guard down too much. How many times are you gonna let yourself get knocked unconscious? I... I can't help it. This city is so... <laughs> weird. People just wanna kill me all the time, man! Why does this keep happening to me? Who would do such a thing to you? And for what reason? Could it be the peacekeepers? Look around. It's so dirty here. As Karen stands. <laughs> They're coming to get me after solving the case. If it's the peacekeepers, they'd probably be sitting on reclining chairs with their feet up in a tidy room. Oh no, it might be the rebellion. I was kind of wondering that. Because yeah, it was like, the intro kind of reminded me of these posters. And now we're seeing them again in here, so. But if it isn't the peacekeepers, then who? That would make more sense why they didn't restrain me then, too. Because they want to work with me. Because they know that we're, you know, fighting the power, too. We can worry about it later. First, we have to get out of here. I guess that's fair. Okay. Where am I? Anyway, I better find a way out of here. I want to investigate this poster. Mm. As slapping so many posters up in such a tiny room, it's like they're trying to brainwash people. Be careful, master. People like you are susceptible to that sort of thing. <gasps> You know, dumbasses, they're really susceptible to that kind of stuff. I, I'm not that simple. Come on, give me a break. Um, any other detective points? Ooh, couch. This is... It's a worn-out sofa covered in dust. Come on. Absolutely filthy, aren't you, master? Why direct that at me? You were sleeping on the couch. Now that's a perfectly good There's couch. I could, one, I could clean that up and have it in my apartment. Hmm? I think I've seen these posters in Kamasaki District, too. Just who's been putting them up? Aww. They all look kind of samey. If you want to grab people's attention, you got to mix it up design-wise. Who do you think these posters are for, Shinigami? These posters need more fan service if they want to get people's attention. Come on. Okay, yeah. It does kind of seem like that's probably what it uh, is. Let me... Uh, do -do -do. I think I missed a couple of other donuts. Okay, I think it was just one. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, Big Chunky Beyblade Burst. Since Full Metal Alchemist keeps getting brought up, Weezy, which do you prefer? The first Full Metal Alchemist anime or Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Definitely Brotherhood. I like the first anime a lot, too. I kind of feel like it gets too much unwarranted hate now that Brotherhood's come out, but I think it's good, but I definitely do prefer Brotherhood a good bit. It won't open. It seems like it's locked with a padlock or something from the outside. Okay. Why do they even want to imprison me? Poor Yuma. Uh, what am I supposed to do then? Anything else to investigate? Oh wait, oh, there it is. Try to get outside There's the vent. There's a vent here, but it's too small to pass through. We're small, come on Yuma, you can do it. You're just a little guy. The floor and the walls don't seem fragile enough to break. And there's no way out through the ceiling either. Mm, looks like you're stuck in here. We're all going feeling gloomy about it. Just enjoy it while you can. Just take a nap, chill out. It's so fun. It's like we're frolicking through the sunlit grass in spring. Is it anything like that? It's hopeless. We're completely stuck. It's just like everything in my life right now. <laughs> Poor Yuma. I'm trapped with no way out. <laughs> Poor Yuma, dude, his emo arc. Master looks so lonely right now. 
Looks like he's given up on everything. Hey, can I give you a back tattoo that says my life is over? Oh my god, a tram stamp? Sorry, but I'm not really in the mood for your antics right now. What's got you so down anyway? It's not like you had anything to lose in the first place. Besides me, that is. <sighs> Aw, my life's been a mess ever since you started haunting me. Not that I can really remember my life before that. Shinigami? What about those other detectives? What do you mean? You said you've haunted other detectives in the past. They all gave up their memories, right? Were they able to achieve their goals using the power you gave them? Oh uh, yeah, I didn't really think about that too much. Uh, I don't really remember the past. I'm the kind who forgets what happened yesterday. Hey, what's your name again? Oh, but there is one detective I distinctly remember. Was it number one? He always liked to say this one thing. I want to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. Okay. Huh? That's gotta be important, right? I want to make a world where no one weeps while imprisoned by unsolved mysteries. He said that with such sparkling eyes that I laughed out loud. <laughs> it still makes me laugh as if a single detective could do that. <sighs> imprisoned by unsolved mysteries. Like the watchmaker's son, or Kurumi. If those cases remained unsolved, would they have suffered the same fate? So you didn't answer me. What about that detective? Was he able to bring happiness to everyone? <laughs> I don't remember that part. Hmm? Probably not. I don't know. Besides, yeah. I don't remember much. Kind of weird that she has such a flaky memory. I wonder if there actually is a cause of that, or if she's just really, like, kind of, you know out of it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Inner China 20 Rose. Message retracted. I appreciate the donation, though. And then, thank you, Crocomancer. Come on, Weeby. Yuma's not an imposter. He can't vent. <laughs> That's true. Sorry, Yuma. I shouldn't have uh, assumed that. But if you look at how the world is right now, isn't the answer obvious? kind of want to... Let me look at this line again, just so I can kind of keep a better mental note of it. I want to make a world... Where no one weeps while imprisoned by unsolved mysteries. I want to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from the world and bring happiness to everyone. And then I want to make a world where no one weeps while imprisoned by unsolved mysteries. Very specific. I feel like, yeah, somebody's about to drop that later. And thank you, Dumb and Dumber, for the donation. Appreciate you. I guess there's no way detectives could make people all over the world happy, even in Kanai Ward alone. The number of unsolved mysteries keeps increasing. Do be a lot what of them. What do detectives even do? Detectives are useless. I'm useless. Oh, you but no, stop it! Come on. Ah. Huh? Sad Master, boy hours. Coming. I think these people are on our side too. I guess we'll see though. Oh. Who's this? Okay. Let's hope he's on our side. Because you're going to get murdered otherwise, bro. Okay, Nekamaru oh, vibe going on. Awake. Sorry for getting rough with you. Oh. It was necessary at the time. Forgive me. Okay, they do seem nice. That's good. Okay, yay. They probably wow, are the rebellion then. Quite the character here. Uh, um, who are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you asked. Okay. Consider this. Have you seen a child crying on a street corner? How about a kid wandering with no place to go? We take care of them. Oh, you know, we just killed them. We put them out of their misery. Oh, shit. We're a group of volunteers who shed blood so people like that don't have to shed tears. That's right. Okay. We're the proud resistance against Amaterasu Corporation. Okay, nice. Re resistance? <laughs> Y'all making fun of his hairline. Bold, bold. He's got a tattoo, though, so, you know, he's making it, he's making it cool. I'm the head honcho. The name's Shachi. Shachi. Nice to meet you. Okay. This reminds me. I've seen the flyers all over Kanai Ward. Oh, he got a name. Good for you, man. Good for yeah, you. Yeah, passing out flyers is an important part of our activity. We need to recruit as many people as possible. Though once we're finally caught by the peacekeepers, we'll probably all hang. <laughs> but what does the resistance want with me? First, let me apologize for not being able to bring you here in a more graceful yeah, way. Yeah, for real. Y'all just, like, abducted my ass. Like, y'all gonna, like, ask me nicely to go with you, right? 
But if I didn't do it this way, you couldn't stay hidden from the peacekeepers. Why did you go to such lengths to see me? Allow me to explain. Please, would you join us at our hideout? I want you to have a little chat with my friends. Okay. Uh, hideout? Don't worry, they're all good guys. Come on, follow me. He is giving me kind of like Nekamaru vibes, especially with the laughing sprite. He seems cool though, I like him. Seems like I'm also, being dragged into even more trouble. <laughs> For fine. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll start thinking pure thoughts again. Thank you, a big chunk of Beyblade Burst. And Yuma still refers to the boy as description instead of name. Just the clockmaker sign. Ah, uh, yes, we had such good memories with the clockmaker sign. Or what was, yeah, I guess his name literally was just boy. Kurumi gets referenced as her name. Why no name? I don't, I, yeah, I have no clue why they did that. But he was very important to the story that we help boy. <laughs> it's very important. Thank you, Demon30. Okay, no lie, I'm a Shachi simp. He's kind of, he's kind of got it going on, you know? Not normally my type, but he's, he's a handsome man. It doesn't look like you have a choice right now anyway. At least he's the type of guy who's kind to a lost kid. He seems chill though, too. I think it's also because he's so nice. I'm not a kid. It, is okay. it really okay to follow him? Master, stop yeah, being so busted. indecisive! Doya District. Criminals and others on the run from the peacekeepers occupied the abandoned buildings here, making the area fairly dangerous. Oh, interesting. So I guess it's probably where we're at right now. Oh my! It's already morning. The oh. sun rose while you were fast asleep. How can you tell? It always looks the same outside. What? is this place? Oh, now y'all saying he's gonna die chapter four. Give him, let him, guys, it's not talking to Rafa anymore. He's gonna be good. He's gonna be fine. The whole area is Hopefully, knock on wood. It looks like oh, stagnant Jesus. rainwater that didn't drain. Oh, wow. This whole place really is flooded. Jesus. Do people actually live oh, wow. here? No wonder this part of the city was like kind of abandoned by the peacekeepers. Only weirdos who carve up animals could live in a place like this. Is this your first time in Doya district? Doya district? Okay, yeah, so that is where we're at. In short, it's what you'd call the slums. It's like this thanks to Amaterasu Corp. The people here are forced to live in the backwaters. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> literally the backwaters. Thank you, Dumb and Dumber. Didn't even let you get to Zeke's before getting kidnapped. <laughs> so lame, dude. So lame of them. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate it. They don't ya. seem to care one bit about the unending rain. So can we have stopped by the meat bun place before you threw me in the room? Of course they don't. They're all living high up. Okay. Down on us. That makes sense too, yeah. It's like the nicer districts are like in a more elevated area, so the rain doesn't really bother them as much as like these lower areas where it just like kind of compiles. And thank you, Hazel Wolfie, for becoming a member. Appreciate ya. All the dirt and grime they spit out flows down from the city Ew. and ends up swirling around here. Oh, Jesus. This is the reality of Kanai Ward. There is so much COVID in this water, kid. You have no idea. Kanai Ward's reality. Come on. Our hideout is this way. Come on, turn around again, Sachi. Our dream is <laughs> to change Doya District scene. We I mean... We poor smile again. We call ourselves the resistance, but He's it would be better cake. for everyone if say? things resolved without a fight. <laughs> I doubt the peacekeepers feel the same way, though. They're always striving to crush us. That's why we armed ourselves and prepared to fight back. We don't know when this fight will end. And we don't know if we'll still be able to smile when it does. We may not have the answers, <laughs> but we have to keep fighting. It's so hard to pay attention right now, dude. Right Can you please walk backwards? <laughs> I didn't get any of that. I was way too distracted. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Always striving to crush us. That's why we earned ourselves and prepared to fight back. Don't know when the fight will end. We don't know if we'll still be able to smile. <laughs> this poor dude's fucking tra like, trauma dumping on me. <laughs> oh, God. And I'm just, like, ogling him. We may not have the answers, but we have to keep fighting. We were born and raised here after all. I wonder what this place was like before Amaterasu. <laughs> 
Oh wait, shard? Where was the shard at? Oh, is it over there? God, Yuma, you walk so slow. I think I see it over here, right? Oh no, that's a little, little doll thing, right? Oh my god, Yuma, can you please help me out? Where is it at? Is it farther back? No. Behind the building? Which building, though? This one? No. Don't see it. You can get it later? Okay, we'll just do that now. Or just do it later. By the way, where are you from? Um, some stuff happened, so I don't have a place to go home right now. Poor Shachi. I'm disrespecting him so bad. Oh, so you're like us then. Guess that kind of makes us buddies. Well, I'm not so sure about that. But I suppose the Resistance and the Nocturnal Detective Agency are both being oppressed by Amaterasu. Our goals and aspirations differ, but we're kind of like friends in that regard. Master, you're a professional loner, so you don't need any friends. Man, are we just hanging out with these people loner? this chapter? Man, they keep taking us farther and farther away from the shard. I just kind of want to wait till Yuma walks faster to get it. Hey, good work being on the lookout. Because sometimes he runs, sometimes he doesn't, you know? It just, just depends on how he's feeling. This is our hideout. Come on in. Okay. The resistance is hideout. It's a bit scary, but there's no running away now. And no running away and getting that shard now, Weeby. It's too late. Movement has been declared. It's opposition to Amaterasu Corporation. The name of the group is anti-establishment organization, but they're commonly called the resistance. Okay. Aruka's tattoo. Okay, another person. Aruka has a tattoo of dual pistols on the left side of her chest. Okay, another woman for me to simp over now that <laughs> Martina's gone. <laughs> Please don't turn into a cube, Aruka. I haven't even met you yet. Please don't. Oh God, what if this guy turns into a cube too? Oh God. Wait, Kokichi's VA? Is in here somewhere? Okay, here's the group. Right. Oh! It's time for a revolution. Hey! <laughs> oh my god, it is Kokichi! Oh, it's like that! Oh. That is his voice! I lost again. Oh, she does look pretty. Nice. <laughs> it's like it took me a second, but I was like, wait hey, a second! <laughs> Great timing since the game's over. That is Kokiji. Oh, he kind of looks like um. Oh, why can't I think of his name? The little guy from V3. Listen up. I need to introduce someone to all of you. Behold, Yuma here is a master detective of the WDO. Huh? Wait, I'm not <laughs> really. So he's one of those master detectives I've heard so much about. <laughs> Can't, dude. Oh, his voice is giving me too many flashbacks. Ryoma. I don't know why I couldn't think of his name. Seriously? Oh. Sorry, I kidnapped you without knowing. Okay, God, I really thought this guy was gonna be evil just based on the way he looks. Sorry, anyway, dude. I want to recruit him to our resistance. He really does look like an elf. Huh? <laughs> Wait, this is much too sudden, and I'm not a master detective. Come on, just take it, Yuma. You're probably the only one left, so come on. I know I sprang this on you out of nowhere. You know what? We're alike. We both have the same kind mm. of darkness lurking deep within our eyes. I can tell you're an emo boy just like me, son. The darkness is solitude. I just couldn't remember his name for a second, okay? Huh? Ryoma, I mean. You're lost with nowhere to go. Hmm. Am I wrong? This can be your new home. I guess it kind of makes sense that these guys would feel like that. My new home? I guess you're uncomfortable being around so many people when you don't even know their names. Everyone here is a leader within the organization. They're all irreplaceable to the resistance. <laughs> they all have like totally different names besides the one person voiced by Kokichi. And this is Kokichi Yoma. Oh God. <laughs> While they don't have any powers as extraordinary as master detectives, they each have their own special abilities. It's like not him again. <laughs> They're all good people. You should talk to them first before deciding to join up or not. Uh, oh, God. 
Anyway, let's try talking to everyone. Oh my god. Thank you, uh, jean philippe Ponton's Afro Territory, uh, Kokichi. He kind of reminds me the most of Ryoma so far. But yeah, he's definitely got that curly hair. Thank you, Mimikyu Lover. New we be fear unlocked, fear of people getting cubed. Yep, basically. <laughs> so traumatized from that scene, dude. And thank you, Big Chunk of Beyblade Burst. No, oh, excuse me. Yuma actually has a big got. Yuma actually just a big God of War fan. He does kind of, he does kind of look like a God of War character now that I think about it. Uh, this guy, looks like Kratos was the name, I think. So he thinks referring to all young boys as just boys, the coolest and funniest thing ever. <laughs> I was kind of thinking of this guy, reference to like God of War. Well, I think I could see it. God, it's been a while since I've really looked at that game though. Okay, let's talk to Kokichi Yuma. I mean, uh, not Kokichi. Hi there, I'm Servan. So. You're Yuma from the World Detective Organization. <laughs> Fucking can't with this kid. I've been trying to obtain help from the WDO for a while, but I could never get them to agree. <laughs> I guess anyone would be hesitant to work with people who call themselves the Resistance. The Resistance? Why do you need detectives? To be honest, it's not limited to detectives. We need help in general. But recruiting blindly is dangerous. There's no telling who might be tied to the Amaterasu Corporation. Okay. In that regard, detectives from the WDO are safe. Rumor has it they've got terrific personnel. Okay. There's no telling you might be tied to the Amaterasu Corporation. Okay. Plus, I know you're enemies <laughs> with Amaterasu. I've seen it like this. What's that? Kind of looks like he has on the... Kamida jacket in a little bit. A little bit. Is it's green? Yeah, it's security camera footage set up all around Kanai Ward. It's not exactly, but it kind of reminds me of it a little bit. I'm good at tinkering with machines. I handle most of the machine work around here. I just Once can't get Kanai over his voice. peaceful again, I want to open up a shop selling security devices. You're my favorite though so far, Servan, just because of the Kokichi voice. So that this tragedy can never happen again. That is so true, King. I see. Uh, he seems nice. It's kind of weird to hear somebody nice with a Kokichi voice, though. Okay, let's talk to you, elf man. Hey, Master Detective. I'm Icardi. Icardi. To be honest, I'm rooting for you to join us. Okay. He's got a very smooth voice. Detectives work for anyone as long as the pay is good. Oh. Right? <laughs> I think you've just met Halara. <laughs> I actually work for free most of the time. Meaning, if you pay more than anyone else, they will always side with you. Now that's just Alara. They're far more trustworthy than people who just talk big about fighting for the revolution. Um, I think you've got <laughs> the wrong idea here. A detective isn't a mercenary. Really? I figured they're about the same. I guess what somebody's saying, not I, Carly. <laughs> Oh my god. I was thinking I, Cardi B. It's like I, Cardi B. Oh my god, big fan. Well, you probably couldn't explain the difference if you were asked to, Master. Yeah, I feel like this guy just met Holara. Hey, Akardi, tell him about your special powers. Oh. Oh, I'm from the Doya district, but I used to be a super swimming athlete for Kanai Ward. Okay. Are you an elf? I do all sorts of aquatic sports. No one can keep up with me in this flooded city. Oh, can you save our drowning friends? Well, they're, they're already long gone, aren't they? <laughs> now that I think about it. Anyway, I take advantage of that ability and work as a delivery man. If there's anything you want delivered, I'm your man. Even if it's underwater. I... I see. Okay, Aquaman. I see. I see. Who's, uh... Who's over here? Oh, yeah, pretty girl. And then old guy. Obligatory old so, guy. you're the new member. Mm. I'm Aruka. Nice to meet you. She's so pretty, but her voice is kind of weird. It's got like a creeper voice. So you're a new, a new member. Nice to meet you. It's like, why, why are you talking like that, girly? Oh, uh, hello. I'm trying to get ready to simp over here, but the voice is throwing me off. This one seems kind of quiet. Master, women are never what they seem. Even idols take dumps. No way. Uh, Yuma, can you use a gun? <laughs> I'm taking it back. This girl's kind of weird. Huh? A gun? I've never carried one before. Oh, I thought so. <laughs> oh, I, I thought so. 
You strike me as the type of person who's never had anything to do with guns before. Girl, <laughs> look at her! Look at the way she's staring at me, too! I heard you have never used a gun before. <laughs> Is she doing this to me? <laughs> On my fourth birthday, I was given a 22 caliber revolver as a present. Oh god, she's like a gun person. On my fifth birthday, I got a 32. And on my birthday next month, I'm supposed to be getting an anti-tank cannon. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Maybe, you know, she's just trying to appeal to me because there's that meme that I love every character with a gun, but girl, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta work on it. Huh? <laughs> huh? <sighs> I don't care what it is. I just want to pull the trigger. <laughs> Give me a trigger to pull. <laughs> okay, queen. Coming out a little too fast, though. Yuma, if you join us, would you do it with me? I, I don't think I would have joined you guys anymore. You know, the little Kokichi guy I was cool with, but uh, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just going to go home now. No, thanks. I doubt I'd be any good with those things. Oh, maybe you misunderstood. I'm not asking you to pull the trigger. I'm asking to shoot. I'm asking to shoot you. I want you to be the target. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do your best to run around. It won't be any fun if it ends in one shot. Dude, did you really tell me to talk to these people to get me to like, to get me to join you? It's like, yeah, talk to them. They're all nice. Maybe don't talk to Aruka. <laughs> Maybe leave her alone. Maybe let's uh, just talk to the others. <laughs> she's terrifying. Usually I like the crazies, but she's just coming on so fast. I'm like, girl, let's have a normal introduction, then do the Kamida laugh later. You know, but she's just full blown. All out there. All out there on the table. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let me um, read some of these. Oh, thank you. In our shout out, Tony Rose. I love Sir Vaughn, but I just can't take him seriously. Great voice actor, though. Love the VA. Fully smarter like Okichi. Pretty much my prior, pretty much my prior dono. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you for uh, the donation. Appreciate ya. And yeah, does Fuyuhiko and Kokichi both the same voice actor? I don't know if I really realized that until now, because yeah, I was like, he does remind me a lot of Fuyuhiko too, his voice. Thank you, Kokichi. Kokichi! <laughs> <laughs> he brought you back from the dead. Kyokuro. Kind of want to hear Kokichi's iconic laugh. Oh, I hope he does it later. That would be awesome. And thank you to Crocomancer, Aruka. I know we be sims for crazy, but you're... I just like, maybe it's the gun obsession that's kind of putting me off. But it's it's kind of it's kind of putting me off. Putting me off a little bit. Oh, man. Thank you guys for the donation. Appreciate ya. See? Told you women aren't what they seem. Even idols take dogs. Maybe it's either that or it's just too on too soon. Too, too, too much too soon. Oh my god, not most sane American. She's, she's from Ohio, guys. She can't help it. Uh, can you not look at me that way? You're acting like I'm some weirdo. Girl, you brought it on first. How do you want me to look at you? I was isolated three years ago. I was a serious candidate for Olympic shooting. That's cool. But when we were shut off from the rest of the world, that included world sports, and I had nowhere to go. That's why I need to shoot you. Don't you feel bad for me? This is my trauma dump. I can't allow this. I will change Kanai Ward with my firearm skills. Very noble cause there. <laughs> but to do that... I need to get better. Master, I know you're a sucker for girls, but I suggest you stay <laughs> away from this. Weeby, I know you usually simp for the crazies, but maybe this one let's keep our distance from. Of course. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> she is wild, dude. Wild. Thank you, Demon30. I'm an Aruka simp. Uh, sim? I think private simp too. I like girls who attack and boys who protect. If I get a three person by relationship in this world, this is ideal. <laughs> you got a lot to choose from. A lot to choose from. Oh man, she is wild. We'll see, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I end up simping for her or not. She's, she might be a little too crazy for me. I don't know if I can fix her. I like just enough to where like, I think I can fix them. You know what I mean? Like Martina. <laughs> like, you know, she had, well, did she do anything nice? I don't know if she did anything nice, now that I think about it. Did she give off any signs of being fixable? 
Maybe I just don't even understand what qualifies for me to simp. <laughs> Maybe I just don't. Okay, let's talk to the old guy. Well. Oh, if you need anything delivered, just ask me. I'll give you a discount. Actually. Hopefully you don't get ripped off. Okay. I guess I accidentally pressed him. So basically there was a shard in here too. This nurse might actually be more depressing than that squalid dump Is of there? an agency. Are you guys lying to me? Oh wait, is that it? No, that's just the lights. Go near the computer? Oh, there it is. Okay, I think. Nice. Recall memories. Oh, and Desu Hiko. Good thing I I didn't miss that one. We really need Desu Hiko's trauma dump later. Very important. Very important. Oh. So you're the new member? <laughs> you need to unfix yourself for her. That's that's what it was. I don't know what a master detective is, but did you come in from beyond the rain as well? Beyond the rain. Beyond the rain? The only thing beyond the rain is Amaterasu Corp. It's like, okay, old man, I think it's time for your nap now. <laughs> no, no, there's nothing, nothing but Amaterasu out there as well. They own the whole world, don't you see? Don't you see? No, I'm not with them. But you said as well. Are you a former member of Amaterasu? That's right. I worked in accounting for that company. Okay. Back then they called me the safekeeper. But one day... I was accused of embezzlement. My entire family was arrested. The kind of fighting is like, well, I did do it, but it was still rude of them to arrest me for that. Of course, my family and I were all innocent. We were framed. Set up to take the fall for what the peacekeepers took That one million themselves. dollars that ended up in my bank account, that was just purely coincidence. My coincidence. Got sick uh... and died in jail. Aw, oh, man. All of them. Now I kind of feel Except bad for... <laughs> now I kind of feel bad for memeing on him. This is sad. That's terrible. Jesus. Yeah, don't you feel like a dick now, Weeby, for being old phobic? I would do anything to destroy Amaterasu. Anything. I own a small shop in Kamasaki District. Okay. Publicly, I'm just a retired old man selling old art pieces. But secretly, I manage the funds for the resistance. Guess you could say I got re-employed. I'm happy to be able to use my skills again. Okay, he seems nice. I feel bad for Meeman on him. If your hatred of Amaterasu is anything like ours, you should join us. I don't know if it's quite there with you guys just yet, but yeah. Mm. Did you I've have gone a chat through with some shit, already? man. Guess I'll talk about myself then. Oh uh, yeah, we can get your uh, trauma dump too, Shachi. I was born around these parts. It wasn't submerged like this at the time. It really was just another regular city. Yeah, how long has it been like this again? I think they said like 15 years or something maybe. Well, my family, as you might expect, lived in poverty. That's why when I was hired by that company, my whole family was thrilled. Uh, okay, he was also hired by Amaterasu. That company? Damn. Yeah. Amaterasu Corporation. Back then, they weren't dangerous or shady. They were a legitimate business focused on contributing to society. Hmm. Now, I don't know when it started to go astray. We kept receiving more requests from the unified government with an increasing number of top secret projects. Sketchy. As the secrets kept piling on, the company continued to grow. It sure was a strange sight. Even when I was an employee, I didn't know what was going on. It was like looking at some strange and unknown beast. Mm. Before I knew it, everyone was subservient to Amaterasu. What if the... The gap between rich and poor was irreversible. What did the company even start out as, now that I think about it? Because I know, you know, eventually it became this, like, government of this city, but what was it even, like, originally? Just, like, it's like a paper company or something, like, random. Thank you, uh, foe... 20, uh, 220. When I see a Cardi, I think shark instead of elf. <laughs> I can see that too. I think it's most of the ears for me. And thank you, WG Grizzly. Finally cut up on VODs and can watch live. So fun fact for the last chapter, the production manager who narrated the play is the VA for Maki from V3. Oh, okay, that's cool. Who is also in a relationship with Yuma slash Kibo's VA. Oh, that's interesting. Neat. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate ya. Shachi, 
What kind of work did you do for them? I worked in land development. They buy up promising land and use it for the company. Okay. And here, Doya District was also a part of that. After I purchased this land, Amaterasu filled it with rows and rows of research facilities. The city was poor, but there were these shiny research labs here. Mm. Back then, it made us so proud. We thought it'd bring prosperity here. Or so we hoped. Yeah. But three years ago, the unending rain began. The area was flooded. Okay, so the raining started three years ago. Amaterasu abandoned this place without a second thought. The former residents had nowhere to go. So they were forced to live on top of the flooded research labs. Okay, damn. Yeah, this really is that's really just like... That's what became of Doya District. So that's what happened. Damn. It's my fault. I'm the one who made the city this way. Aw, oh, man, dude, you didn't know. Oh, God, that's sad. I can understand why he thought it was going to help the city, but yeah, that kind of stuff never really works out. Works out that way, but it ended up so much worse than I feel like what you would expect, even like having a generally sort of like pessimistic view. That's why I fight Amaterasu Corp. To help the impoverished still living here. It's the least I can do to make it up to them. It can't be anyone else. I have to do it. <sighs> well, that's oh, enough man. sad story time for now. We must press onward. Uh, I feel like that whole trauma dump is giving me like death vibes. Like he's gonna die to like save the town or something along those lines. Especially like this is the least I can do. I can't, it can't be anybody else. It has to be, be me. Like, oh, there's such a death flag, dude. <laughs> We're still on chapter three, right? We got another chapter, hopefully, at least. Thank you, Wolf Allen. Great, so we have Kazumichi's brother, Kokichi in a disguise, an old man, a Kanade. <laughs> Basically, great team. Also, I'm sipping Shachi. Shachi's pretty good so far, but man, he do be giving dead flags. Ah, uh, God, that whole spiel was really like, telling me not to get attached at all. This is why we need good people on our side. You, you're one of the world famous master detectives. Please. They just like never us. listen to him when he mentions that he's a trainee. How about it, Yuma? Will you stand with us and help free Kanai Ward from Amaterasu's oppression? Can you get rid of that one Kanade chick though? I don't know if I really wanna wanna be hanging out with her. Everyone keeps saying the same thing. You've already made up your mind. Go on, answer him. Uh, um... <laughs> you're a simp, you're gonna agree, come on. Okay, I refuse. Now let's join him. All we love right. him. Do I actually get a choice though? It's kind of wild. To be honest, I still don't fully understand what's going on. But okay. <laughs> but sure. Great. I knew you had it in you. I was right to believe in you. <laughs> hey, master. Are you serious? You just signed up with the slum resistance. <laughs> I thought you told me to do that. You are not fit for this kind of thing. But I have nowhere to return to. That's no reason to join the resistance! What about being a detective? You're just gonna quit? I mean, am I really <laughs> even a detective? I've just been acting the part while dealing with amnesia. Yeah, the illusion of choice. I had a feeling. In fact, maybe fighting alongside the resistance would be a better way for me to help the people of Kanai Ward. Wow, you sure do attract trouble. This is exactly how you turn into such a masochist. Look, if you quit your battle against mysteries, then we're through! What a shame! I kinda like being partners! What happens if we break our contract anyway? Will my memories return? Or... <laughs> you just die, probably something like that. Shinigami, did you hear me? Never really seems to benefit Yuma when, uh, when we ask these questions. Hmm. We broke up, so I have nothing <laughs> to say to you. <laughs> Oh my god. What's with that flippin' attitude? The whole reason I got dragged into this mess was because you haunted me. Hey, you're the one who wanted to team up in the first place. You chose this path. If you decide to quit, that's on you. Either you pick me or them. Choose wisely. Uh, uh... Hey, what's wrong, Yuma? You got quiet. 
Girl, you're really not gonna let me choose to help them? I mean, I thought you were saying to do it. I thought you were like, you're such a simp, you know you're gonna agree. Then once I agree, she's like, we've broken up. He must be moved to tears because he now has people to call his own. Uh, Seriously? <laughs> he obviously doesn't look very happy. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, I have to decline. <laughs> Oh my god, Yuma, you're so me though. That's that's so me though being indecisive. Yeah, I agree. Five minutes later. Actually, on second thought, I think I I think I can join. <laughs> like another five minutes later. Actually, I'm gonna do it. Huh? <laughs> what? I sympathize with your aspirations. Oh my god. And I really do want to join. Really, really do. It's not it's not you, it's me. But I can't quit being a detective. That's what I thought. You just can't part with me, can you? It's like I can still join and act like a detective, right? Do you know what that means? You're all mine. You're completely under my spell, master. I wonder if she always like flirts or is like in love with the people she haunts too, since she didn't mention haunting like you know previous detectives. Be quiet. I just thought it was wrong to quit being a detective this way. I see. So you can't. Sad. In that case, I can't let you leave here alive. <laughs> that's a good one, huh, buddy? Huh, buddy? That's, that's so funny. You're so goofy, silly, right? Right? Right, bestie? What? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I already knew you Hooper, is turn it? us down. Oh, okay, that's good. I was like, I thought he was for real for a second. <laughs> Trying to get you to join on the spot is a tough sell. You have your own stuff going on. I get that. I probably shouldn't have introduced you to Aruka either. So instead, would you be interested in cooperating with us as a detective? Uh, that bitch is crazy. Basically, we'd like you to take on a job for us. A job? Yeah, it's a simple one, but it's not something we can do. Please, we need your help. Will you at least take on this request? What do I do? Chief Yaku isn't here, and the detective agency is gone. Is it really okay for me to accept a job? All the other detectives are dead. What should I do? In my experience, taking these requests without permission always leads to trouble. Yeah, bad. I'll just do it anyways. <laughs> I don't smell any good mysteries nearby. My guess is that these people are taking advantage of you, just like that masked guy. You should ignore them. Yeah, I need to find the others first. I don't have time to take another request. Oh, is he actually going to reject it? I'm sorry. I'll need to consider it another time, once things calm down. I see. So that didn't work either. I need to go now. Yeah. Please, wait. I, I didn't convince you with my with my beautiful monologue. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! We've just exposed our inner workings. Oh, shit! <laughs> Do you really think we'd just let you leave? Oh shit! <laughs> He was like, I'm not gonna kill you, but I can't, you know, be responsible for what Aruka does. <laughs> Unlike Shachi, I don't joke around. I'll do what needs to be done. I was gonna shoot you either way, though, to be honest. To be your real bestie. I'm with Aruka. Oh, if you're shit. not with us, you're against us. Oh, fuck! Okay, Cardi B, excuse you. If we let you go, you might leak our <laughs> info to Amaterasu Corp. At least Kokichi's got our back. I, I would never. It seems you're just an outsider after all. Oh, God. All. You'll never understand our hatred. And now we hate you. God damn it, Yuma. I was trying to get you to join them. Hey, if you're gonna fight, do it outside. <laughs> Don't mess with my complex machines. We can't let an Amaterasu sympathizer roam free. <laughs> and not a sympathizer! My friends are dying right now! I'm just trying to help them! Please wait! Let's all take oh, a deep God. breath. Poor Yuma. So you want to pick a fight with me? Oh, you asked for it! Bring it on! I'll boom kill all of you! Wait, wait, hold your damn horses. Please, Shachi, calm them down. If he could just be threatened into doing our bidding, I would have done so from the start. Uh, believe me. He's no amateur. 
He's a WDO master detective. <laughs> She's like, don't correct him, Yuma. I know you love to correct them, but don't correct them this time. Master detectives can survive even bullet wounds, right? And we should test it out. Iruka, stop. <laughs> Put down the gun. Why do we even recruit this girl? The resistance isn't a terrorist group. We don't kill people. <laughs> I do all the time. <sighs> Oh, what is that pose, dude? <laughs> I, Carly, what you doing over there, buddy? Let me talk with a man to man, and we'll wrap things up. Everyone okay with that? If you say so, Shachi. It's fine by me. Oh, thank God for Shachi, man. Uh, agreed. You're the leader. Do as you wish. <sighs> I'll be watching from the window. Sorry, Yuma. Would you come with me for a bit? She should not be allowed to have guns. Hey, Shachi. What? I thought we were done here. Oh, God. Sorry, Yuma. Go on ahead oh. for a second. She whispered something? We can talk quietly on the rooftop. Go through that door over there and up the stairs. Okay. I'll be there soon. The roof. Got it. Poor Yuma, dude. <laughs> He's trying to save his friends. Give me attention uh. some troublesome folks. Why don't you skip out right now? Yeah, for real. It's better to finish talking to them now to avoid trouble later on. Besides, wasn't there a lookout at the entrance? Hmm? Oh? Ooh. I hear someone talking. It's eavesdrop. Is it those guys from earlier? What could they be talking about? Please let me kill him. <laughs> Hey, maybe you can hear them talking if you approach the door. Like, no, girl, you already killed 12 people today. Please, Shachi, please. I can see inside through a crack in the door. How naughty. Let's take a peek at what they're plotting. Can't you move through walls, Shinigami? You could just get to the other side. Yeah, can't you spy for me? If I left your side, I could slip through a wall or two. But then later, I might lie to you about what I saw. I do love seeing you get all distressed. <laughs> God, she's so untrustworthy. Why? Shh, they're talking right now. Can you make it quick, Iruka? Oh. We'll start getting cautious if I keep him waiting. Ooh, should we? Oh my God. Let's figure out the code and then rob these guys later. Right, Shinigami? Please, wait. There's something I want to give you in here. What is up with this girl? Why won't it open? Damn the safe. Who was in charge of getting a new one anyway? I'll bust it open with a rocket. Okay, Treating girl. it roughly won't unlock it. You have to move the dial, then wait exactly five minutes. Oh, five minutes, really? It's the latest time delayed lock. You'll have to wait the specified oh. amount of time without touching anything. Are we gonna need Fubuki for this? Cause she has like a time, you know, forte or something. Thieves hate wasting time. Time itself is the key for this new feature. <laughs> the key for this new feature, <laughs> he's so dorky. <laughs> What a pain in the ass. It is kind of a smart idea, though, since I could see uh, most thieves not wanting to wait that long. This security function makes it the best safe there is. Nowadays, even the bank and other important facilities use it in the commercial area of Marunamon District. Marunamon. It's made by trusty old Amaterasu Corp, after all. And the best in the industry. We love them. This was made by Amaterasu. Oh, What's it doing here? I never allowed this. Traitor! 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 It's just like gun out and start shooting him. Relax. Calm down, old man. Even your clothes and mug were made uh, by the corp. What? I'm taking this off right now! Start stripping. As long as we live in Kanai Ward, it's impossible to avoid all their products. Though it is ironic that Amaterasu made the safe that protects our assets. <sighs> it finally opened. Okay. Oh, yay, another gun. That's good. Exactly what she needs. This. Your custom handgun. Okay. I modified it to pack more of a punch. I feel like they're lying about not killing anybody, to be honest. This isn't necessary. 
It's for self-defense. Just in case. Yeah, every time I've killed somebody, it's always been in self-defense. Why not take it sure, with you? Sure, girly. You never know when you might need it. I guess Shachi's the one who's not ever killing anybody, but the others! I think they kill people. What's up with the chat? I feel like it keeps breaking down recently. Or it keeps getting kind of like paused. I wonder if YouTube's just kind of glitchy today. I saw y'all talking about it earlier too. It kind of seems like it crashed again. <sighs> what, what do I do? They have a gun! A detective stays calm, even when facing the barrel of a gun. Actually, they find a way to remove the bullets first. It's too late for that! Uh, then you're screwed! That's why I'm panicking! <laughs> I, I know! Let's run away while we still can. I have, I've never seen it break this much, though. Yeah, it's like, okay, it seems like it's working again. But yeah, I don't know, man, it keeps breaking a lot today. It's like, I feel like I've seen it happen, like, a little bit every once in a while, but I couldn't totally tell if it was like, you know, Chad just got slow or something. But today, yeah, it seems like it's really just breaking, like, full-on breaking. And thank you, uh, Foe220. That gun in his hand is pretty huge. It is a huge gun. I guess he is a big dude. Doesn't the front entrance have someone on lookout? Oh, that's right. Then let's go to the roof. Let's get there first and find a way out. Yeah, start jumping. Master, hurry up and run! I'm trying! I'm trying! I'm trying! There's no more shards here, right? But wait, what if there's shards, Shinigami? It's very important. Jesus. There's a stove that seems to be made from a beaten up barrel drum. Hey, hey Master, give it a push. I'd burn myself. And no, it'll be funny! It'll be funny! Um, I don't think I see any, uh... Oh, bathroom. Let me take a whiz first, Shinigami. <laughs> it's very important. Okay, I don't think there's anything. Resistance. They do seem a little sketchy. Identification card. These granted by the WDO. Golden Path Cafe uniforms. Many customers flock here to simply ogle at the... Unformed. Wait, what? <laughs> is it like a maid cafe or something? <laughs> this is the roof. We need to find a way out. There has to be some place I can escape to. I have to hurry before I'm found. Oh my god, I do not see anything, dude. Oh wait, there's this thing. There's an emergency stairway. Maybe we can escape. Master, look carefully near the top of the stairs. A surveillance camera. Oh. Speaking of which, they were monitoring it from the other room. If you go past it, they'll definitely see you. Let's find another way. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, really? Oh, Here's man, I feel like... <sighs> Damn. Oh, uh, this thing? Climb down? Come on, you can do it, Yuma. <laughs> Seek a way out. It really do be like that right now, huh? Um. Fuck. Okay, what's this? Oh, look down? This place is much higher than I thought. At least you'll get away if you jump off. <laughs> so you just end up in the afterlife. You might break a few bones, but it's okay. There are no footholds or places to grab onto. I don't think I can use this as an escape route. Fuck! Oh god, he's back. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> Still trying to be so nice. Hey, buddy, what's going on, bestie? He's here. <laughs> oh, jeez, he's about to get executed. He's not holding a gun. Is he keeping it concealed? Mm -hmm. Why so pale? Scared of heights? <laughs> yeah, something like something that. Something like that. Let's just talk really quickly and get this over with. I see. Sorry about that. I'll make it quick. Oh, God. About the request earlier. You turned it down because you don't want anything to do with the resistance, right? It's like, maybe if I trauma dump on him some more, <laughs> that'll work. Huh? No, that's not why. It's all right. It's someone from the outside. Liberating Kanai Ward has nothing to do with you. I actually would have found you suspicious if you were gung-ho about it. But this is exactly why I think we can have a mutually beneficial relationship. Oops, sorry. But, but... I'm not asking you to do it for free. If you accept this job, we'll give you information on Amaterasu Corporation. <laughs> What do you say to that? It kind of sounds like I'm doing it for free, just like last time. I got important information. Man, you guys are just paying me in clout, paying me in information. What kind of information? Very important information. 
Our organization has a good number of former Amaterasu employees, myself included. We have some internal info that you can't get anywhere else. I think we can get you something you want. I guess we did learn about the homunculi last time. That was pretty important, Do I guess. Do you know what information I'm looking for? I have an idea. If the WDO sent a master detective to gather intel, it's gotta be the homunculi. Ah. Right. Got more information on that? <gasps> Our master! Master! Looks like I'm right. It's not just detectives. The whole world wants info about that. How's this? In place of prepayment for the request, I could tell you a little bit about it. Okay. Um, is it true? Do immortal monsters like homunculi really exist? Yeah. Homunculi do exist. And they're already inside Kanai Ward. Right huh. now. I feel like it could see being some like weird ass twist where like it ends up being that Yuma was actually a homunculi the whole time. Right now, there are immortal monsters in this city? So, they really were researching homunculi here? That means they were successful, doesn't it? Isn't that what this dude's saying? Seems like it. It's hard to believe, but Damn. could this be Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? <laughs> Looks like you're interested. However, I'll only tell you the rest once you finish the job. Teasing me, man. How about it? Did I whet your appetite? Master Detective. You should know that I don't have any special abilities. <laughs> I don't plan on making you do anything too difficult. We just want you to run a little errand. <laughs> we just want you to pick us up some meat buns. Impossible. <laughs> it's too difficult of a task for Yuma to do that. We tried last chapter, but he just couldn't do it. An errand? We want to set up some surveillance cameras around town to keep an eye on Amaterasu Corp's oppression. However, this isn't something we can do. Why not? If the peacekeepers see us setting up, they'll definitely start investigating the organization responsible. But hey, if they murder you for doing it, you know, no sweat off our bass. Which will Back give and... them an excuse to stamp out the resistance. Hence, why this job can only be done by someone who isn't affiliated with us. Okay. In other words, you need a pawn you can safely discard if it gets caught by the peacekeepers. <laughs> exactly, no, kid. I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> but you're not wrong. I want you to understand one thing, though. I'm not going to ask you to risk yourself for our sake. But we do want your help in protecting the people of this city. That's the kind of job this is. How does setting up surveillance cameras lead to protecting the people here? Yeah. Our goal with setting up the cameras is to capture proof of illegal acts carried out by the peacekeepers. I guess so. I don't know, man. This group is so sketchy, too. Like, I wanted to believe that they were chill and, like, the good guys, but they're pretty, pretty sketchy as well. We'll record all the criminal activity they commit, such as intimidation, assault, theft, embezzlement. I don't even know if that'll really even do anything. We won't fight them with violence. It would only lead to more lives lost. We're gonna take them down the right way. The resistance are not terrorists. He says that while concealing uh, the firearm. He's not <laughs> fooling us. I feel like you have good intentions, Stachi, but your little group, not so much. Even if you gather all that evidence, won't the peacekeepers just cover it up? Gathering one or two pieces of evidence is too weak. Man runs the risk of being snuffed out. In order to spread roots throughout town, Someone has to make it clear there are people fighting back. To spread roots? Mm -hmm. The resistance are like underground roots. Right now, we're still thin and weak. But we continue to fight. We'll spread our thin roots everywhere to try and bring life back to this withering tree. I feel like this guy in particular does have good intentions, but yeah, I feel like this group is not as good as, you know, as... They, I don't know, I shot you wants it to be. And one day, our fully grown branches and leaves will shelter the people of Kanai Ward from the cold rain. I kind of feel bad because it's like, I don't know, especially after his trauma dump too, it's like I knew he has good intentions and I feel like he's kind of going down like the wrong path again. Yuma, this is to protect peace in our home. So please, save this city. There it is again, save this city. How am I supposed to do that? 
Why is it all on me? What does everyone expect of me? I'm a shell of a person with no memories. I'd say they're not really relying on you, but more like taking advantage <laughs> of you. Yeah. So what are you going to do? Even Shachi, it's like, I mean, I guess he's trying to say it in a nicer way and not just be like, oh, we're taking advantage of you. But he was like, yeah, it's basically what we're doing since we don't want any of our people to do it. Even if they're taking advantage of me, they're better than that masked guy because their objective is clear. I don't know what if he wanted us to do, too. they have information about the homunculus, I want it. Setting up surveillance cameras shouldn't be too hard. At least he didn't try to kill us after we said no. <laughs> Alright, I accept your request. Great! I'm glad you made up your mind. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> you had no choice in the matter, too. Well, let's get started. Oh, God. Shachi. Oh god. Sorry to interrupt. There's a fight on the main street. <laughs> so Another turf could jump scare. The usual garbage dump. <laughs> Can I toss a grenade down there? When will I ever say yes to that girl? Hold on, you stay out of it. <laughs> Jesus. I'll go talk to them. Why is she even a part of their group? Sorry, Yuma. <laughs> But can you go down and get instructions from Servan about the job? <laughs> she's acting like she's done that before. Counting on you. Good luck. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't so, want to be alone. You decided to do it. You better not drag us down. I do not want to be out here alone with her. Okay, bye. Go away, girly. Never want to see you again. I wonder if this is for the best. The control got tangled in my chair for a second. You can't turn back now. You better hope the reward is worth it. Let's head back down for now and talk to Servan <sighs> about the job. Uh, at least Servan <sighs> seems kind of chill. I'm so glad you weren't killed. Oh last man, time. I feel like most everybody else is not Shut chill. You, the kind of person who. Come oh wait. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Oh. Right, we have to ask Savan about that request. I was gonna try to see if I could go get that shard in the meantime, but I guess I have to wait again. Damn it! Hopefully I don't miss it. Resistance! Anything about... I guess Saruka did have that one thing about the tattoo. Sun and Moon Hotel. Maru Gla photo frame. The shop for sale is a birthday present from departed family members. Oh, that's sad. He does have a pretty sad story, but he also seems kind of crazy, the old guy. <laughs> you don't understand our hatred! Yes, Ravon seems... Honestly, I think he is the only normal one besides uh, the main guy. He seems pretty chill otherwise. So, you accepted the job. That's good. Let me fill you in on the details then. Yes, please. You will be setting up surveillance cameras in four designated locations. Okay. These are the cameras you're going to be setting up. They're delicate machines, so handle them with care. Also, I'll give you a transceiver for communication. It's shaped like a smartwatch, since they're so trendy nowadays. Okay, that's nice. At least I'm talking to you and not the other ones. I'll tell you where to set up the cameras with it. Locations will be kept secret until last minute to avoid leaks. Okay, buddy. Once you finish setting one up, I'll give you the next location. Where's the first location? I'll contact you as soon as you leave, so I can test the transceiver's performance at the same time. If you don't hear anything from me, there's a chance the transceiver is broken. Bring it back here, and I'll fix it. All right. I'm counting on you. Be sure not to get caught by the peacekeepers. They're gonna cut you off if you get caught anyway. <laughs> I'll do my best. Do my best. We need to skip town, Yuma, honestly. Okay, what do you gotta say for yourself, iCarly? Hey! Since you're back, I assume you accepted our request. Good, we don't have to kill you now! Awesome! R right Right. If Shachi's all for it, then I've got no objections. I'll trust you too. You must really trust Shachi. We were living on the streets when he took us in. Okay. He built the resistance up to what it is now. Everyone is indebted to Shachi to varying degrees. He's like a big brother to us. Though he does have shortcomings. Like excessively okay. avoiding conflict and being oblivious about anything financial. Rip. Excessively avoiding conflict. Oh, the old guy. <laughs> He's like staring at the, the, uh, 
The, uh, God, I can't think of the name. The lock or whatever? I don't know, he's just staring at it because it's owned by Armaterasu. I'm on to you! I'm on to you! I will fuck you up! Damn. <laughs> when did we start using an Armaterasu safe. safe? I don't know why my brain just, like, blinks out sometimes. Trustworthy. Bah! There's nothing trustworthy about it. <laughs> I will kill you, safe! I will fucking murder you in your sleep! Oh, man. Let me uh, read a couple of these. Thank you, Cartman94! Kikichi talking to Kibo. Sounds so uncanny here. I know, it is kind of interesting, yeah, since Yuma's voiced by uh, Kibo. He's actually being nice to us, too. It's weird. I feel like I keep going in and out of hearing, like, him as Fuyuhiko and then hearing him as Kokichi. Oh, he's even got kind of red on his jacket, too. I guess, I guess it's just from his bag. I was like, combined his jacket was kind of that green color with like red uh, markings on it too, I think. Thank you, Crocomancer. So the one guy you trust has the Kokichi voice. It's not my fault, everybody else is crazy here. <laughs> He's literally the only normal one, dude. Oh man. Then? Once things are ready, I'll contact you through the transceiver. Make sure you don't get caught. Yes. I'll be careful. Okay, are we good to go, I think? Er... Uh, I'm trying to remember, what were we talking about last? I got distracted. Making fun of Marg Margala. Doo -doo. Okay, I think he already gave us all the stuff, right? So I think we're good to go. Can I leave through here, yeah. I ended up accepting the job. If this helps Kanai Ward in some way, it could reduce the number of unsolved mysteries. Even if I can't help the whole world become happier, I can at least help those closest to me. I can help my new bestest buddies and in the if whole I world. And this request, I have a chance to get closer to Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. My best buddy, the Rebellion. You are all totally emotionally stable. It's fine to be optimistic and everything, but I doubt it'll go as planned. This is you we're talking about. You're like the Grim Reaper for everyone else. I know one when I see one. I mean, you killed those teenage girls last time. That was rough, man. Like you're one to talk. <laughs> Murderer. Anyway, what about the other detectives who got bombed? You sure you haven't forgotten about them? I'd never forget them. <laughs> Finding everyone is my top priority. Oh, God. I can work on this case at the same time. <laughs> you can try. Hmm, that's pretty efficient. I didn't expect that from you. Ah, come on, let's go. Okay, let's go ahead. Maybe I can try to get that shard, too, before I uh, have to set up these cameras. I think it was that first place we came out of? Something like that. <laughs> we being our old man phobic. It's the turtle meme. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I don't know, man. They do, they just, they oh, do usually I'm be evil. Testing, testing, oh. can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hey, Kokichi. Servan? Yes, I can hear you. So far, so good. Here are the instructions for the first camera location. For the first surveillance camera, I want you to set it up at a phone booth in the commercial area, Marunamon District. Okay, Marunamon. We haven't even been there yet. Well, I guess that might have been where we met the mask guy. Marunamon District. I've never been there before. Oh, really? Well, I'll send you directions through the transceiver. This guy's kind of walking funny. <laughs> Thank you. Contact me when you arrive. I'll tell you how to set it up then. You look like you're pretending to be a spy. I'm not pretending. This is actual spy work. I'm an actual spy, damn it. Let's head to Marnamon District for now. I okay, cool. What kind of murders are happening in Marnamon District? Can I get I some can't freedom? Wait to find out. Where Cases was... like that don't just happen all the time. At least I hope not. Let's see. Where did we come from again? Damn, I'm all turned around now. I feel like we were kind this of way. in some kind of area like this. No, girl, I'm trying to get the thingy majig. Where did we start out again? Is it Master, do, do you get the sense we're being watched? Oh, by who? Yeah, I think so too. Was... We better get out of here quick. Wait, where was it? Damn it. Where do we start out at? Oh, hey, who's this? Are you the guy who keeps stalking us? Peacekeeper hating child. Those peacekeepers are always making weird sucking sounds when they talk. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> He's out the way, child. <laughs> That's the best 
I can do for the sucking sound. Move out of the way, child! It freaks me out! <laughs> <laughs> sucking sounds. Oh, because the mass. What else? What else? And oh, they smell! There is some real hate here. <laughs> That's cool. Man, where do we start out at? I'm trying to like, uh... <laughs> Ah, man, the where's the stupid shard? The water just continues to pool. <laughs> oh, gosh. I guess he's just a little kid, so he doesn't really understand how to describe it super well. Maybe it was up through here. <laughs> the peacekeepers are Cthulhu monsters confirmed. <laughs> that was basically whatever kind of freaky voice I just did. Okay, here it is. I think this was where we started out. It's like, um, over here, maybe? What the hell? Or wait. Oh, there's so much blue over here. This way leads back to that room you were just trapped in. I know, girl. I'm trying to get the shard. Okay, there we go. Man, that was kind of a ways off. Recall memories with Halara. Okay, Amethyst. Ooh. Could have started eventually doing doing these at some point. Someday. Soon, TM. Probably would be good to do them in case these characters die. <laughs> so, like, you know, I need to feel more attached to them so I can have more heartbreak. And that really was all the way back, dude. Okay, I think... I'll just keep going this way. Was far away, but at least we can run. It's definitely a pretty hidden one. Ding! One more shard at Rebellion HQ. I got one at the computer already. Uh, is there another one besides the one at the computer? I'm not sure if you just maybe missed that part. Where we got that. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should come back. But yeah, I got the one that was for Dezuhiko in the computer area. I wouldn't think there would be another one besides that one. Thank you for the donation, by the Looks way, like uh, Cook Mancer. To the bank from here. Let me uh, read some more donations, too. I kind of got distracted. Thank you, Demon30. Now it's time to get a meat bun so you don't starve like Chief Yako. <laughs> we already know what happened to him. Thank you, Lucky Cat2703 Luna. Yuma has the newest Apple Watch. You can just talk to Kokichi through it. <laughs> the best. Thank you. Why bye, my dudes? English. V3 VAs are from previous games, except Rontaro Hajime. Okay, so he's not in here, but I guess all the other voice actors are. There's definitely been a lot of overlap so far. And thank you, big chunk of Beyblade Burst. We be in her Gerontophobia. <laughs> Is that the name of being age, like age phobic or old people phobic? <laughs> oh man. Oh wait, it's for Vivia? What are y'all talking about? Wait, they said behind Weeby, what? Oh, behind the HQ. Oh, behind, okay. Behind HQ. Okay, I'll go back. <laughs> okay, I misread it. I guess I have to go back in that little alley area. Return to the submarine's remains for a shard. Jesus Christ, there's so many shards, dude. <laughs> oh my God, there's so many shards in this chapter. Okay. Under a car? I have to go all the way around every time. Probably go this way, it might be shorter. <laughs> yeah, I ran behind Weeby. It's like, oh god, where is it? <laughs> but you know, it's, if it's for Vivia, I have to do it. Okay, probably in here, right? Oh, there it is, yay! Cannot miss out on any Vivia shards. God, that is a messed up card. Or car. Recall memories with Vivia! Yay! Ah, oh, my king. My king. Up, 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 up. Can't look up all the way. Okay, cool. Bunch of missable shards in this chapter. Ooh, the trash. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no! It's a garbage dump site, but the trash is overflowing. Looks like it's been left here for a Hello. long time. It's the slums. There's probably no one willing to collect it. Plus, if they did a lousy job, they'd get jumped. 
They really don't care about this area, do they? Okay, let's go back this direction. Okay, I think somebody else said there was one by the submarine moraine? Moraines? <laughs> Remains! Cannot talk today! Let's see, I know that's the pier. <laughs> Monokuma graffiti! Oop, boop, 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 boop! <laughs> I didn't even think about that! <laughs> that's clever, if that's the case. Was that a Mona a Mona Koopa reference? Mona Koopa! Not to be wait, drone brella incident! What was that? Ooh! I wanna solve the drone brella murder. Oh, is this it? Hey! Well, that was quick! Oh yes! More memories with Dezu Higo! The best boy, baby! The best the bestest boy in the entire universe, Weeby. Okay. Supposed to go here. That's probably the only one there. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, let me try to find it again. Crosswalks, fortune, fortune. Shashi's coveralls are made of water-resistant material, ideal for working outdoors. Resistance. Oh, example, Rontaro and Hajime. Sorry, I misinterpreted that. Thank you, uh, why buy my dudes? Appreciate the donations. My bad, hey, I misinterpreted Master? it. Now how do you plan to get to Maranamon District? According to the map we got, we need to use the road in front of the hotel in Kamasaki District. Okay. Does it matter which exit I take? I don't know if it matters. I already... <laughs> it's like, I don't know how I'm gonna get there either. I already get confused just walking around the city. So who knows? Oh, actually, I do kind of remember trying that to go this way oh, before. This way? I got blocked. Hopefully, Tetsuhiko isn't dead, Uhiko. <laughs> got him. Where was the drone umbrella incident? Oh, yeah, there it is. Drone umbrellas are hands free umbrellas, inter device collisions, as well as incidents involving loss of control due to electromagnetic and. Interference have occurred. The 5G signals! They're making their drone umbrellas crash into each other. This is so sad. Amazon. <laughs> Not Amazon. So this is Marnumon District. It's supposed to be the commercial area. Looks nice. Sure looks like it. Compared to other parts of town, it seems kind of uptight. A jobless and homeless person like you has no business being here, huh? Setting aside being homeless, I am working as a detective. Even if I'm still a trainee. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's go find that phone booth. Can I actually get me buns Where's now? I see everybody in chat saying to do it. About. Synthetic flower planner. Say. Oh, it's another planner for those fake plants. Yeah. Yeah, just like the ones we saw in Kamasaki and Ginma. I guess it's tough for real plants to grow with all this rain. Yep. Meat <laughs> the meat bun shard. <laughs> oh my god, there's a shard in my meat bun. <laughs> that is so crazy. <laughs> Weeby, you gotta go back for the meat bun shard. <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> very important to the story. <laughs> oh, this is pretty though. Little walkways. This whole city is really nice. I like the design of it a lot. <laughs> uh, we'll go back for a meat bun later. I probably gotta put one in like an area with some meat buns. Right? Let's get this quest too. I I really don't wanna go. What the hell should I do? Um what's the matter? Um, oh, I just don't want to go to work is all. Oh, ditching work, huh? That seems pretty common these days. No. He looks terrified, so that can't be the only reason. Um. I guess he could work at Amaterasu. You seem frightened. Are you in a dangerous line of work? No, all I do is fix leaky roofs. It's really not that dangerous. <laughs> but I've heard rumors about a red rain falling at the site I'm heading into today. Red rain? Blood rain? Huh? Red rain? Ah, sounds exciting. Let's hear him out, what Master. 
Um, could you tell me more about that rumor? Blood red rain apparently falls from the sky at times! It's creepy, right? Uh... Is that everything? Yeah, it was scary enough already, so I didn't ask anymore. Uh, are you seriously interested in the red rain? And that's what happened. Give me money or detective points or whatever. Yeah, even though I'm still in training, I am a detective. I believe there might be a case here. You? A detective? You look like you're like 12, kid! You sure don't look like one. Yeah, that's right. I know, right? I don't see it either. <sighs> you know they can't hear you, Shinigami. Shut up. But a detective is exactly what I need. I want you to prove the red rain is just a crazy rumor. Huh? huh? But... but if there really is a red rain, it'd be tough to prove it's a lie. Hmm. What should I do? Yeah, let's take this stupid quest. <laughs> let's investigate. Yes. All right, I'll see what I can find out. Thanks, the spotted questions in the alley in Kamasaki District. I'm counting on you! That does seem like it would be a pretty dangerous job working on roofs. But whatever, I guess. Okay, we can probably do those like later, honestly. Just kind of wanted to, uh, it's kind of confusing, actually. I need to get across to this area? Or wait, no, I need to get to this other area over there. How do I, how do I get over there? Get over here, and then, how the hell do I get there? Huh, am I just stupid? <laughs> um, huh. How do I, how do I do that? I guess I'll just keep going for a little bit, see if I eventually, well, oh, maybe it's over here, actually. It's probably the road that's blocking it, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. There we go. <laughs> Got confused for a second. Thank you, XX Vanilla XX. What would Yomi say if he wanted to fight? A square up! <laughs> Just square up, Martina. It's not that fucking hard. <laughs> oh, wait, you already did! Pretty right, did. I think some of y'all guys were saying too in the chat on the meat bun. Master, you <laughs> oh, good times. Good amnesia, times. But this is what people look like when they're working. I saw that. You know that on the meat bun. For that careless remark. Why do I have to apologize to you? Hey, oh yeah, there it is. Here we go. The very is British the phone booth. booth. I've arrived at the destination. Time to contact Servan. Servan, can you hear me? I arrived at the telephone booth in Marunaman District. Great job, Master Detective. You work fast. Get the shard? What shard? Is there another shard? <laughs> I bet y'all are memeing about the meat bun shard. Can you go inside the booth and set up the camera underneath the phone stand? Is there another shard in this area? Here's how you set it up. Finished. Oh, we look so sus. How's this? <laughs> we look so sussy. Good. I can confirm via the video feed. That's it for the first camera. Check your surroundings for any peacekeepers. Got it. No peacekeepers. Never seen one Nobody. earlier. That's when you need to be most careful. Oh, my they bad. can appear out of nowhere. Here's the next location. Head to the front of the cafe in Ginma District. Contact me once you've arrived. Okay. Hmm. I thought you were like a spy, but you're more like an errand boy. The errand boy detective case files just received another entry. The meat bun shard is real? <laughs> it's in this district? I'm happy to help other people out. Three cameras left. At this rate, this shouldn't take too long. If that's the case, how about we take a detour? I've never been here before. You need to find the other detectives, right? Maybe you'll find their corpses around here. <laughs> Maybe they washed up over here. Who knows? I don't ignore that last part. But maybe if we ask around, we'll find someone who has seen them. I should gather some information before moving on to the next point. Okay. So wait, there's... Is there really a meat bunch? <laughs> Are y'all serious? Oh, God. I know about Chief Yako and the others. The eating area? Like in this district? Or is it like... I don't know. I guess we'll see. Okay, lady. Let's talk to you first. What do you want? I need to get to the bank. The bank? Yeah. 
The Marunaman Bank is up ahead. Okay. It's the only bank in all of Kanai Ward. Which is why the line always takes forever. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Maybe, I think. My colleague who was on break still hasn't come back. I hear there's a really cute waitress at the cafe in Gima district. Maybe I should ditch work and oh. go there. <laughs> I think I know where Desuhiko is! <laughs> and that's where I'm going to set up the next camera. Hum, I wonder who would be there! We I want memories with me, bun chan. <laughs> oh my god, y'all are fucking killing me. Okay, is it was it oh well actually there's somebody else over here. Maybe I should talk to them first. Was it um in that other area, the meat bun shop? I uh, cannot wait to hang out with Meat Bun Chan. I can't talk to you. Oh, it's this lady who I talk to. Um, I'm looking for some people. Huh? Like who? One of them has fuzzy hair and a wannabe bad boy look. Okay. Another carries a bag as tall as himself and thinks he's some big shot superstar. Oh, wait, was that? <laughs> was he talking about uh, Vivia? Fuzzy hair and a wannabe bad boy. How dare you roast him like that? S sorry. Even if it's true. A bell. And I don't think I want to get involved anyway. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Let's hear what other people have to say. Once you describe Desuhiko, she's like, no, thank you. No, thank you. Is he said a red truck? It might be... It might be in this other area. Oh, wait, there's somebody else I can talk to, though. Come on, bro. This city has or, oh, Yako, changed. that's... The brand That's shop he was I talking about. Was acquired by Amaterasu Corporation. I don't know. Vivi has got that emo boy look. You know what I mean? So that's what I was thinking about it. Thanks to that, career employees like me were all demoted. Makes me want to jump into the river. Oh God. Um, have you seen anyone <laughs> drifting down the river? <laughs> oh, I wish I could join them. Huh? You mean like people? I've been here all day. I haven't seen anyone. I see. Thank you. Oh, there's the truck. Okay, nice. I can go get it. Maybe yes, Meat Bun Shard. Finally, I can hang out with you, Meat Bun Chan. The best boy. <laughs> Who we all love so oh, much. Bun, please. Oh, wait, okay. Wait, y'all. Wait, actually, no, no, the last one was who you said Vivia was. I thought for a second y'all said this one was Vivia, too. My bad, my bad. What's up, Meat Bun? Meat Bun Man. Oh, I can't buy them, though. Oh, that's sad. What's this? Um, I can talk to her. I guess it's not the uh, actual person, though. Eatery. No. This place looks delicious, too, but everyone is eating only meat buns. Um. If you feel sorry for them, why not treat them to something else? You know I don't have any money, and yet, even though I keep doing all this freaking work, still haven't made a dime, dude. Getting paid in exposure over here like a dumbass. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, it gave me memories for Fubuki and not me, Bun Chan. This is so sad. So sad. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Huh? What do you want? I'm on break right now. Um, what kind of work do you do? I work at the power plant up ahead. All of the rainfall in Kanai Ward is gathered through the drains and ends up there. Okay. And then hydroelectrical generators create electricity for this city. Did you know that? Quite yeah. efficient, right? That does seem really efficient. That's very interesting. Okay, cool. Uh, I spoke to a few people, but no one seems to have seen them. Thank you, Demon30. For meat buns, go to the place Kurumi first started stalking you in Kamasaki District. Oh, you can buy them there? Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't smell the stench of corpses either. They give you like detective points or something? I was like, do we even have any money? <laughs> well, if there aren't any corpses, then they're probably alive somewhere. That's true, but for now, I should get back to the job. They might get worried if I take too much time. And by worried, I mean they might shoot me, especially you that one chick. You cafe in Ginma District, right? Yeah, I've been there before. This one shouldn't take long either. Oh, is that same cafe we already went to? I don't remember seeing any, like, you know, cute waitresses there, though. I feel like the way that guy was describing it made it kind of seem like it was, uh, whatchamacallit, like a, uh... Oh, actually, let me go this way. I think this is a good exit. Actually, can I just fast travel if I wanted to? Yeah, we can just fast travel for now. I'll do the secret missions later. 
What's he saying before? I can't remember. Head empty today. Head empty. Oh yeah, no, no, I don't remember there being any like cute waitresses there. Cause yeah, they were kind of making it sound like it was, I don't know, like a maid cafe or something. But we will see, I guess. Cause yeah, I was like, if it's a maid cafe, <laughs> Desert Hiko's definitely gonna be there. Oh, oopsie, ha, <laughs> wrong thing. Let's see here. Talk to this person. What's going on? There are tons of customers. It wasn't this crowded last time I was and here. Did they like change it for promotional reasons? Maybe they got some new dessert people can't help but snap photos of. Humans love lining up for stuff like that. But only men are lining <laughs> up. Anyway, this is a bad time to set up a camera. <laughs> Sassy. Servan, I'm at the location, but the cafe is extremely crowded. Where are you, Desu? I know you're in here. Hmm. I want to avoid any prying eyes. Is there something you can do about it? What do you mean? I want you to set up a surveillance camera at the cafe's bus stop so we can view the main street. Hmm. Call me back once you figure out how to make it happen. Counting on you. Uh, wait, uh, uh, what am I no, supposed no. to do? What now? What does he expect me to do? How about we boom kill everyone? And that's always your recommendation. Where are you, Aruka? How about we don't? Then what? You want to wait until all the customers go home? Anyway, let's look inside the cafe for now and see just how crowded it actually is. Okay. See what's going down in here. I know you're in here, Desu Hiko. packed in here. This will take a while. Can I get a refill for my coffee? Oh, here we go. Coffee over here too? <laughs> sure. Coming right up. Oh my god. <laughs> it was her. <laughs> you? What the hell, girl? Did you forget you're a detective? Just got a new job. Somebody told her, no, you've you always served coffee. coffee. <laughs> what the hell, Fabuki? <laughs> oh, God, she's so stupid. <laughs> God bless her heart. Thank you, Pigboy99. You should do a video on the fan game, Danganronpa Online. i seen Ryoma be blown up. Bandai turned into a lower tier god in the RP cast fight Shrek. I've heard of that. I've thought about making videos on it before. Um, I'm pretty sure I joined the Discord. I just haven't totally figured out, I guess, how it uh, works. But yeah, I have uh, I have heard of it and looked into it a little bit. Thank you for the donation. Thank you, Lucky Cat two seven zero three Luna. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Does he gonna find them? He gonna find them. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Oh, no, not coffee. <laughs> How dare you be all right too, you? What? What? <laughs> anyway, I'm just glad you're alive, Ubuki. <laughs> He's like, I'm just not gonna question anymore. I am grateful you were born as well, Yuma. I ought to thank your parents. Girl, do you even know who you are anymore? Excuse me, where's my coffee? Where's my coffee? <laughs> right, coming right up. Oh, I'm God bless her heart. He's all right, but I don't even know where to start with her. <laughs> I've always worked here. What do you mean? Detective? Seems that sheltered skank is tough to kill. I wouldn't mind if she died. I know it's cute. He was tearing up. Why do you keep saying stuff like that? I just hate airheads. Only losers find girls like her attractive. Um, Fubuki? What are you doing here? I am fencing coffee. Fencing? Everyone says it is delicious. Girl, I don't think they're here for the coffee. <laughs> fencing? I have never worked in a place like this before. It is rather exciting. I pour drinks! Very exciting! I have always had an interest in waiting tables. I feel as though I am blossoming with a talent I never knew I had. Okay, queen. Are you actually working here? I guess she was from like a rich family or something too. She's like one of those rich people who was like, Wow, I get to know what it's like to work at Starbucks for a day. This is so cool. Yes. I am an adventurer detective coffee fencer. What the hell is a coffee fencer? Where do I even start? <laughs> See, this is why I hate airheads. Anyway, how did you survive that explosion? That is a maiden secret. <laughs> okay. Huh? 
Uh, okay. She is so weird. What about the other master detectives? And Chief Yako? Is everyone alright? <laughs> also a maiden secret. Unfortunately, I have yet to see anyone since the explosion. Okay. I figured someone would appear if I waited at this cafe. But perhaps everyone died. <laughs> My deepest condolences. This is so sad. Somebody, Alexa, play Despacito. Thank you, uh, Foe 0220. What do you think about her waitress outfit? It looks cute. She's just working it. She's serving, literally, <laughs> in both ways. And thank you, Jean Philippe Ponson's too IQ to coffee. <laughs> basically, dude, basically, she is so stupid. <laughs> oh, everyone must still be alive. Come to think of it, waiting at this cafe instead of blindly searching is a good approach. Halara often visits here. Uh, you're giving her way too much credit. That being said, I felt bad just idly sitting around. So I started working. And as a result, we were reunited. Mission accomplished. And it all worked out. I see. I'm starting to understand the situation. I really do not think she put any thought into working here. However, ever since I started working, the number of customers has steadily risen. I was beginning to mentally prepare myself to settle here. From the cradle to the grave. <laughs> My god. Ah, so all the customers here are after Fubuki. Every single one of them has ulterior motives. Say, Yuma, what brought you here? Well, it's a long story. Up. Oh. <laughs> And the story spiel almost got killed like 50 times. There's that crazy chick with the guns. And that's what happened. Wait, she's gone? <laughs> what did she leave? Yuma, sorry to keep you waiting. I must procure more coffee. <laughs> I did not hear any of that. Procure? Aren't you brewing it here? <laughs> I'm glad. I hope it wasn't anything important. I ordered coffee from the hotel restaurant oh. and get them to brew it. Doesn't even make it. Wait, you're just serving coffee from the hotel? Uh, of course. Correct. <laughs> I, I see. So that's oh. why she calls it fencing. This is crazy. Oh, she is so stupid. So, what are you doing here again, Yuma? And uh, what was you, uh, who are you again? As I was saying, some people asked me to take on a job. So I'm working on that right now. Speaking of Fubuki, will you help me? I need you to move the customers away from the front of the cafe. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh? Using violence? <laughs> no, just being cute or whatever the hell you're doing. Some other way. <laughs> just work at the hotel or something. Very well. Leave it to me. Was asking for her help really a good idea? I highly doubt it. We will see. Call them. There's a cafe just across the way that serves even better coffee. Like, yeah, you're gonna be working there though, baby. This way. Follow me. Come on, use violence up. Now beat him up. <laughs> I was gonna hope she would use violence though. It's like, girl, no, I said don't use violence. Mini Custers. Oh. Un unfor uni oh, uniformed. I was like trying to figure out what that word was. Hey, Yay! Man, that actually worked. All right, now's my chance to set up the camera. Better get to the bus stop. Now's the best time to set up the camera at the bus stop. Whew, that should do it. Only two left. Nice. Ah, she's back in her Yuma, normal outfit. How did it go? Perfectly. Splendid. We work well together. Yeah. I'm sure we would make great partners. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta go back to the coffee shop. What? Was that a marriage proposal? Oh my god. What? No, I was just agreeing with you. Oh, right. <laughs> my apologies. I oh, lost my god. composure. Phew. I almost became an adventurer detective wife. Were you gonna say yes? <laughs> Master has already sworn his life to another. <sighs> I'm getting a headache. Well, since we have reunited, I will help you with your work, Yuma. Okay. Are you sure? It's like, also, I got fired. I am better fit for adventuring than waiting tables. 
You and I are now partners. You can relax. Thank you. No need to be strangers. You can speak to me with phrases full of slang like we are old chums. Okay. After all, we are the last two survivors. <laughs> girl! <laughs> They're not dead, girly! Listen, everyone has to be alive. I got the video feed from the second camera a bit ago. This is going great. Seems like Shachi was right about you, detective. Okay. The third location is in Kamasaki District. Set it on top of the vending machine near the hotel. Okay. I'm counting on you. Counting on Next you. Next is Kamasaki District. Thank you, Nakokichi. <sighs> I'm tired of these errands. Where can we find more corpses? Maybe a corpse in a kimono hung upside down, or corpses with their heads swapped. I'm sure it's coming up soon. You shouldn't joke about that. It could actually happen in this city. Yuma, are you talking to an oh. invisible person? Oh, she noticed? Huh? Did she notice me? <laughs> I heard it just now. A creepy man's what? voice talking about oh. the camera. <laughs> he sounded just like Kokichi Homa. Oh, you mean this? Horrifying. It's a transceiver. The voice is my client. I'm receiving instructions through it. Oh, is that so? Apologies for my ignorance. That sure freaked me out. I thought she heard my voice. I have lived inside a mansion since I was young and know little about the ways of the world. I am so naive that the servants call me <laughs> so thick behind the wall. Oh, girl! Oh, girl, that's not, that's not what that means! <laughs> Wait, hold on! Girl, take off the jacket! Now I gotta check! <laughs> um, that's, that's not what that, not what that means! I don't think I think that. <laughs> anyway, it's oh never too my late god! To oh, I gotta be paying attention later. <laughs> I mean, take me for example. Oh I my god! Nothing, but I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm yeah, dead. I am much better off when compared to the state your head is in. <laughs> You're right. I should be proud of being dummy thick. R right. <laughs> right. Anyways, I now know that is a transceiver. <laughs> She's so dumb. Your plant must be oh so my God. small to fit inside there. <laughs> is she really a master detective? She'd struggle to live even a normal life. What happened to her brain? I can't deny that. Anyway, we have a princess from Wonderland here, <laughs> so have fun escorting her. I'm, I'm dead. Delayed. We have to get to the vending machine near the hotel in Kamasaki District. Oh, girl, <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, God. Just imagine her being so sad hearing them say that. They called me dummy thick for my thick skull. This is so sad. Okay, let's get another quest. Oh, it's you. Come on. Master, who is this girl? Did you take it? <laughs> That's literally you in Desuhiko, not me. Did you take advantage of her? No. Why do you have to say it like that? And I have no idea who she is. She probably just goes to the school we helped out at, right? I saw you with Karui before. Are you her boyfriend? Huh? Oh, well, you know, I don't want to say anything, but... No, I'm just kidding. On. As if. Hey. Karui and I don't have that kind of relationship. Aha! It's the way you say her name. You're totally her boyfriend, aren't you? Uh, um. No, that's... Oh, God. Don't try to hide it. I see right through you. Come on. She sure is persistent. What's your name? Um. It's Yuma, but Karumi and I really aren't together. Yuma it is. Seeing as you, you're a love guru, I'd like to ask you for your advice. Is this our quest? <laughs> love guru? <laughs> My master, a love guru? <laughs> you can count on him. <sighs> Quit laughing. God. This chick sure is relentless. She's earned my respect. <laughs> oh my god, she finally likes another girl. There's someone I like, but I don't know if I should tell him or not. He's very, what's the word, aloof? He tends to not show a lot of emotion. <laughs> she like brings us to him. Ends up being like Vivia or something. I just saw him, you know, like sitting underneath the fireplace in the cafe. And I knew I was in love. It's like, me too, girl. Me too. 
That's why I'm not sure how he feels about me. <sighs> uh-huh. So I'd like it if you, love guru Yuma, asked for what? me. You want me to do it? <laughs> yeah, you're both guys. So he might be more willing to talk to you. Girl, if you can't even ask him, I don't think it's a good basis for a relationship. And since you're a love guru, I bet you can pick up on his subtle emotions. How about it? Will you help me out? Uh, um, I guess so. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not even close to being like actual detective missions anymore, is it? All right then, when can I, where can I find him? Around this time, I'm sure he's at a cafe. Oh God, <laughs> he's over there simping for Fabuki. The Golden Path Cafe. Oh. The Golden Path Cafe. That's the cafe in Ginma District. Yeah, that's it was in the way that tall tower. Yeah. Okay, I'll go there then, but I can't make any guarantees. I see. That humility must be one of your techniques. I should be taking notes. Aww. You're not getting through to her at all. Let's just leave her and head to the cafe. <sighs> yeah, let's. Oh, man. Troubles of the heart. Okay, I think I'm going to take a quick break and go to the bathroom. Uh, I'll probably just pause it. Oh, wait. No, not that menu. This menu, I'll be right back. Let me uh, set up somebody for y'all. Not that y'all even care anyways. Y'all just simp over Cherikun instead, but I'll set up Kaide just in case y'all want to talk to her instead of Cherikun. Come on, Kaide. You got this. Oh no, she won't. She won't balance. Maybe that? Okay, there you go, queen. There you go. Okay, I will be right back. Let me just mute this. Okay.
<laughs> now y'all calling the chair dummy thick. <laughs> Lord, Lord, can you believe these people, Kaide? Can you believe them? Simping over a chair, a broken chair at that. <laughs> A broken chair of all things. Okay, let me. Man, this cord keeps getting tied up to my uh, chair. Okay, where are we going again? Uh, oh yeah, Kamasaki District, I think. Okay, there we go. I'll just get the other missions later. <laughs> Chad does need help. <laughs> oh man. Clockford family. Oh yeah, I guess. I think I already read this one at some point. World Renown family managing the world's time or something. They probably just make clocks, right? Kind of interesting. It's like a chain hanging off of her, like, you know, head. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. Weird design choice. Oh, thank you, Demi. Just got home. Glad I can relax with the stream. Thank you so much for stopping by and for being a member. Appreciate you. This way. Oh yeah, the vending machine here. Oh yeah, there is the the meat bun. Oh, here it is. Here it is. You can buy one here, right? Welcome. Mm -hmm. Um, what an indescribable smell. You gonna eat one, Master? I guess so. Yeah. Well, I'm a little hungry, so I wouldn't mind eating. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what a sensual, sensual smell. Maybe I should get one too. Huh? I don't think you can eat. Don't describe it like that. Anyways, it's not like you can eat, right? Man, Shinigami, don't say that. My chat's gonna start simping for the meat bun soon. Phew. Say. What do you think? Any good? Hmm. Um, how to describe it? It was unique. Not bad, but... That's your reaction after eating a super popular meat bun? Your palate might need some work, master. Huh? Really? I know I suck at cooking, but <laughs> somebody's like thinking, like everybody's so obsessed with these meat buns. They're like, there's nothing, nothing on planet Earth that tastes just like it. Like what if it's made out of something really sketch? It's like made out of like human meat or some shit. It's like kinda, kinda tastes weird though. I don't know, kinda gummy. I, I don't know, I've never, never had it before. <laughs> That'll be the twist at the end of the game. The meat buns are made out of humans. Uh, and here I was expecting a review befitting a gourmet. How foolish I was. What kind of expectation is that? Okay, let's go put the vending machine thing on. That's it for number three. Three? And after three is... You can three. do it, girly! You can do it! Okay, Believe I confirmed the feed. Huh, the video quality is poor. Could it be the location or the cable? Let me adjust things. Uh, do you mind standing by for now? Okay, we're gonna get caught by a peacekeeper. All right. Fubuki, we need to be on standby until we get further orders. We should move so the peacekeepers don't spot us. Understood. Okay. Let's wait under the overhang for Servan to get in touch. so awkward <laughs> what should I talk about oh god you can tell her what dummy thick means uh, about the weather about the Clockford family about detectives oh, okay cool we can probably do all these eventually I the lost family my first. memory so forgive me for asking is the Clockford family famous famous hmm I am unsure about that definitely rich I believe only Everyone in the world knows about that. <laughs> Only everyone, but not in the universe. That's not very good. That's pretty famous. Do they run a Zaibatsu or something? Or are your family all politicians? I am not certain myself. But for generations, we have managed the world's standard time and make any decisions regarding time and calendars. Oh, what the hell? Your family sounds like a bigger deal than I thought. I thought they just made clocks. <laughs> we decide if we want to get rid of the month of March or not. Some years we're like, um, we're tired of January. Let's let's get rid of it. 
So, will you be taking over your family's work in the future? Oh god, I do not want her to be the master of time. I cannot say for certain. But, I did discover something after leaving home. It is far more fun to travel the whole world than to sit idle in a mansion. That is why I think I will stay an adventurer detective for the time being. <laughs> okay, girly. About the weather. The rain just won't stop, huh? <laughs> How about them Lakers, huh? Yuma, do you not like the rain? Well, I haven't really given it much thought, but I don't think I like it very much. I love the rain. Back at the mansion, I never saw the ocean. Mm -hmm. Rain was the only thing that let me imagine what it could be like. Damn. If so much water could be falling, then there must be a place where it all accumulates. You imagined an ocean from just the <laughs> rain? You must have had a wild imagination as a kid. It's kind of weird that her parents like basically locked her up in that mansion, it seems like. Kind of reminds me of like a Toph from like Avatar almost, like wouldn't let her leave the premises at all. I have always been told my imagination is my only real <laughs> That was not a compliment. But still, I have yet to see the actual ocean. I do want to go see it one of these days. Oh man, you're probably gonna die though. I don't know. The ocean above the clouds. Girl, what? <laughs> That's why the sky is blue, right? Because it's the ocean. Huh? Above the clouds? <laughs> I guess it's where she thinks the rain comes from. Seawater becomes rain, does it not? And rain falls from the sky. Totally. Which means that the seas are above the clouds. Am I wrong? Nope, you got it 100% right, girl. Just don't even try, Yuma. Whenever I see white clouds floating in the sky, I think, <laughs> oh, it's the ocean. Uh, right. <laughs> I guess you can't say for sure if it's above the clouds until you see for yourself. That's so true. <laughs> exactly. Let us go see the ocean together someday in the sky. Right. Oh, Lord. Oh my god. Fubuki, what made you become a detective? Yeah, I was kind of wondering that too, since, uh, you know, she had her whole life kind of set for her. Well, I am ashamed to say it, but it was oh. my parents' instructions. I was not even aware of what detectives do. Maybe once they noticed her forte, they pushed her my into it? My parents wished for me to gain some worldly experience. They practically kicked me out. <laughs> like, we are so sick of you and your dumbass comments, girl. I soon joined the World Detective Organization, but even then, I was simply doing what my parents told me to do. Okay. I kind of thought she, like, would have ran away from her home, honestly, since they seemed so overprotective. And you were able to become a master detective? After the training and exams? But I guess she was cool with it until she left, and then she was like, oh, it's fun to actually see the world. Yes. Before I knew it, I had my detective deed. <laughs> well, the shitty gummy just like taking a nap over there. Before you knew it, was it that easy for you? Wasn't it tough? I do not know. Mm. So much has been on my mind since I left home that I have not taken much time to consider it. Yeah, she's so forgetful, too. She literally can't even remember like what she had for breakfast that morning, so it's kind of weird to think about how bad her memory might be. Like, she'd actually be, like, misremembering things about her childhood and stuff, too. The outside world is completely new to me. Everything is bright and shiny. I wanted to learn more about this new world. So I decided to become an adventurer. So that's why you keep calling yourself that. Yes. There is nothing more exciting than exploring an unknown world. Yes. However, I do not wish you to think I am neglecting my duties as a detective. Finding the truth in unsolved cases is similar to going on an adventure. To uncover a secret no one else knows. That is something both adventurers and detectives do. I kind of figured that's why she kept describing it as like an adventurer, you know what I mean? I see. Curiosity about the unknown is what drives you. Ah, perhaps that is it. For the first time, I feel like I finally understand myself. Got the crazy eyes right there. Yuma, you are a great detective. <laughs> sure. Thanks for waiting. I finished making the adjustments. Okay. I managed to process it on my end, so there's nothing you need to do over there. 
Got it. Can we leave this place now? Yeah. Head to the next location. This is the last one. Okay, he was able to fix it on his own? That's the last camera will need to be set up on the road in front of Etheria Academy. Oh, that uh place. Thanks. That's cool. Thanks. School. There shouldn't be a lot of people there at this hour. It should be easy enough. Kind of random place to want to have one of those cameras. Yeah. They say time is lightning, so we need to hurry and strike. Um, I think you mean money, <laughs> not lightning. <laughs> yeah. That's the same thing, right? Never mind. Let's go. <laughs> oh, whatever. It's too hard to try to explain this stuff, so <laughs> we're just Next gonna we're live and let live. Academy. Is that the saying? Remember we walked there from yeah. Kamasaki before. Huh? I don't wanna walk anymore. Come on, let's just take the bus. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Um oh, it's all chained up right now. Okay, we can just take this. It's too far to walk. <laughs> to the gay academy. <laughs> oh man. Golden Path, Cafe, Blockford, Conai Ward. We still haven't met this person yet. Gola Glame is lucky hero of the day. For all the Scorpios out there, watch your head. Get trampled and become a star. What the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Am I like horoscope reading? Let's end it quick. She only does it for Scorpios though. Okay. Oh! Okay, so this is the stopping point? Okay, I guess I should do the task then. Okay! Well, oh, there's another task up here too. I guess I can get this one as well. Let me know too if there's any other um, shards that I've missed. I feel like I've already gotten a lot of them, but just in case. Okay, lady. Do you have a school visit permit? Because of the incident the other day, many students are deeply concerned about their safety. S sorry. Oh, I see. For the safety of the students, we can't let unauthorized persons inside. I understand. Hey. If you want in so bad, why not reprise your role as the pervert detective? I can't reprise a role I never had! Okay, I guess I clicked on the wrong person. <laughs> I was like, this doesn't really seem like a quest. Oh, hey, it's you! But not uh, Dezuhiko's version. I. Whoa! Oh my god, Dezuhiko, is that you? You gotta stop doing this, man. What is it? A normal person? Thank goodness. I'm sorry for startling you. No. No, don't worry about it. I feel like I've seen this person somewhere before, but I feel like they are much more perverted. Yeah, that's right. Then the shorty detective uses disgusting powers to look like her. Oh wait, I meant disguising powers. Right. <laughs> oh right, that's why I recognize her. Do you happen to know the other- Oh my god! <laughs> I was wondering what she thought of that! Oh my god, I saw you with the other version of me, you little shit! Do you happen to know the other me as well? What do you mean? Can you investigate him? Uh, what? No, girl! No, there's no- there's only one of you! I've heard recently that another me has been seen at the academy. Since then, a mysterious figure has been following me! Not just around the school, but outside it, too. It's terrifying. Maybe. Oh, poor girl. Could that have been Dezuhiko in disguise, probably? Do you know something? Whatever it is, please tell me. Uh, um, well, now. you'll be in a heap of trouble if the truth gets out. You need to make something up. Mm. Oh, God, what should I say? Who is the other me? What is that shadow? It's your nobody. It was a doppelganger, your twin. I don't know what to say! A doppelganger? Maybe? Or your imagination? I don't think she'll like that, though. I'm just like, you're so crazy. You're so Delulu, girl. We'll do a doppelganger. Yeah. It must be a doppelganger. A doppelganger? And that's what happened. That's right. And that's what happened. <laughs> and that's just what happened, girl. I'm just gonna gaslight you right now. They transform to look just like their victim. The real person dies if the two ever meet. Die! Okay, I was just thinking somebody who looks like her. Not all this. Well. Yeah, so you shouldn't go looking for them. That's how the urban legend goes, at least. I don't know how true it is, though. Please, I'm scared enough as it is. Sorry. Oh, sorry, that was a bad joke. Jesus. 
I couldn't help but notice your outfit. Are you a detective? I had no idea there were still detectives in Kanai Ward. Well... Yeah, I am. Could you look into the shadow that's following me, please? I need to understand what's happening. It's just a little pervert. Hmm. She does seem really troubled by this. Okay, we'll accept it. Poor lady, then... dude. All right, I accept your request. Really? Thank you so much. I'll let the Academy know in case you need to investigate around there. I get it. I'm on to you, Master Scum. You took this request so you could get into the girls' school, right? Huh? Of course not. I'm just helping someone in need. <laughs> Jesus. But we already know the culprit. There's no reason to investigate at all. Huh? That may be true, but there might really be a stalker. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You just want to take another peek inside the girls' academy, don't ya? Is something the matter? Why do you keep talking to yourself? No. No, I'll, I'll start my investigation right away. Thank you. I leave it to you. <laughs> I don't know why it cracks me up as a little voice line. And that's what happened. <laughs> it's like literally just gaslighting her. And that's just what it is. No more questions. <laughs> oh, God. I probably should have just told her she was Delulu. Um. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure, what is it? You know. Have you heard about a suspicious person being seen in the school recently? Oh, you mean that little blonde boy with the big-ass backpack? Yeah, that's the one! Thank you, Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. Himiko. It's magic! Ooh, magic! That is very Himiko. Come to think of it, I heard an outsider got into the academy during that incident with the theater club the other day. I so. Oh, that's so crazy! That's so weird! You know, I saw a girl who looked exactly like you! Do you have a twin? Every day since then, people have been seeing a suspicious figure. Everyone in class is talking about it. Is this really how we're gonna find Desuhiko? I see. Every day, huh? He's just been here the whole time. And we thought you were dead in the river, dude. You mind? Do you have a minute? I've been asked by your teacher to conduct an investigation. Yeah, okay. I have practice seen though, so I can't talk long. Yeah. That's fine. So have you seen a suspicious figure around the academy recently? Um, suspicious? I haven't seen one, but... A friend of a friend saw someone leaving the teacher's office in a hurry one night. Huh? Okay. That could be the culprit! She hid and took a closer look, but it was just the music teacher. Maybe this is just one big hoax. I see. I see. Thanks for your help. Where are you, Desuhiko? I know it's you, you little shit. <laughs> Oh, man. I know you're in here. Oh, she teleported there now. Okay, cool. Oh, is there another explanation point outside? I guess we can do this one first. You mind? I'm investigating rumors of a suspicious person on school grounds. Can I talk to you for a minute? A suspicious person? First I've heard of it. No. Have you noticed anything unusual happening lately? Oh, uh, well, my super nice teacher has seemed out of it lately. When I call out to her, she doesn't respond. Maybe. Is that the same teacher who requested my help? She must really be at her wit's end. Plus, she seemed to be tailing another teacher. She was walking so st <laughs> Oh, God, it really is him. She was ta wait walking so sneakily. That's the only suspicious stuff I've noticed. Thank you. I see, thank you. Is it really Desuhiko? Is he still dressed as her and just like fucking with people here? Because, unless the actual teacher was like tailing people because she thought they were the stalker? Maybe? Or something like that? I know, I want to see Lighting Staff Girl. I miss her. What a queen. What a queen she is. Um. Excuse me, there are a few questions I'd like to ask you. Ask me. You seek the knowledge of a journalism club member. Of course. How can I be of service? No. <laughs> Female Tagami. She sure has a unique way of talking. For now. Has anything strange happened around the academy recently? Something strange? Well, I would certainly be the person to ask. Now let's see. There was the tragic tale of revenge during the theater club performance. The principal's purloin toupee. Oh, pfft, purloin toupee. A music teacher is a first love. The disappearance of a mysterious and beautiful student. 
Those are the hot topics of the day. Uh, Any information on sighting of a suspicious blonde kid with a big backpack? A s suspicious figure? Who can say? I don't deal in spooky stories. It's just stories about murder and flying toupees, it seems like. Uh, seems like she's not good with scary Thank things. Uh, thanks for the information. Please let me know if anything comes up. Sure, leave it to me. Oh yeah, female Nikkei actually probably more like it, now that I think about it. Y'all mentioning that in the chat. Um, do we go upstairs for the other explanation point? I think so, yeah. We can go up this way and see if we can find it. There it is. Okay, here we go. You mine? Excuse me. Hello, are you one? Are you the one helping out our teacher? Um. Yeah, I am. How did you know? I saw the two of you talking from the window. I see. Okay, creeper. Then I'll cut to the chase. Have you noticed anything strange about the school or teachers lately? This is just between you and me, but someone has apparently been stealing the teacher's belongings. Huh? What? A small things like her handkerchiefs and pins are evidently going missing from the teacher's office. Oh. It really is like a creeper, but is it Dezuhiko? <laughs> That's the question. But outsiders rarely ever come onto school grounds. I think it's causing her a lot of stress. Thank you. She's losing it, man. I see. Thanks for your help. In that case... No students are allowed in the teacher's office, right? Which means... It's gotta be a teacher. Or that Dezuhiko. That's probably all the information we're gonna get. Oh, thank you, Anna Nicole. Hi, Weeby, just popping in to say hi. Watching SCRA2 to make myself feel better. Oh, that's so sweet. Have a good stream. Oh, thank you so much, appreciate ya. Hope you're uh, enjoying the SCRA2 streams. Those are definitely a lot of fun. Say. So, did you figure out who the culprit is? Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, probably a teacher. <laughs> I still kinda wanna think it's Desuhiko, to be honest. But I think it might just be a teacher. I don't know. Well, they did say that one teacher was like, kind of stalking around, like creepily. I could see that being Dezuhiko, like dressed up as the teacher. But I kind of feel like he was implying this the most. Mm -hmm. A teacher, which teacher? Yeah. The music teacher. She was mentioned in several of the students' stories. So she has to be the stalker. It. So it wasn't the shorty detective after all. Oh, then it's time to report back. Okay, hopefully that was right. We'll see, I guess, if not. Uh, what is it? Have you figured out who the shadow is? Yes. Yeah, but first... You're the culprit. Oh, I know you're hiding over there. Come on out. Huh? Generic music teacher. And I would have gotten away with it, too. If it wasn't for you meddling kids. Oh, she's probably stalking her because uh, Desuhiko was doing weird shit when he was disguised as his teacher. You, what are you doing here? What is this all about, detective? The culprit is... This person is the culprit. Or rather, the stalker. I'm sorry, but it's your fault. What do you mean? You said you liked me the other day. Oh. It was the first time someone said that that to me. Oh my god! <laughs> Not Desert Hiko hitting on the music teacher <laughs> while he was in disguise, and then you lied! I thought I finally found another lesbian teacher at this school, and yet, and yet, you were queer baiting me! I said that? No way. Oh no! <laughs> This has to be the shorty detective stink all over it. He causes problems even when he's not around. I don't recall ever saying that. <laughs> it must have been a big misunderstanding. <laughs> Your platonic words might have been taken as a confession of love. But then we made out in the bathroom after that. Oh god, Dazuhiko. <laughs> so I just jumped to conclusions? No, I'm sure it was my fault for misleading you. I'm so sorry. So you're not? So you're you're not? No, it's all right, really. <sighs> Poor music teacher. I hope you find someone, girl. Phew, looks like I managed to cover it up. Investigation's going great. I believe that should settle things. 
Yes, thank you so much. I can finally rest easy. This is really just like Yuma gaslighting. That's like this whole, whole mystery. Allow me to thank you as well. No. No problem. Well, if you'll excuse me. Oh, what the fuck? Um. Part two? Later? Coming soon? Next chapter? I guess? Maybe? Eh. <laughs> I guess so. Jesus. I guess there was another one. I guess it might, yeah, actually continue. Um, I guess we can do one of these first. Ah, oh, man. Poor lesbian music teacher. She'll find somebody eventually. Someone eventually. Oh, yeah, just the pistols. Still don't know about this girl. Oh, for all the Geminis out there, a trip to an alternate dimension will bring you that much closer to achieving your goals. Galami seems like she's full of it. <laughs> she seems like she's full of shit, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, just travel to the moon. All you Aries girlies, just travel to the moon. All your, all your problems will be solved. Okay, which one was this one? I guess we'll see. Um. There are rumors about red rain falling around here. Do you know anything about that? Say what now? Never heard of it. I think someone's messing with you, man. <laughs> you might be right. Okay, I gotta go up for some of these, it looks like. There we go. I do get so confused in this area. Okay, pretty lady. Excuse me. Excuse me, have you heard a rumor about red rain falling in this area? Red rain, what the hell is that, an urban legend? Never heard of it, let alone seen it. <sighs> I see, this guy's just a Lulu, isn't he? <laughs> He's just scared of nothing. Good important detective work that we're doing here. Out here in a uh, con I ward. Next, we confess to a boy for another teenager. Um. Excuse me, do you know anything about this red rain rumor? I uh, can't say I do. Where'd you hear that? No. It's fine if you don't know. Thanks anyways. <sighs> Looks like no one knows anything about it. Mm -hmm. uh, what's going on here? Did that guy trick us? Boom kill you. Deceiving my master gets you boom killed. Uh. A rumor nobody's heard about. He might have been tricked too. So, so I should ask him where the rumor came from. I gotta go back to him? Dang. I guess so. Where was he at? He was in... um. Was he in Monumon? Yeah, I think he was in this district, right? Kind of curious, yeah, to see what's going on with this. Oh, for all the Libras out there, carry out 100 gram, carry around 100 gram weights around for potential, potential bliss. You Geminis in the chat heard that, right? You gotta get on top of that right now. Right now, bestie. No time like the present. Okay. Just like, yeah, on this side, I think. Oh, what the hell? Oh, this dude. What the hell is going on? Uh, watch out, master. I think you're being surrounded. What the hell is going on? Um. Uh, can I help you? Um, cool. Uh, well, I'll be going then. Where art the going, brother? What, what is it? What are you guys like, Shakespeare kiddies? Huh? Oh God, more thespians, brother. What are you talking about? The crimson. What the? Oh God, it's a cult or something? The crimson red rain is a blessing. Those who seeketh it are to brothers. Oh, Jesus Christ, I tell one of your drugs. Believe in the red rain, as we do. Master, there's something off about these guys. Let us trust in the crimson red rain. Seek the blessing with us. What do I, do? I, I don't want any. What should I do? The crimson, oh God, they're just like inching closer. The crimson red rain will guide us to the promised land. Receive thy blessing and enter the promised land. They're gonna get us if you don't do something quick. We have to run. Oh shit. 
Okay, I just thought I was going to do a mini game for a second. Did we lose them? Oh. It doesn't look like anybody followed us. Hey. Master, what's that? Huh? Huh? Oh. Did you get a business card? This is... What the? Huh? It says, when next we meet, thou shalt beast made a brother in truth. What the hell is this quest? They must have written this note, but when? <laughs> Anyways, let's report back. Dude, do not fucking fix that roof. That's all I know what to say. Do not go close. You should quit your job. What is that? Oh my god. Hey, you're back. Yes. Yeah, I ran into a bit of trouble. As for the investigation, rest assured the red rain... I don't know, bro. That fucking exists. It's just not what, not what you think it is. Are you not going to mention those fucking cult members what? that almost jumped you? That would only that would only make it more uneasy. He should also get jumped by the cult members. What the fuck are you doing, Yuma? Oh, man. The red rain doesn't exist. Yes. We just killed this guy. Yes, you can go to work without worry. The crimson red rain. What the fuck is going on? Another twist? You're lying to me! Because I'm also a part of the cult! The Crimson Red Rain does indeed exist! <laughs> eh? Trust in the Crimson Red Rain as we do! <gasps> Are you just trying to bait me into this the whole time? <laughs> you just make a small donation of $100! Master, this guy is... Brother, trust in the Crimson Red Rain as we do. Let us make for the promised land. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just like, it ends up being like a pyramid scheme or something. He's like, no, brother, join us. If you sell this makeup, then I get money. And then if you convert somebody, oh, God, no. Oh, my God. What the hell was <laughs> Just didn't like Red Rain people to try to convert others into their cult? It doesn't look like he followed Say. us. And that guy must have already been brainwashed. What does that mean? Seems like it. Just who were those people? Okay. I didn't sense anything strange from them, so they're probably just humans. Is there like gonna be a side story with the side quest? Because we saw the Red Rain guys earlier in the other quest too. It kind of seemed like it. <laughs> Buyer NFTs, Yuma! The Crimson Red Rain NFTs! Look at this monkey one! <laughs> <laughs> That's more unsettling. They generally believe some crimson red rain will save them. Oh god. He's still watching. Oh god! They're still here! What's up? What is it? Sh Are we gonna have sure. to confess that girls love to a red rain member? <laughs> like, oh yeah, so this girl thinks you're really cute. Red rain! Oh god damn it! <laughs> Cannot escape these dudes! Nothing. I must be imagining things. <laughs> what is this? Man with callous aura. The crimson red rain will guide us to the promised land. Receive thy blessing and enter the promised land. It's like the red rain of like the peacekeepers or something. Okay, cool. I understand literally less than when I started. But cool, great, great times. Let's go confess to a red rain member. The crimson red rain code. <laughs> Oh, God. Let's find another, uh... Here we go. The Scorpios. We already got that one. Where's Aries? I'm an Aries. I want an Aries, uh... Prediction. What do I need to do, Galame? No! You failed me. You failed me. Ugh. She has favorites. She plays favorites. Okay. Um... Yeah, this was the cafe one. This one seemed pretty easy, but I guess we'll see. Okay, this dude, he looks kind of old. Excuse me. Do you have a minute? Uh, what is it? Uh. Um, I was able to find him, but how do I even bring this up? <sighs> you walked up to him without a plan. Get it together, master. Why don't you just ask him straight up? You won't get anywhere tiptoeing around it. That's true. You might be right. Well, there's a girl who says she likes you. A girl from the academy. Hmm? You know her? 
She's talked to me a few times before. I didn't know she felt that way, but I'm happy to hear it. Uh, what? He he likes her too? Boring. Well. A red rain. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for. Come on, who doesn't like a happy ending? But thinking about it, how things are in Kanai Ward. I'm afraid I can't return her feelings. Huh? 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 He's lost in thought now. What should we do? Um, uh, maybe we can find someone to give us love advice? For now. Then how about checking out Ginma District? Yeah. Sure, and if we don't find someone there, we can look around somewhere else. Okay, weird. So, how was it? You wanted to ask for advice, right? Yeah, we're dating now, thanks to him. I'm so glad I went for a consult. I should go ask for a love consult, too. I've been stuck in a rut lately. You definitely should. I think he stole the hotel in Kamasaki District. In that case... Sounds like someone who might know about romance. I guess I should go meet him, too. Okay, I guess so. Oh, uh, such a meme side quest. Man, I keep actually moving that. Okay. Um, Kamasaki. Red rain! <laughs> I am kind of wondering if that's going to keep coming up in these missions. Oh, wait. Um, still Ophoticus is around? Oh, is that like another Zodiac thing? Libra's out there. Oh, we're going to do the Libra's. Man, she just hates us, Aries, man. Why is she so Aries phobic? It's not cool. I <laughs> This job is so dumb. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Um, do I go up here for this? No? How the hell do I get there? Oh yeah, it's in the hotel, duh. Duh, weeby. I do feel like Aries readings are always like, you're a bitch. <laughs> Whenever I read, like, readings for it, it's like, you get what you want and you don't care what anybody says. You're kind of a bitch. <laughs> Like, thank you. Thank you, horoscope. <laughs> Appreciate ya. Excuse me. Excuse me, do you have a minute? Um. I've heard that people come for you to ask for advice on love. Is that true? It is. Do you want consultation too? No. Well, actually, it's not my problem per se. These two people like one another, but the guy doesn't think they can be together because of the way Khan I Ward is. What do you think about it? Yeah. Well, if he likes her, then I think he should go for it. I see. Ah, oh, youth, what a wonderful way of thinking. Okay, that's it. You owe me $200. <sighs> uh-huh. Let me tell you a story. There was once a man and a woman who loved each other very much. But they never dated. The man refused. What does that mean? Eh, uh, why? The man was a former criminal. He paid what he owed to society. But his history made it difficult to find a job. So he knew he couldn't be with her. Even if he was going to do so, it would only be after he found work. That's what he believed. But the woman didn't care about any of that. She told him she wanted to be with him, even through tough times. If only he had expressed his feelings to hmm? her. Did something happen? The woman became ill and passed away. Seems it was rather sudden. That's depressing. The man regrets it to this day. Oh shit, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. He wishes he could have returned her affection. Maybe. The man he's talking about is... Oh, is me. Uh, gasp. Tell your queen it's for me. Don't let someone's feelings go to waste, especially in difficult times. He just trauma dumps on everybody for advice. You never know when it might be too late. Thank you very much. Right, thank you for your advice. Hey, bro, I talked to this guy whose lover died, and he never confessed. <laughs> so, you should do that thing. Yeah. Do, do. Do, do. Dude. Golden path. Man, I'm so upset that we're not getting one. Stay, stay safe at Monument Bank. 
Use a state-of-the-art safes because the security of your money is our number one concern. Take advantage of our 1% interest rate now, only at Marumon Bank. I guess they might use the same safes that uh, the Rebellion uses, now that I think about it. I think that makes sense. I know, it's like he does look older than high school age. I was like, is that the reason why you're worried? Because you should stay worried and not go near her if that's the case. Like, I feel like he probably is the same age as her, though. They just, like, use a generic sprite for him. But, yeah. I feel like they definitely should have found a sprite that looked more like a teenager. Oh, it's you. I'm still not sure what to do. <sighs> if you're still unsure, please listen to this. I heard it from someone ex more experienced with love. Don't let someone's feelings go to waste, especially in difficult times. Yeah. Come tomorrow, there's a chance you may not ever be able to see that person again. If you have feelings for her, you should let her know. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Thanks, because of you, I made up my mind. I'm gonna go yes. see her! Yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I just couldn't wait any longer. I didn't hear what you talked about. Um, how'd it go? Uh, well, it's kind of funny if he confesses to, like, a different girl. <laughs> he, like, didn't realize <laughs> we were even talking about this chick. I don't think I should be the one to tell her. That's what happened. He wants to tell you himself, so he said he'd come see you soon. What? I can't let him see me like this. I need to put on something cuter. I'll thank you next time. Oh. There she goes. <sighs> And then he got arrested! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh god! Human love is such a pain. No. That's not true. It's just that people take love very seriously. That's why it's so beautiful. Oh no. What, Master? Have you become interested in love? No, no, no. It's much too early for you. Come on. A detective is married to the job. To solving cases and mysteries, loves are the question. Unless it's with me. <laughs> yeah, 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 I got it. Oh god, chat, y'all kill me. <laughs> and then he got arrested hard. <laughs> I feel like he is supposed to be the same age. They just did not use a good sprite for him. <laughs> so I feel like surely they would say something about that. Like, uh, aren't you a little too old for her, buddy? If that was the case. Draw umbrellas. Oh, Pisces! Pick a, a fight with a shop owner, then jump into the sea. Oh no, I didn't get to see what happens next. No, we gotta do it for our Pisces fans out there. Damn it. <laughs> it's super important. We got one more side quest and then we're almost done though. Um, where are they at? Oh, this person? Oh, this dude, okay, there he is. Looks like Yosuke. Hey, you there. Huh? Who, me? That's right, what do you think of Kane Ward as it is now? Hmm. Um, well. Exactly my point. What? We haven't said anything yet. You were at a loss for words just now, right? That says everything about the current state of the city. What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean? Ever since the isolation started three years ago, Kane Ward has become more and more insular. Things can't continue this way. <sighs> uh-huh. We cannot lock ourselves away. We must step into the outside world. If we don't, Kane Ward has no future. No. He's saying something pretty radical stuff. I wonder if he's caught the attention of the peacekeepers. <laughs> it's like we're talking to him, they just like tackle him. Get down on the ground! You have no rights! Amaterasu Corporation is controlling Kanai Ward, oppressing us. It is only once we are free from the bondage of isolation that Kanai Ward can truly flourish. Don't you agree, agree comrade? <laughs> comrade? Huh? Comrade, who? Me? Oh, God, I don't, I don't want to be tied to this peacekeepers. I'm not with him. Of course. Come, we must reveal how thoroughly disillusioned Kanai Ward's residents are with a survey. A survey? Oh, damn, that's pretty radical. <laughs> Administer the survey. All right. All right. I just have to survey the local residents. That doesn't seem too bad, right? Not too fast. It's cube time. <laughs> They just tackle him and turn him into a cube right then and there. Not so fast. We must carefully consider the methodology. You never know who might be monitoring us. <sighs> right. Then why are we even doing this in the first place? 
Listen closely. An affirmative response will be sunshine, with a negative response will be rain. Uh, okay. I mean, sunshine. There's like this episode of South Park where um, we were watching it recently. We're like, what was it? It was like the girls have this like secret club, and whenever they like agree with each other, they're like, sunshine, sparkle. So I've been saying that sometimes to my boyfriend. But it's like, whatever sparkles and pleases, sunshine. It's reminding me of that. We can't go around calling it a survey either. Let's change it to the weather and Kane word tomorrow. <sighs> okay, sunshine. Excellent, I'm counting on you. Does that please and sparkle with you, Yuba? For now. A survey, huh? It'd be the best to get opinions from all sorts of people. Then, then all you gotta do is go around to different areas and talk with people, right? Yeah, yeah for now, let's try asking three people. Now I'm thinking of that Taylor Swift song too. He was sunshine, I was midnight rain. Which one is sunshine and which one's midnight rain? <laughs> Me or the Yosuke guy? Midnight rain. He wanted it, well, I wanted that pain. Okay. Gemini's. Where's the Pisces one? I didn't get to finish it. Virgos, get your hands on a cursed diamond. Deal with the curse yourself. Okay, Virgos out there. Aquarius, oh, Aquarius is out there. Buy this jar for good luck. It's a steal at five million sheen for a limited time only. You're just a scammer, girl. You're just a scammer. Okay, Um, let me go down here. <laughs> I was considering proposing a new uniform to the World Detective Organization. Oh, hey, you're still here? Huh? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize you were still here. The barista outfit I wore earlier seems quite popular. <laughs> quite popular. So I figured the WDO would benefit from a uniform with a similar <laughs> design. Oh my god, do I get to wear that too? Popular. Yes. All the customers were unable to keep their <laughs> eyes off of my chest and skirt. That is so true, the Queen. Must be so splendid. They were literally unable to look away. I wonder why, I girly. They were just <laughs> checking her out. <laughs> they were even hiding it. Creeps. And they also mentioned that I am dummy I am thick. Confident. You would look great in it as well, Yuma. <laughs> sure. I pass on that. No, Yuma, you'd be so cute. Okay. Let's talk to this dude. Excuse me. Would you be willing to answer a survey? Me? I've got time. I guess. What do you want to ask? Uh... Um. Are you disillusioned by Kanai Ward's subservience to Amaterasu Corporation? Um. Hands on the ground! <laughs> it's like tackle me. Oh god, I knew that's a bad idea. Are you out of your mind? What would you do if the peacekeepers had heard you just now? You can get yourself into all the trouble you want, but don't drag me into S it. Sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't agree more. That being said, that being said, I'm not happy about it. It sucks to always have to worry about who might be watching you. I wish someone could do something about it. Are you going to keep it with that? Keep at it with that survey. Watch your back out there. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks. Thanks, bro. Is that it? Is there anybody else? Oh, now we go to Kanai Tower. Oh, we can go all the way there. Okay, that's cool. I was midnight rain. Um, let's see. Any more? Tauruses! If you don't repent on the floor of abandoned building, you'll die? <laughs> okay, Tauruses. Any Tauruses in the chat? You need to find an abandoned building immediately. <laughs> Apologize for your sins. Excuse me. We're going to, like, all the worst places to do this survey, dude. Like, this is, like, right outside of, like, some peacekeeper areas. Excuse me, would you be willing to answer a survey? Um, a survey? I don't mind, but what's it about? <sighs> um, are you disillusioned by Kanai Ward's subservience to Amaterasu Corporation? Oh, oh dear, I didn't hear a sing- I have no idea what you just said. Then... And I'll say it again. Cut it out! The peacekeepers will hear you, you dumbass! Sorry. Sorry. Of course I'm not happy with how things are, but it's not something you could talk about openly. Honestly, I wouldn't have much of a problem if the peacekeepers weren't so corrupt. 
But as it stands, they essentially control Amaterasu. Oh, I wonder if there's anything we can do. By the way, I'll never forgive you for report this to Amaterasu. I will haunt you forever! Huh? I would never do that! <laughs> okay, cool! Good times, good times. Oh, now we go to the church, I guess. Man, they really haven't said an Aries one. Okay. I guess it's better than getting the Taurus reading. Uh, uh, oh, pets. Oh, we'll look at that later. No, damn it. Ah, too late. Too late. <laughs> Apologize for simping for Yomi. Was that you, Taurus, is in the chat simping for him? You should know better after what he did to Martina. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me, you willing to answer a survey? Who, who, me? Um, what kind of survey is it? Uh, um, are you disillusioned by Kana? I love how, like, big of words he uses in this uh, question, too. Subservience to Amaterasu. Uh, what? I can, I can never do that. It's too embarrassing. Huh? Embarrassing? You should only ask this sort of thing once we've gotten to know each other better. better. Why? Is that right? I so. She's worried her friends might see her talking to you and start spreading rumors. Sure. You really think so? Yeah, that's right. I really think so. But it probably wasn't easy for you to ask me, so I should give a proper answer. I'm sorry, I just don't feel that way about you right now. <laughs> Girl, that's what? How did you get that from subservience to Amaterasu Corporation? What do you mean? What kind of answer is that? Uh, you just got rejected, loser. I do have those feelings, but I'm too scared to be more open about it. I just met you, so I'm sorry. All right. I see. Thank you for your help. I don't think I explained myself very well. Yeah. That makes three people. We should report back. This was not helpful at all. Uh, another useless side quest. Perfect. I missed the wizard from the last one. Oh, oh, Mikado. I think somebody said these are in the glossary, too. Yeah, I might have to look up those for the Aries one. Sad. Not good enough to be put on the loading screen, huh? Not good enough. Okay. Oh, God. Are we about to get approached by the... Oh, no. No more red rain. Huh? Master, stop. Huh? Oh shit. Oh no, peacekeepers. Oh, it's just the peacekeepers. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, it's whatever. I'm more scared of the Red Rain guys. That's enough out of you. This is a clear act of rebellion against Amaterasu Corporation. I know. I'm full well what I'm doing, and I have no intention of stopping. I can't remember what voice I gave this guy. Bastard. Oh shit. Ugh. Now, Yosuke, right. are you alright? You're with him, are you? What are you doing, Master? You'll get arrested. Sure. But I've already gotten arrested like five times. I don't know. I don't know him. He has nothing to do with me. Ah, oh, thank you, man. Huh? Pump, if you want to get hurt, then stay out of this. That's right. You have nothing to do with this, so get out. Get out of here. How can he say that? You want to talk to people just like he asked. No. no, he's trying to protect me. Bring it on. And then he died. I wonder how the weather in Kanai War tomorrow will be. I wonder. That's it. He's asking about the survey. If most people in Kanai War were disillusioned, then. Seems like sunshine. And then midnight rain. Sunshine. What a relief. Then it's too early for me to call it quits. <laughs> oh, shit. Right in the lungs. What kind of dumb crap are you spouting? It's gonna rain all day tomorrow. Today, tomorrow, and every day after that. You're coming with me. Oh, what a fool. There's no hope for him now that the peacekeepers have him. Hush, it's its own fault for defying Amaterasu. Oh, he's dead dead, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, rest in cube. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Despite what those people were saying... Yeah. I have a feeling he'll be back someday. I just know it. It, it might be in cube form, but <laughs> he'll be back. He'll be back. Someday. Sometime. Poor dude. He just wanted to help. We lost a comrade. 
Okay, now we can get back to the main story. It is kind of fun to do the side quest. It does kind of help flesh out the city and stuff too. Help you, you know, get to know everybody and stuff like that. Oh, Leo's, did we do that? Oh, wearing some lion fur might be the key to avoiding a tragic fate, Leo's. Okay. I can we already do the Gemini one? <laughs> They're really not gonna do Aries just to spite me. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'll look at the glossary later. It's not good enough for you. Oh yeah, let me save too, just in case. I don't think I've saved at all this <laughs> this live stream. We've been playing for quite a while. Okay, I was like, bye bye, Desuhiko. Bye bye. I'm sure he'll be really cute in his uh, cube form, guys. Get cubed, dork. That should do it. <laughs> Servan, I finished setting up the surveillance camera. The video quality checks out. <laughs> Seems we're all good here. We got all four cameras up and running now. I don't see peacekeepers patrolling the area, and it looks like no one saw you. Great nice. work handling this mission so quickly. <laughs> Detectives sure are reliable. Ah, thank you, Servan. You're the only one I like. I hope the cameras help you expose peacekeeper corruption. That's right. I believe this is the first step toward peace. All that's left is to report back to Shachi. I'm sure he has other stuff to talk about, so do you mind telling him? Okay. The frequency for Shachi's transceiver is 37.564. Okay. Thanks. I feel like I feel like Shachi's gonna die. I definitely one of these guys is gonna die. Frequency. Oh, I guess I can turn the dial here. Oh man, that's gonna be bad. Oh god. If one of the guys in the Rebellion dies and then another person in the Rebellion was the one who did it, ooh, I feel like that might end up being what this, this case turns up being, was though. A pain. But it'll be worth it if you get info about Amaterasu. <laughs> and then we did that other Aaron quest in the middle of this Aaron quest. I'm glad there wasn't any conflict involved. I was lucky to find Fubuki, too. Yeah, she was so helpful. <laughs> Forgot that she was there half the time. Let's finish up and get back to searching for Chief Yako and the others. Shachi's frequency is 37.564. Huh? Five minutes until detonation? Uh, what, the? what is this? Oh god, are they bombs? <laughs> they just told. Oh my god, they lied. Those dicks, they lied to us. They're bombs. Wait, don't oh me. my god. I thought you guys were peaceful, huh? Is that thing gonna yeah, right? That Fucking yeah, right? Everybody? right? Oh my gosh, Shashi, how could you betray me like this? It, it'll explode? <laughs> it's near the telephone booth in Marnamon <laughs> District. That's where we set up the first security camera. Oh my god, yes, yeah, sorry about that, kid. A uh, loser! What is the matter? <gasps> Damn it! You, you look like you just pressed a bomb Oh my god. Button. I should have never trusted somebody with a Kokichi voice. Wait, master, <laughs> you pressed it? Oh god. And now you're totally the one who's liable to a <laughs> rip, bozo. No. I didn't know! Anyway, let's go check it out. Maybe this is some oh sort of Oh my god. Yeah! Mm, 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 mm. Uh, yeah. We're heading what? to Marunomon District. We need to hurry. Why'd they set up a bomb at a school? Yeah, we gotta kill those kids. That'll really show on the Tarasu. We're, we're business. All we right. mean business. I do not understand, but it sounds like an adventure. And we're all gonna die again. Yay! Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, no, where did the We're Not Terrorist Act go? <laughs> For real. Oh, gosh. Poor Yuma, dude. Tilly's gonna make him liable for everything. I mean, it seemed like Shachi was, like, honest about that. It's probably just these other guys. I guess the cookie. Oh, shit! That sound. No. <laughs> uh, did I do that? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that kind of feels like it was my fault. Please let me be wrong. Oh no! Let's hurry to the phone No, that's somebody else's bomb, Yuma. Don't worry. It's not your bomb. That's ridiculous. That explosion just now. Where did it take place? Uh, <laughs> I know where that is. So follow me. Oh god. Oh, we're so fucked. Oh, wait, we can't go that way? Okay. Wait, was it this way? No. Oh, my back! 
Oh wait. Oh, what was that sound? I mean, where the hell is it? Was it? I thought we came out of that one, right? Was it this way? I thought it was across the street. Yeah, I thought it was across the street, right? I don't get there. Or maybe is it? Oh yeah, it might be this way then. My bad. <laughs> nee she she. Wait, what the hell? I see it over here. Well, they're, everybody's blocking me though. Am I supposed to? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what are, why are you guys blocking me? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what? Stop it! Why can't I go over there? Okay, well, we'll just walk around down here and see if there's another way to go over there. I don't know if there really is. That was K Kokichi, I mean, a surfer's lie. Man, I should have known not to trust him, dude. Um. Oh, it's down. Oh. Okay, it looked like it was on the other part of the map. My bad. <laughs> My bad, it was over here. My bad. I guess it was just because of how it was like situated on the map. I smell a case. <laughs> oh god. Ooh. The phone booth's been blown away. Was that the explosion earlier? I wonder if anybody got hurt. A public phone exploded. Maybe the batteries were overcharged. From the looks of it, the silver lining is no one's been injured in the explosion. There's something That's on the transceiver. Good. And the other bomb's about to go off. What you heard wasn't some mere explosion. Oh, shit. It is the call to rebellion. Oh, my God. Is this that elf guy? The smoke you see isn't just the smoldering ash of a stamped out flame. <laughs> and now you're the liable one. Oopsie. It is the signal for revolution. What? This message... Servan, can you hear me? Servan? <laughs> hey, you just got Kokichi'd. Shachi, please answer me. <laughs> you just got Nishishi'd. What you're about to hear <laughs> echo across Kanai Ward is the song. <gasps> oh, of man. I hate these guys. Revolution inevitably requires sacrifice. Beloved citizens falling as casualties cannot be avoided. What does Shachi think about this, though? However. Death comes equally to us all. <laughs> Equality is revolution. If we have to kill a couple of people in these pointless bombs, then you know, then you just, it might happen. That being said, a revolution must also be fair. Thus, since you were the one to plant the bombs, I will also give you a chance to stop them from what? exploding. Why? <laughs> the one who planted the bombs? Oh my god. Me? Why would they give him a chance to stop it? So Yuma, didn't that one? You were not setting up surveillance cameras. Didn't y'all want me to set them up? You were planting bombs. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I didn't know. You have set four bombs around Kanai Ward. One of them just detonated. The first bomb was a demonstration, so the damage was minimal. Oh God, the other ones are bigger. But now you've seen this message is no joke. The bombs are real. Why do they why do they want us to set them up just to go back and not do them? Yeah, it's like wanna play a game? It's like I don't I don't know if I really see the purpose of this for your mission. <sighs> this message is so <laughs> long. I'm bored. I'll leave the rest to you, Master. Oh, is he not gonna speak anymore? The bombs will detonate. In the order you set them up. You are on the only one the only person who can disarm them. Here is how to do so. When it's armed, move the transceiver close to the bomb and cut the detonation circuit. Okay. However, Where do we go next? To cut a detonation circuit, you must perfectly execute the steps as displayed on the transceiver screen. It was this one, then it was Ginma, then it was Kamasaki, then it was the school. You have 60 minutes to act. Whether to disarm the bombs or not is up to you. Once the timer reaches zero, this transceiver will explode along with the bombs. <laughs> Meaning, you cannot avoid death. Even if you ignore what? the people and try to flee. Oh, you mother... F I hate these guys! There is no escaping the revolution. <laughs> you decide the future of Kanai Ward. There is zero escape. I'm getting those vibes with the exploding uh, clocks. I wish you luck. 
Why? Why me? Uh, yikes. <laughs> you really get dragged into trouble all the time. <laughs> this is so funny. This isn't funny. <laughs> the countdown's already started. Jesus Christ. If I don't disarm the bombs, then I'll blow up with this watch. I think you're going to blow up either way. I thought that was what that said. Then just take it off. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, yeah, right. It's got Gorilla Glue lining no, it. it. It won't come off. <laughs> What's going on? Is it locked? Maybe it explodes if you force it off. Oh god, why would you say that? You should have mentioned that earlier! <laughs> Breaking news from the oh, Amaterasu shit. Corporation oh, Peacekeepers. Oh, hey! Hello, Cha, my slaves of Kanai Ward! And Cha! Are you loving your happy subservient life? It's a lay, Kanai Ward! It's your Peacekeeper Counterterrorism Squad Leader! Oh, you're the one who's full of crap doing all those uh, horoscope readings. Then we got Cyborg behind her. Glommy Hall. Hey, Shark Girl! My special party trick is fortune telling. Here it goes. Oh my god, Aries. Come on, just do Aries. <laughs> Bad luck today for anyone with a very nice hair constellation sign. Some jealous baldy is gonna kill you. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is that is that my horoscope? By the way, the guy behind me is Dominic. As you can see, he's an absolute intellectual. Come on and say hi, Slowpoke. I like her voice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> is that, do you talk? Does he not talk? Oh. Okay, Dominic Full Tank. Okay. It's like a literal cyborg, dude. What are you doing? Homoculi experiments on him? Mm. Oh, he doesn't talk, does he? Mm. Wow, that was kind of <laughs> philosophical, you know? <laughs> I wonder if my slaves in Kanai Ward thought that. <laughs> Just really gonna straight up call us slaves? <laughs> okay, girl. Thank you, Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. Jigsaw slash Billy the Puppet. Do you want to play a game? <laughs> really does feel like that. Yeah, let me double check uh, some of these donos. I feel like I might have missed something. Oh no, I think I, okay, I think I'm good. Yay, yeah, yeah, I don't think I missed anything. Oh wait, no, I missed uh, Dara's. Oh, I'm so sorry, Dara. She just like me for real, for real about Fabuki. Oh man, I can... <laughs> that's pretty good. Sorry, Dara. I don't know if you're still here or not, but I totally missed it. Thank you for being a member for 23 months. Man, I was like, I had a feeling I missed something. Um. Oh, thank you, Mario MP98. It's Lono and brainwashed Barrett. I was thinking it looked like Barrett too. I keep thinking of Final Fantasy VII with this game anyway, as well. Did you know there was an explosion in Marnamon District? I feel like the setting kind of does remind me of it. How many died? None. Well, <laughs> not like I care. <laughs> the resistance caused the explosion in Doya District. The peacekeepers received their proclamation loud and clear. Yeah, it's like, how do they think this is helping their cause? This is making y'all look bad. Look here. Read it, Maggot. <laughs> Maggot. Oh. Oh. He's going to fuck her up eventually, isn't he? <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't read. <laughs> I forgot, loser. In summary, that's all there is. We set up a bomb as an act of terror. But thanks to some leaks, we've already identified the perfect. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's, it's a purple-haired kid. He's like four feet tall. Ta-da. Here he is. Oh, shit. Name oh, God. Head. Oh, <laughs> he sure looks like a terrorist, all right. And with a name like that, he is definitely a Cocoa Head. I mean, terrorist. As you know, Conai Ward <laughs> is a town of justice. Terrorists You're so have fucked. no Ooh. human rights here. Oh, I like that sprite. Everyone, kill him on sight. <laughs> I love her uh, voice acting too. It's really good. Hey, you underhanded, rotten, bottom feeding terrorist bomber trash. You listening? You've got nowhere to run. Oh, poor Yuma, dude. Okay? Okay. And fucking Fabuki's gonna be like, wow, Yuma, that guy looks a lot like you. And he was also planting bombs. Isn't that a kawinky dink? Come on, do something, you nitwit. Yeah, where did they find that mugshot of him looking evil? They did like an AI generated uh, mugshot of uh, Yuma just to make him look like he was up to no good. Oh. Oh shit. Gonna punch the camera, dude? Is this a joke? 
<laughs> I am high. Oh god, poor Yuma. No, don't worry, we can have Fubuki disable them for us. No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I think I recognize that face. Oh, I knew you were gonna say that dumb stuff. Wait, I'm not a terrorist. Oh god. I've been set up. That's crazy, Yuma! A setup? So your client tricked you? No way! That's all I can think of. Since she said there was a leak. So Shachi and the resistance. Oh my god! Me? They took advantage of me? What the hell is their problem, dude? You spoke so passionately about peace. Was it all a lie? Man, was Shachi really trying to trick us from the beginning, dude? He seemed pretty legitimate. The others, not so much, but. <laughs> Shachi seemed fight good. Them with violence. It would only lead to more lives lost. <laughs> Fucking liars! We're gonna take them down the right way. The resistance are not terrible. Boo! Liars! Cap! How could this be the right way? You were supposed to reject violence! Unless, like, they just took hold of this? I mean, I guess Shachi doesn't really do anything besides, like, be the person who, like, leads them in a way, but, like, just in the fact that he brought them together, I don't know, it could be the others who were, like, doing it. Sorry for flicking you off, Shachi. They were pretty violent from the moment you were taken to their hideout. That's true. Yep, they literally, yeah, just, like, freaking kidnapped us. We're like, sorry about that, man. <laughs> we would have done it in a nice way, but we didn't really feel like it. <laughs> like, well... It's fine to be all sentimental oh my God. or whatever, but you should take a look around. <sighs> Did they already notice me? Oh, no! Oh god! They're already recording me on their iPhones! The explosion countdown is still ticking away! There's no time to stand around and think! Oh god. At this rate, you're gonna end up dying as a terrorist! You want some of this, huh? I'll take you all on! I don't want that! We have to go disarm those bombs! Oh, but first... There's still time until the next explosion. We should visit the Resistance's hideout. What? 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 You still try to like fight them? Like what? You're boom killing them as payback for tricking you, right? <laughs> Honestly, you should, but that's probably nice to be like, I'm just gonna ask them nicely if they can stop that. <laughs> Come on, Yuma, grow a pair! Thank you, Demon 30, Yako. I hope Yuma staying out of trouble. News alert. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I do wonder what they thought about that news alert too. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, Yuma is seriously always getting into trouble, dude. <laughs> Oh my of god. Not. Why is I he need doing it? Shachi and find out the truth. Bro, let's maybe focus on the bombs. The bombs first, probably, right? Master. Oh my god. People can be reasoned with? Yeah, for real. I wish she got she got me this whole chapter. I Yuma, is something the matter? Are you sure we should not be in a hurry? Yeah, for real. <laughs> it's like, are you, just, are you just going to stand there looking constipated, Yuma? I think we're about to get jumped. Fubuki, please hear me out. Even if the next bomb is disarmed, there are two more. Yeah, maybe we, sh maybe we could use her power somehow. I think she can, like, turn back time. Right now we have a grace period of 60 minutes. But we don't know if the same will be true of the rest. That's why we need to stop this whole plot while there's still even a little bit of extra time remaining. So you have a plan then? I'm going to see the client. If the client <laughs> really is up. behind this, then I have to try uh. and convince them to stop. You're such a shonen protagonist, oh, Yuma. Stop it. So smoothly. Anyway, we stop being so trusting. Now. We can think about it later. Oh man. Very well. Danger always accompanies adventure. I will stay by your side. Yeah, I was like, can't Fubuki like turn back time? Can I I guess uh, she's kind of stupid, so she probably doesn't realize that maybe that would uh, <laughs> that would help us right After now. All, you're the last survivors, partner. <laughs> Thank you. Also, I still believe everyone is alive. The Resistance hideout was in Doya District. Don't come crying to me if this all goes south. Can I take a bus there, or is the bus driver gonna get on to me? Doya District, the so-called slums of Kanai Ward. Oh, I didn't get to read it. Ooh. Okay, okay. Do, 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 do. Oh shit, I'm scared. I'm so scared. Okay, wait, where's the, how do I do the map thing again? Oh wait, oh yeah, wait. View area map. Okay, I can leave from either side. That's good. Since I got confused last time, I just wanna make sure. Oh shit, <laughs> don't look at me. Don't look at me, I'm hideous. <laughs> 
It's like, are they all gonna be talking about me? To Shachi, he would understand. This ridiculous plan has to be stopped. I don't know, man. I'm starting to think Shachi's full of it, too. You are so naive. <laughs> you were set up. I don't know, man. I, I'm sure Shachi had his reasons. Wait, can I go down this here, too? This is why people keep taking advantage of you. I think so. I don't know, man. What are you... Well, I was like, I guess maybe I shouldn't ask the chat just in case people spoil it. But I was kind of wondering what y'all were thinking. I don't know, man. I think Shachi might be full of it, too. I, like, I've been wanting to defend him. But at this point, I don't think so. It's too, too much. Icardi's, Icarly's boots made of waterproof material. Similar to wetsuits. That is so cool. Fuck you, Icarly. Hate you. Shachi's coveralls. Oh yeah, we literally did just pass Whoa. by like a you peacekeeper, be didn't we? Famous to be shown on such a big screen, Yuma. <laughs> like how they just didn't notice us. Oh, are there any? It's not like they wanted to be a wanted criminal. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? I kind of want to see if there's any screens here I can look at. <laughs> hey, the peacekeeper was very distracted. Okay, that could be the other Yuma Coco head. Sneaking around like this is the essence of adventure. He's not sure it's me. I am all fired up, Yuma. It just looks exactly like me. Really? I'm terrified about being discovered. A resistance sets up four bombs around the city. Yuma, you solely are responsible for this. <laughs> They're such dicks. No, here it is. No, I missed it. I saw it. No, damn you loading screen. No. Oh, this is the betrayal of the century! No, that was it! No! Come back! Aries reading! I need to know what to do, Galame! Oh, God. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm so upset. It went by so quickly. So quickly! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Aries, Aries, Aries. Oh, Capricorns. We haven't gotten that one. Out there, you'll have better luck when the weather clears up. I can't wait where it's always rainy. No! <laughs> I missed it! No! <laughs> I'll never know what to do to have a good day. I'm so sad. Oh, was that a... Uh, I didn't mean to zoom. Oh, I kind of forgot I could do that. That's cool. Ew, doo -doo -doo, what do you do? Oh, wow. These must be the ruins <gasps> of an ancient civilization. <laughs> yeah, well, I just... No time to explain. Not really. Most people would just call Doya District the slums. Oh, I see. Apologies for my ignorance. I suppose this is a lifestyle where you stay in harmony with nature. Don't think so. Wait, Fubuki. Those are peacekeepers. Wish we already passed by like ten of those. Huh? The peacekeepers are on the move after that explosion. The client's hideout is up ahead. We need to move carefully so they don't see us. But why did the Resistance issue a declaration anyway? They would have known this was going to happen. Oh my god. Okay, come on. Capricorns. <laughs> it's lost forever. <laughs> forever, dude. I'll never get the reading again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to the glossary to do it. No. Oh. oh shit. There's the fugitive! Come on, Fubuki! Help me out! Help me out, girly! They found me! What do I do? See? This is why I was against the plan! We have to lose them! Fubuki, please follow me! We're running! Right! Get back here! Oh, shoot! Ooh! Oh, no! Oh, wait! Oh, now you use it! Well, I guess uh, it's pretty necessary. But girl, this would have been helpful <laughs> a little while ago too. I guess it is a pretty, uh, I think I remember this power like taking a lot, like, a pretty big toll on her. <gasps> oh man. Oh, he remembered too. I guess, yeah, cause he shares the power. Huh? What was that? I didn't do anything. Oh man, she does Yuma, look rough. The peacekeepers are catching up. Find some place to hide. Right. 
Well, thank you, girl. Yeah, she does have a really good forte. Those are the peacekeepers who just surrounded us. It does seem like uh, it takes quite a toll on her, though. I think that is honestly why she's so, like, airheaded. Fubuki, was that your forte? It feels like time was reversed. Hold on, it wasn't just a feeling. Time really was turned back. Huh? You noticed? But I should be the only one who can detect the reversal of time. Yuma, are you also of the <laughs> Clockford family bloodline? Are you my long lost brother? Uh, OMG, now I'm that other guy's long lost brother. No, probably. I'm not. <laughs> But I do have the ability to share another master detective's forte. Specifically when we hold hands. Oh, uh, right. yeah, we were running I was and holding, holding hands. Your hand back then. So you can share fortes. I see. It appears my maiden secret has been exposed by you, Yuma. <laughs> yeah, now we know how she survived. Yet yeah, that makes sense. It is a very overpowered forte, that's for sure. Thank you, Lucky Cat, 2703 Luna. For all Aries out there, big trouble if you don't carry around a used disposable camera exposes light. Was that what it said? Was that really what it said? Oh, interesting. Uh, a used disposable camera exposes light. I will keep that in mind, Galame. I will keep it in mind. Thank you guys for looking that up. <laughs> it is true. I can reverse time. That being said, the amount of time I can reverse is limited. Also, the amount I reverse is proportional uh, okay. to my fatigue. Even now, I yeah. feel... Yeah, that was just a few minutes. Are you alright? Yes, I am fine. There's no need to worry. Yeah, if she reversed like a day move. or something, that probably would take a really big toll on her. Interesting. I get now how this airheaded sheltered skink got into the WDO so effortlessly. Turning back time is an insanely powerful ability. It far surpasses human limitations. Ah, if there are people with abilities like this, I'm going to fade into the background. Your forte is pretty useful for avoiding peacekeepers. So, is it okay if we continue to hold hands for now? <laughs> Just in case. Can we continue to hold hands? By holding hands <laughs> and receiving permission to share your ability, I can turn back time too. Oh, yeah, that's true. I didn't really think about that. You can do that? After all the training I had to do, <laughs> I knew you were no ordinary person, Yuma. But do we really have to hold hands? I have never held hands with a man before. My ability won't work properly otherwise. I see. I understand. <laughs> In that case... <laughs> I guess kind of cute he holds their hands. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, I guess he shares the fatigue, too? What's wrong, Master? When our hands met, I sensed Fubuki's oh, fatigue. Oh, okay. I guess turning back time is extremely straining. Even if the power is amazing, we can't continue to rely on it. Keep moving carefully so you don't get caught by the peacekeepers. Oh, God. Yeah. Let's head to the hideout. Oh, no. I have to actually avoid them? Oh, God. Okay, never mind. I might just be a cutscene. Okay, I thought for a second there was going to be like a, little mi a mini game or something. What? Oh, uh, go left? For yeah. Now. Right. Understood. Okay, there is a mini game. No, go forward. Let's just run into him. <laughs> I guess if I mess up too much, um, she'll get really tired and we'll die. We have been spotted. We go right. Somewhere. Okay. Er, uh, crap. Uh, sure. Go <laughs> right. One option. Damn it. Where did they go? Oh man, I just saw them. I wonder if they went behind that barrel. They were st what the what the <laughs> my god, the branch! <laughs> Homie, you really missed her? Let's do what we can. Right. <laughs> oh my god. You're really lucky that peacekeeper is as stupid as you. <laughs> finally made it. Oh my gosh. This is the resistance hideout. Fubuki, are you alright? Yes, though 
I am a bit tired, and my mind is a little hazy. You should hide somewhere and rest. It might be dangerous inside the building, so I'll go in alone. Yeah, but definitely. I am your only surviving partner. No, please, save your strength. I'll ask for your help when I need it. Also, everyone is alive. I'm sure of it. If you insist. Very well. I will stay put and rest. Master? Oh, Fabuki. You're so kind. You never treat me like that! I want to be treated kindly, too! You're too mean to me. There's no time. Let's go. <laughs> no time to be kind to you. <laughs> no time for your little temper tantrum, Shinigami. Okay. Oh, somebody's totally gonna be dead. I feel it in my blood. What is this? Servon and gambling. Frequent patron of casinos. He prefers games based on probability and theory. His all-time favorite win rate is currently less than 50%. Okay. It's awfully quiet. There's no one on lookout either. Oh yeah, somebody's totally dead. Is this the terrorist hideout? Oh. Someone's here. Hide. Uh-oh. Like, wait a second. <laughs> Any more quick time? Shachi should be here somewhere. We must capture him at all costs. Oh man. I'm gonna be so pissed if it was the like underlings Hurry, idea. Open up. open up immediately! And then they just arrest Sachi. We know you're in there. Oh. The peacekeepers are looking for Shachi too. This is bad. Hey, wait! Oh, oh, there he is! Oh shit! <laughs> Run, Shachi! <laughs> Protect that cake! Stop, Master! You go out there now, the peacekeepers will see you! But He ran to the room! Damn it! He locked the door! Hey! Open up! Yeah, so he's guilty, guilty. Shachi ran to the roof. I mean we have to get to him somehow. I guess granted he would run away even if he wasn't super guilty, but still. But how? Dee 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 Oh wait. It looks what like he... the peacekeepers have forced Shachi to the rooftop. I probably huh? go to that other area. Are you gonna run? You're well, just gonna forget about that Shachi? Well, I thought we'd go outside and then go up. Not at all. Do you remember those emergency stairs yeah. to the roof? Okay. If Shachi ran to the rooftop, then he must have used the emergency stairs. <laughs> Not the moving bakery! Oh, right! So you're gonna get the jump on him! I'm dead. Hell yeah! Let's go <laughs> catch that fraudster before the peacekeepers do and make oh him cough up the treat! I can't stay mad at you, Shachi. Not when you have that cake. <laughs> uh, Virgos already did that one. Did we do all the um, all the fortunes? Gemini's. Yeah, we did that one. I think it really was Aries that was last. <laughs> Libras. Yeah, we did that one. I don't see Shachi around. Is he still on the roof? I should head to the roof for now. Okay. Kind of scared. He's about to like jump off or something. Did it, did it. Did Yuma forget about the bombs? What bombs? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's so crazy. Why are you being so to Lulu? There's no bombs to worry about. Oh. Oh shit. Huh? Was that a gunshot? Master, I have a bad feeling about oh, this. Oh my god. Oh, let's hurry. <laughs> should we? I feel like we should just deactivate the bombs. <laughs> oh, Sagittarius. Yeah, we haven't done that one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, is he. Oh, whoa! Oh, he shoot himself? Oh no, Shashi! No! The bakery! No! Oh man. A sea of blood. The sight of which I still haven't gotten used to. Huh. Another blood stain up there. that strangely colored pool, a corpse lay. A corpse that undeniably belonged to Shachi. His eyes were wide open, and a tunnel connected the two Ooh. holes on the sides of his oh, head. Oh, Jesus Christ. But stranger still, no one else was around. Yeah, I mean, I think he did it a to himself. A just rang out. There was no place to run, no place <gasps> to hide. <gasps> 
I'm surprised he didn't want to just run down the stairs. His soul was to be seen. But I guess somebody else could have done it. Cause yeah, why would he commit suicide? I don't know. Hey, what was that noise? Open up right now! I do feel bad for Shachi. He had like a really, you know, I feel like sad backstory. He had like a lot of good reason for wanting to start the resistance. He just kind of betrayed us. It seemed like so. I don't know, man. I'm conflicted. The peacekeepers sound frantic on the other side of the door. It looks like it's still locked from this side. I still don't think he like deserved to die, but I still can't really tell like if he was a character I should really trust or not. That means the only way to enter and leave the rooftop are the emergency stairs I just used. But no one came down the stairs after that gunshot. Yeah, where the hell did they go? No matter how you look at it, this must be a suicide. Ah, oh, we finally get a corpse and it's just suicide. That's no fun! There's another weird blood stain too. It can't be that just because it's too easy, you know what I mean? And yeah, it's like, why wouldn't he just run down the stairs if he was trying to escape, you know what I mean? Thank you, Demon30. The muscle guy never survives these damn games. Yeah, I was like, since we got a chapter zero, would that technically make this chapter four in a way? I guess it's still chapter three, but you know, it is kind of funny to think about. Ooh. Oh, good going, Yuma. Good fucking going. Way to come here now. Shachi's dead. So are the people in Kamasaki district, or where would we go actually? No, Ginma district. Fucking. Oh my god. Oh, Yuma. You're a murderer. Yet again. That one must be really close by. The countdown isn't at zero yet. Okay, it's not. So it's a different explosion? Besides, the next bomb to explode is the one at the cafe in Ginma district. Oh, I don't understand. What's going on here? Master, in times like these, you should look for the solution keys. There should be clues that help solve the mystery. Oh right. my god. Nothing will be solved if I keep panicking. <laughs> Poor Yuma. I need to investigate the scene and figure out what's going on. Okay, investigation. Are all these guys gonna die? I'm kind of wondering. So we still got so many other places to go to. Oh, surveillance. That seems important. Oh, shoot. Ah. Wrong button. There's a surveillance camera set at the entrance and exit of the emergency stairs. The camera faces the stairs, so it wouldn't capture anything happening on the rooftop. But if we check the footage, we might see if anyone used the emergency stairs. Then again, I didn't come across anyone when I came up here. I doubt someone involved in Shachi's death would show up on there. New key. Surveillance camera was set up at the entrance of the emergency stairs. Oh yeah, the peacekeepers are still at the door, aren't they? <laughs> no, we should take our time investigating. It's still moving! <laughs> get wrecked, losers! You can't get me! Open up! Open up right now! There are still peacekeepers behind the door. Sounds like they're having trouble breaking it down. But it's only a matter of time. I better investigate quickly and get out of here. Hmm? What's this? Oh. Sounds like this is an exterior key for oh, okay, the nice. door from the rooftop. Man, they're gonna be there forever. <laughs> Damn, y'all still haven't gotten that thing down. You've been banging on it for a while. It's still in the keyhole. Maybe Shashi locked it when he went out to the roof. The peacekeepers are behind the door. So no one could have passed through there after the gunshot. That's if it's a third party. What if the peacekeepers got to the roof first? After killing the guy, they went back and closed the door behind them to pretend it was locked. But the key is on this side. It'd be impossible to lock it from outside after going back in. Besides, there's no need for them to put on an act. Well, that's fair. <clears throat> Exterior lock is open from the roof side. The key was left in the keyhole. I feel like, yeah, it could be like a sniper or something, right? I know, girl, I hear them. Now nah, they're gonna be there forever, dude. They're weak, useless. Neighboring building. The neighboring building is taller than the hideout. That makes the most sense. Yeah, somebody just like with a sniper shot him from afar. There are no windows on the side facing us, so it'd be impossible to jump over there. But what if they wrote in something that flies? Like a hot air balloon? Oh yes, definitely. The electrical lines will get in the way. <laughs> Those look like high Why would that be lines. your first thought? Touching them in the rain would be dangerous. I guess we can uh, okay. rule that out then. 
An open room mystery. The opposite of a locked room mystery. Oh, shoot. I keep pressing that. High voltage lines between the two buildings. To travel between them is po impossible, even by, even by hot air balloon. <laughs> Crazy, I was so sure that was the case. It's the water gun all over again. Uh, I do feel bad. I feel bad for Shachi. I did like sympathize with him. I feel like he probably, I don't know. I feel like he was probably honest, but it's hard to know just because I feel like his little group betrayed us so much. The drone brella! Oh, you're right. They could have used the drone brella. Why do they keep, they never bring that up. It's so obvious. <laughs> it's right there. Shachi's right hand is still holding the gun. Did he shoot himself in the head like this? Hmm? Oh. I recognize this gun. Oh wait, for a second the gun was smoking, but I think it's just the water lines, I think. It's the one yeah. Shachi took out of the safe. I think it was specially made for him. Dying to his own gun is a fitting end for a fraud like him. Maybe you should inspect the gun. You might find something suspicious about it. It's a revolver. Hmm. There are six rounds loaded in the cylinder. Wait, on closer inspection? One of the shell casings is empty. Okay, so somebody could have fired it? At the very least, it means one shot has been fired okay. from this weapon. The muzzle is still hot, and I can smell gunpowder. Maybe Shachi really did shoot himself in the head with this gun. Oh, it is smoking? Okay. But still, this gun is strange. Strange? How so? Try swinging at the cylinder. It pops out sideways. Hmm. See? The cylinder swings out to the right. Regular revolver cylinders usually swing out to the left. Okay. How is that important? And yet this one swings out on the opposite side. It's strange. Now that you mention it, it is opposite from normal ones. Hmm. Even you can tell that much, huh? Maybe you held a gun before you lost your memories? I don't know. I do sort of remember the feeling of gripping a handle mm. and the smell of gunpowder. <laughs> and the smell of blood as I shot my enemies. It was probably just something <laughs> I studied as a detective in training, though. Hey, <laughs> sure! Well, I'll remember the gun's features. It might be some kind of clue. Okay. Contrary to the standard model, this firearm cylinder swings out to the right side. I guess it's probably a long you shot, but I do kind of wonder if uh, Aruka could have rigged the gun somehow. If she wanted him to die for some reason, but just a thought since she, like, you know, made it. Shachi's body. I think it's still warm. The holes in his temples look raw. There's no doubt that this was the fatal shot. Oh, oh, leave the body's wounds to me! Oh, God. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt he was shot. That's definitely a gunshot wound. Well, it penetrated his head and flew off somewhere. How would it go all the way through his head? Is that super common? Like, I would think most of the times, like, if you shoot somebody, you would just get stuck in their head, you know what I mean? Like, cause it's gotta go through all the way through his skull and his brain. Like, how... I don't know, how fast of a shot would it have to be to be able to do that? Looks like it entered through the right temple and traveled straight through the left one. Are you sure about that? If you doubt me, why don't you dig through his head yourself? No, I believe you. Temples are fresh wounds. Open to both temples. They appear to be the cause of death. Gunshot wound on Shachi's body. Okay, I don't think that's there's anything else. Yeah, here. <laughs> They're still going. Oh, hey, what's this? Hmm. Oh, wait. No, but it's not a drone umbrella. That's it's nothing. No, come on. Why couldn't it be a drone umbrella? Why can't that theory ever come into There's play? An here. It's rusted, so it must have been left here for a while. Oh, Aruka said his gun gives a bigger punch, so that's why. Okay, so it had to be that gun. It seems like. Could it have anything to do with the case? It really does seem like it was a sewer slide. I'm sure it wasn't, but you know, it's all pointing to that. Do we, can we investigate that? No? Nope. Okay. Anything over here? Uh, why couldn't it be a drone umbrella? You had one job. One job. To just be a drone. Looks like it's a dead end. Okay. Oh. It's 
some fallen stuff? The oh, Jesus. Pretty high up. Oh, my God. I guess this is probably from an old explosion or something, but I did not expect the building to be so damaged. It's about 20 meters above ground. Jumping down from here will be out of the question. There's no ledge to stand on, and no sign that something like a rope has been used. Assuming someone climbed down using a rope after the gunshot, it would have taken some time to remove it. There's no way someone did that without me seeing them, since I got up here in 10 seconds or so. The rooftop crime scene is about 20 meters above ground. It'd be difficult to jump down from here. I mean, with the hole, could they possibly jump down and go to, like, a different level? Like, jump in through the hole? Probably not, since they're not bringing it up, but I feel like that's something I would keep in mind if I was, like, you know, ax actually that a detective. explosion came from over here, I think. I knew it! There was an explosion in the parking lot below! Okay, so that's where it came from. It left a big hole in the oh, whoa. wall. But there don't seem to be any victims. Are you sure about that? I see some pink down there. Is that just from, like, the neon lights? It like, kind of looks like blood on those cars, but maybe it's just, like, the rust illuminated by the pink lighting. What was that explosion anyway? Could it have something to do with Shachi's death? When Shachi's body was found, there was an explosion in the parking lot below the building. Okay, so the explosion is new, too. That should be enough. Maybe that's all the investigating I can do. Okay. End investigation. Finished. I think I've checked like everything I can for now. Now time to close the case. Unfortunately, it looks like a suicide. After all, it was only around 10 seconds after the gunshot went off that you arrived on the roof. It is weird there's that other blood stain there. I mean, I guess he could have been like standing in the middle of it and he just like fell to one side. I don't know, that, that does seem weird. It's kind of weird that we're not like investigating that because that was kind of like the uh, first thing that stood out to me. If someone was up here besides the dead fraudster, you would have definitely seen them. You're right. I doubt anyone was here. And if they were, where could they have gone? Unlike the clock tower case, it seems doubtful a rope ladder was used here. There's no place to hitch a rope and no time to descend. It'd be super boring if the criminal used the same old trick. We can't say for certain this wasn't a repeat performance, but I think you might be right in this case. So, Shachi was cornered by the peacekeepers and committed suicide. Mm. I don't... I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Why are we investigating if it was that easy? Oh, they did it! <laughs> They finally did it! Proud of you, Who boys! You? What oh, are you God. Doing here? Not us looking so Where? guilty again. Aren't you the wanted terrorist? <laughs> no, Jesus Christ! I'm misunderstanding! <laughs> I'm not a terrorist! It always be like that, huh? He, he's dead. I promise! I know it looks like this! Huh? Terrorists murdering each other. You're all trash oh out my to God. Ruin order. No, I didn't do this! <laughs> Save it Fucking for Yuma. later. You have no right to remain silent. No right to an attorney. <laughs> I still love to know that. <laughs> no right to remain silent. No right to an attorney. Sounds like a dramatic match made in heaven. I'm not a terrorist. <laughs> I'm just a training detective. Poor Yuma, dude. He's really going through the winger of this chapter. That's right. Can you rewind time again? Please. Da, da, da. There's a fork in the path. No. Oh. What is that thing? Wait! Stop <laughs> right there! <laughs> what do I do? Which way should I go? Uh oh god. Uh left? This way. I don't know! <laughs> oh, what? nice! Oh, lucky! Fuki? Sorry, I am currently in mourning, <laughs> so. A passionate invitation like this. Fuki, it's me, Yuma! I thought you were dead! Yuma! I'm he glad so you're alright. Are you hurt? Yuma, I am so happy to see you are unharmed. Let's save celebrating for later. It's dangerous here. The peacekeepers are right on my tail. Oh, then follow me. <laughs> oh, Fubuki. Did it, did 
did it, did. Oh man, the peacekeepers are so dumb. <laughs> oh man, let's see. We needed Sagittarius, I think. Oh yeah, there was Aries again. It always goes so fast when Aries is out. As a YouTuber I watch says, good adventures, go oh, left. Come on. Where could they be? Did she mention that at some point too? Could that terrorist have gotten away? I don't have any other choice. I like her so far. She's pretty entertaining. According to my fortune, today my lucky item should be a fool's right eyeball. Hey, <laughs> yay! Let's see. Oh, God. Now, where can I find a fool? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you better hurry and find that terrorist, or I'll turn you into my lucky item. <laughs> She's just like Yomi for real. Luck. Ooh, <laughs> freaking Dominic! <laughs> Just grunts. I wonder what they did to him to make him now be able to speak like that. That was close. <laughs> These hiding spots. Thanks to you, I Is escaped kinda... their clutches. It's heartening to know I've got a partner like you. So it kind of seems like Dominic. He has like a respiratory, like um thing on so i'm like do they do something to his like voice box or like lungs to where that's why he can't speak i don't know i i kind of wonder i wonder if he would eventually switch to our sides if they did some weird experiments on him heartening i was rather heartbroken no matter how long i waited it did not seem like you would return to me i'm sorry something unexpected happened what happened? The client mm. is dead. Well, one of them. Huh? I guess the main one, yeah. He was still alive when I arrived, but after being chased by the peacekeepers, he apparently shot himself in the head. A suicide? Seems like it. Then it is my fault. Huh? If I had gone with you, I could have turned back time to oh. save him. Oh, girl, I mean, it's okay. N no. I think it would have ended the same way. Everything was already in motion from the moment we arrived in Doya District. I guess she probably does feel a lot of guilt almost for like her power being so overpowered. But like, oh, if I would have been here or there, I could have saved somebody. But I mean, you can't always have it on you. So you shouldn't feel responsible for what happened. <sighs> Thank you. Poor girl. I feel relieved after hearing that. I cannot help but think I was responsible. I know, it's like, don't blame yourself. To be able to turn back time means she can even reverse death. Yeah, it's like such a, I don't know, such a big burden almost. I, I don't know, it's like such a big power that, yeah, I could see it being burdensome. Burdensome in some ways, yeah, it's like you miss something and it's like, oh, I could have saved them. That's a huge responsibility. Yeah. It's too much for one person to shoulder alone. That's a good word for it, yeah, responsibility. I can't imagine all the regret and internal strife Fubuki must have dealt with. Now's not the time to get sentimental. The countdown is still in motion. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah the bombs. Right. I forgot I have about to that. Do something about the bombs. <laughs> with Shachi dead, I'm the only one who can stop them. How much time is left? 15 minutes. Jesus. <laughs> Let us hurry and disarm them. They say to strike while the bomb is hot. Let's stop them while we still can. That's not it's whatever. All the iron <laughs> Never mind. The second location is the Cafe and Gima district. Just not enough time to correct her. Just let it go, you much. Let, her, let it go. There's going to be casualties. We need to hurry and disarm it. Yes. Let us do it. Hand <laughs> in hand. Hand in hand. Cute. Oh, now that you mention it, is it okay for us <laughs> to hold hands as we go there? Just in case. <laughs> Is it all right, you know? <laughs> there are still some peacekeeper patrols around. I think it's safer if I can also use the power to rewind time. Well, if you do not mind. <sighs> That's probably kind of nice for her to, like, actually share the responsibility with him a little bit, you know? So interesting. Lives are on the line in this emergency. But holding a friend's hand... Strangely, it calms me down. Makes me feel like all will be well. <laughs> I feel the same way. Having a friend by your side is reassuring in times like these. You've never said that to me! <laughs> and we're soul buddies! Oh my god, girl. Let us depart to the Cafe in Gima district. 
Okay, more quick time? Kinda seems like it. We'll see. <laughs> Yuma's true forte, Riz. <laughs> oh man, Yuma's so cute. Sa oh, Sagittarius. Sea turtle soup is the chef's choice. Get to a restaurant and slurp. No, how dare you? How dare you say that, Galame? I'm unstanding you. Don't, okay, Sagittarius, don't drink the sea turtle soup. Let them live. Save the sea turtles, guys. <laughs> that makes me so sad. Sea turtles are honestly like one of my favorite animals. And they're like so endangered. I'm unstanding. How dare she? How dare she go against them? Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Oh fuck! This is bad. Uh, Wait. <laughs> got distracted. What's wrong? Never mind. Just my imagination. A X Y B. Fine. Trying to remind myself. Well, let's head that way instead. Yeah. Yeah. They're over there too. Uh, why? <laughs> yeah. Huh? There's someone there? Yuma, there is someone heading this way. Uh-oh. What do we do now? Hey! Oh, hey! Over <gasps> here! I saw someone suspicious! Okay. Yeah, got it. Yako for a second, covering for us. Oh, uh, no, no, no! Shit! Oh, God, no! Huh? I forgot which one no. was which! No! You, oh, you fuck! Bastards. I'm dead! No! Come on. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, thank you, Fubuki. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. I forgot which button was A. Okay, okay, okay. A, B, Y, X. Okay. Over here! I saw someone suspicious. Yeah, got it. A again? Okay. Whew. Oh, I feel bad. Huh? Oofer, is it? A B Y X A B Y X. There it is. That's the second camera I set up. If this one explodes, the cafe will be heavily damaged. I may lose my second home. <laughs> that is so tiny. I should have yeah thought it was suspicious that the uh, cameras were so small. Not only that, depending on how strong the bomb is, it could affect all of Gima District. We have to hurry and disarm it. In order to disarm the bomb, you must enter the power. Oh, Jesus Christ. I shouldn't touch the bomb itself. I can disable it using the screen. Do we know the passcode? Fubuki, stay back. It's dangerous. Please take care of things if I fail. No, I shall stay here. We can try again, even if you fail. But I can't control the screen while holding hands. How about this? Mm. Are you <laughs> sure, Fubuki? I have prepared for this moment since our adventure began. Concentrate on disarming the bomb, Yuma. Okay, she's so sweet, man. I like right. her. She's kind of dumb, but she's sweet. Okay, no matter what. Good intentions. I need to disarm this before the time limit expires. Don't make me a widow, death god. Good luck. Oh, what the hell? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh no! You're gonna actually make me do something? Oh, Ginma District's fucked. Select the correct answers in time to defuse the bomb. Incorrect answers or going over the time limit will cause the bomb to explode, so watch out. Okay, yikes. So, wait, how do I. What? Correct answers. Am I just like making it match or something? Oh god, they're so fucking dead, dude. Okay, up, down, left, right, and confirm. I'm so screwed. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. What? What? Oh! Oh, it's a puzzle. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. So it needs to be... This one. Yay! Okay. Oh god. That one was easy, at least. Disarm okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. I didn't get it for a second. <laughs> Confirmed. Detonation circuit severed. Yay! It's you served. Disarmed. Success. You did it. We saved the city. Uh, almost. Wait, it's too early to celebrate. Huh? 
It's got like two more there bombs. Are two bombs left. The next countdown has already started. Thank you, Sean Rizendez. This chapter is why I shift them. And that and her gumshoe gab. Oh yeah, that's what gumshoe gab is. I was like, I saw it in the main menu and I forgot that was what. That's what they call the free time events or something this time, I think. But now the time limit is 45 minutes. That is shorter than the last one, correct? It's like a game. Almost like they're toying with us. <laughs> Let's play a game. It's not almost. They are absolutely toying with yeah, you. for real. Otherwise, why make a mini game out of disarming bombs? <laughs> What's their goal in setting this up anyway? Why make a literal mini game out of it? I was given a fake request to set up the bombs, and now they're making me disarm them with puzzles. They knew they'd get even more heat. And yet still issued a criminal declaration. Yeah, maybe there's like a traitor among the rebellion? Because I just don't see how any of this like is meant to help the rebellion, you know what I mean? What's their end goal? What are they trying to make me do? What is the resistance trying to do for real? Um, Yuma, was no one besides your client home at the resistance's estate? That reminds me, I don't think there was anyone else at the hideout. If they stayed there, they would have been caught. If any of the late client's mm. family were about, we could have asked them about the circumstances. Yeah, for real. You're right. The resistance leaders must know something about this. But since they weren't at the hideout, I don't know where to find them. The one named Servan designated the camera locations. I've tried calling him on the transceiver, but there's no response. I have no idea where he could be. Yeah. Oh man, we haven't heard yet about from Kokichi, dude, in a while. If they were planning to screw you over from the get-go, then that camera guy must have played a role in it. I don't know about that. Maybe he cooperated without knowing the circumstances, like me. There you go, being the trusting doormat. If you are a detective, then you gotta suspect everybody. I think so. I don't know. I'm starting to think that maybe, yeah, it's like a few people in... I don't know, maybe he cooperated without knowing. Uh, dude, how did he make a bomb without knowing? Be for real. Let's be so for real right now, Yuma. <laughs> I thought he was talking about uh, that other guy again. But yeah, no, Kokichi's anyway, definitely in on let's this. Let's head to the third bomb's location. Yes. Okay. The third one is in Kamasaki District. I hope the peacekeepers don't catch us before we get there. <laughs> maybe he made the bomb, but he didn't know it was a bomb. <laughs> They were like, put the gunpowder in this part of the camera. And he was like, oh, why would I do that? That's so crazy. That's so weird. <laughs> but I guess I'll just do it. I got tricked. That's how I got tricked, guys. I feel like these other puzzles are going to be a lot harder. Because that one was pretty easy. Because it was just kind of like going in a circle. But I feel like the other ones are going to be like more ridiculous. We'll see. We'll see. I just got to try not to panic. That's my thing. I panic so much. <laughs> With like timer stuff like this. Just to find my zen. Find my zen and stay calm. More quick time. X A B Y. X A B Y. Huh? Found you! No! <laughs> no! What? <Found you. laughs> Kick the can! Oh wait, the fuck? Shit, no! no. I didn't... Take this! <laughs> Oh, no. What? Damn it! I fucked up! <laughs> it was worth it though! <laughs> I don't even think I clicked at either of the actual buttons. You get away with this! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I panicked right when I was like, don't panic, Weepy! <laughs> I panicked! Oh god, okay, no, the brick! The brick! <laughs> okay, I think it was Y for the brick? <laughs> huh? Found you! Oh no. man. Damn you! Yeah, why? Okay. <laughs> oh god, I think I kind of switched around too, maybe. <laughs> oh, that scene was so funny that though. Was a nice pitch. Now's your chance. Did it, did it, Oh, poor Fabuki. Okay, X. Okay. You bastards! Don't move. Damn you! Let me go! Oh, oh damn you! Help me! Yeah, kick him in the nuts. Hmm. 
Oh, eh? What? Oh, did I not click it in time? Oh, damn, it. damn it! No! Oh, I didn't click it in time? Ah, damn. I just kind of shocked. I was like, wait, she's supposed to do something too? Hey, wait. One day, Help one me. day we'll get through this. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> like, I shouldn't think about that for so long, too. I got him! S thank you. I Come clicked on, it, but yeah, I guess it was too to slow. Hurry. Right. Da -da -da -da. To be a lot of quick time events. Oh man. Who, who's there? <laughs> Shh. Uh. Too loud. It's me. Oh hey, it's our girl. <sighs> I finally found you. Kurumi. What's the black girl doing here? Your school <laughs> time's already over. Your chapter two character, get out of here! I saw you on the news. You're a terrorist, Yuma? Damn, that's crazy, Yuma! No! <laughs> it's a misunderstanding. <laughs> I know. I'd never doubt my hero. Why is she so friendly with you? Go away! By the way, Yuma, despite everything going on, uh oh you're holding a woman's <laughs> hand. You're not too bothered. <laughs> I forgot we were holding her hand. <laughs> Damn. So you're a dog, Yuma. No, this is a formality oh for the investigation. Oh my god. Oh, that sounds like such BS. Pleased to meet you. My name is Fubuki. I am Yuma's partner. <laughs> no, don't say it like that. She's gonna think we're boyfriend and girlfriend. Partner. Yes. Oh my god. In order to share time together, we clutch our hands tight to one another. Oh, this is getting worse and worse. Until Yuma dies. No, even in death, I am sworn to never let go. Girl, you just can't stop, can you? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I love how pissed off her sprite is. Um, please don't misunderstand. Oh this my god. This is necessary for the investigation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sure it is. It totally is, isn't it? Look at you. Surrounded by girls. I hope pervy future criminal detectives like you all explode. Oh my god. <laughs> you are gonna explode soon. Oh, right. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Bomb. I gotta forget about this flirting sides thing. We gotta disarm those bombs. Huh? Bomb? There's another one? Yeah, there's one right in front of us. Oh yeah, literally right there. This is this a bomb? Oh god. What's going another on puzzle. Here? There's no time, so I'll make it quick. Ha! <laughs> no time! Then we go on this huge monologue about it. <sighs> and that's everything. <laughs> now we have about five seconds to stop that bomb. I see. Yuma, you got dragged into a big mess. You really are a master detective. Trouble seems to seek you out. Everywhere you go, luck goes with you. I'm not lucky. Oh, you've got me instead of luck. <laughs> anyway, so you only set up the bombs at those four locations? Hmm? Yeah, why? Interesting. So the flooding in Maranomon District probably has nothing to do with it. Hey, Peanut. Oh my goodness. You wanna say hi to everybody? Oh my goodness. He always wants me to leave my desk to pet him. I'm sorry, buddy, you gotta come here if you want pets. Flooding? I'm about to <laughs> probably, well, try to disarm a bomb, Peanut. <laughs> I'm probably gonna let it destroy the town, though. Just oh a little goodness. while ago, a flood started in Maranamon District. Now it's over a meter underwater. Oh. Should it be because Whoa. of the first explosion? Oh, probably, damn. But the only damage back then was to the phone booth. I don't remember any pipes bursting. That was a pretty small explosion, I think. Yeah. I went to see where the explosion took place. There wasn't much damage to the surrounding area. But if it has nothing to do with the bomb, why is there flooding in Maranamon District? Hmm. A flood started in Maranamon District, which is now over a meter underwater. Yuma, perhaps our concerns should be for the bomb again. <laughs> I believe yeah. we're running out of time. It's pretty bad when Fubuki's having to call you out. Right. We need to disarm that bomb right now. Kurumi, you need to get to someplace safe and hide. 
I love that her jacket says 999 on it. All right, let's do this. Okay, okay, we can do this. Yes, let's. Okay, hopefully this pattern's easy like the last one. Okay, bomb defusal. Ready, start. Okay, ULD question mark? The fuck? You, what? Lud? Ludwig? <laughs> Duel? Dulb? Lude? <laughs> Lebed? The fuck? What is this? D. L. What is this? What does this mean? Error. What? Error. <laughs> what? Bomb will detonate in five seconds. Five. Four. Three. My bad! I had a feeling this was gonna happen. Oh, fuck. Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ, poor Fabuki, dude! Fubuki. Poor Fabuki! Oh, God! But my body cannot. <laughs> you are fucking me up so hard right now! Are you right? Oh, no. Oh, no, I was too loud. Peanut left too. I'm sorry, Peanut. Oh god. Okay. I think. Okay. Oh, okay, it is. Left. So, like, left, right, up, down. Like that. Okay. <laughs> I was so confused. I was trying to put a word together. Arming code accepted. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, man. Confirmed. Detonation Yay! <sighs> I managed to disarm it. Oh god. Only one Wait, Kurumi, Oopsie. you're here? Bad. Why didn't you run away? I want to do my part too. While you disarmed the bomb, I was thinking the whole thing over. And I'm sure of it. Something must be happening behind the scenes here. Huh? What do you mean? The strange request you were given is one thing. But isn't this Shachi guy dying also bizarre? Pretty weird. A criminal declaration being immediately sent to the peacekeepers seems out of place too. Yeah, it's just the whole thing is so weird. And th there definitely is like some traitor in their group or something. And we gotta figure out who or something. All that does is hurt the resistance's plans. That's right, but... When laying out the facts on the surface, if something seems inconsistent, then there must be a hidden truth. I'm just repeating what my grandpa said, but I think it applies to this case. I see. I can't accept Shachi's death. I refuse to believe he would try to frame me and destroy the city. He didn't seem like the type who'd do that. So we have to investigate. I'll go and check out the Resistance's hideout. Oh, man. She is gutsy, isn't she? Huh? Oh, bye, Demon30. Thanks for stopping by. I know I should probably eat soon, too. It's been a while, hasn't it? You can go there. <laughs> the peacekeepers are all over Doya District. I'm Kanai Ward's best informant. I'll absolutely get any info that will help you solve the case. Wait, you can't go there alone, Kurumi. It's too dangerous. Don't worry. It's not the first time I've taken risks. Once I'm done, we'll meet up at the hotel in Kamasaki District. Okay. The master detectives are staying there, right? Oh, are they? I'm off. Wait, Kurumi! There she goes. She sure seems lively. Are they actually there? I'm a little... No, I'm really worried for her. But I have no choice except to trust her right now. Anyway, we need to handle the next bomb. The countdown has already started. This one is 30 minutes. Okay. The time limit got even shorter. <laughs> Um, Lord. Is the next bomb in a secret shrine in the middle of a desert? Yeah, totally. No, it's in the shrubbery at Etheria Academy. Let's go disarm it. Yeah, I can't see any good reason as to why you would plant a bomb at like a... I don't know, like a school. If you're like, you know, supposed to not be terrorists. Oh, hold on. That's... I just remembered. One of the resistance leaders said he had a shop in Kamasaki District. Oh, yeah. I own a small shop in Kamasaki District. We might be able to find resistance members there. We still have 30 minutes, so I think we can oh, make it in time. <laughs> Always cutting it so close. Of course. 
Adventurers oh my god. And detectives both seek out the truth. Shouldn't we do the bomb first and then come back here? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe we could do that? But no. Where is this Fine. shop you speak of? Um, wait. What kind of shop did Margalaw say he owned? It's like a picture frame? The old store? guy who said he hated Amaterasu, right? I think so. Probably some old guy shop. <laughs> yeah. And old really guy narrows it down. Shop? Let's look around and see if anything fits that description. It's like picture. Oh, it's art. That's what it was. I think I was getting it confused with this little glossary thing. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh shit! See, that sure looks like an old guy shop. I was totally right. Okay, hey, suspicious relax. old man. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to talk. You're not here to kill me? <laughs> oh, Jesus! Kill you? Of course not. <laughs> well, we tried to kill you like 20 times, so just kind of made sense. Why would you think that? <laughs> you probably think the Resistance framed you. And you didn't? The request Shachi gave me has made me a suspect for terrorism. I, I know nothing about those bombs. I really don't. You don't know? Oh, thank you, Sleepy Boy, for being a member for 11 months. Love the stream. Happy I can watch it on my birthday. Oh, that's so awesome. Happy birthday. Hope you have an awesome day. Thanks for stopping by. Listen. Sure, uh, I'd love to see Amaterasu get blown up. But I wouldn't take advantage of someone uninvolved. Revenge must be taken with our own hands. Or it's meaningless. This is the same dude who said something like... Oh, if you're not with us, you're like with Amaterasu, though. I don't, I don't know. You Maybe it's my old man way, phobia coming in. Other members of the resistance may feel differently. I manage all the bones. If this was planned by the team, there's no way I wouldn't have heard about it. I feel like I probably trust the Kokichi kid the least, honestly. What was his name? Severin or something? But he was the one who made the bombs. It's like, how do you not know that you made bombs? You know what I mean? This bombing is completely unrelated to the resistance. The only possible explanation mm. is Shachi acted on his own. And my explanation is that you're full of it. Shachi? I don't know. But Shachi Definitely not him. suicide on the roof of your hideout. What? what? Shachi's dead? That's impossible. It's true. I found his body. The peacekeepers were chasing him before he shot himself in the head with his own gun. That's not possible. Even if he was cornered, Shachi isn't the kind who'd kill himself. Wait. Hold on. Did you say with his own gun? Yeah, that one that girl made. Is there something I should know about it? I think so. After you left the hideout to do the job, something happened. Ow. Shachi had just returned to the office after mediating a fight. Oh yeah, it was like the fight outside or something. After that was done, he put the gun back in the safe and securely locked it. So somebody got it out of the safe again. So what? You sure are dense. Are you really a detective? <laughs> Damn. What if Shachi's death was not a suicide, but a homicide? Whoa. You think someone else took Shachi's gun from the okay. safe and shot him? Well, maybe he is innocent, because he's actually uh, kind of saying this. I figured if he was guilty, he would just be like, Yep, yeah, Shachi definitely offed himself. Yep, yep, sir. Yes, sir. No need to look into that. If that's the case, there aren't many people who can open that safe. There's still a chance Shachi took the gun out himself and maybe had it taken from him. No. The chances are far too slim. Because Shachi would never draw his gun. Since the gun was concealed, don't you think it'd be difficult to take it from him? Even if you were up close? It's true, he didn't draw his gun in front of me. In fact, it even seems like he actively avoided doing so. He was so. a peaceful man. He was pacifist. The safe was only recently brought to the office. Not many people know how to open it. Only the leaders in the hideout at the time knew anything about it. Okay. Safe was only recently brought to the hideout, and only the resistance leaders knew how to open it. Well, besides the us. The leaders but... <laughs> of the hideout were Icardi, yep. Servan, 
Mm. Iruka, and you, Margala. I had nothing to do with it. I returned to the store after you left the hideout and spoke to customers the whole time. And don't go accusing me. This is old man phobia right here. If you suspect me, then talk to them. I'm no liar. So he has an alibi. I'd like to check what the customers say, but... Yeah, we kind of have a bomb to defuse, you know, so... We've <laughs> been talking to this guy for quite a while. I'm sorry, Fubuki, just a bit long. Oh my god! Are you serious? Margala, do you know where the other leaders are? Bro! I don't know. I haven't gone back to the hideout since. What can you tell me about the other leaders? You want me to sell out my comrades? Exactly. If only the leaders could have taken the gun and murdered Shachi, then they're all suspects. If one of them did murder Shachi, wouldn't you want to know? After all, that's why you told me about Shachi's gun, right? Mm, uh, fine. Mm. I'll tell you. Okay. What should I ask about? And we got time to ask about all of them. Don't worry. There's nothing important that we need to be doing. <laughs> yeah, let's ask about Margala first. <laughs> okay, let's just go in order. Can you tell me about Icardi? He was originally a competitive swimmer. He's proud of his physical prowess and works as a delivery man. I heard Shachi himself invited him to join the resistance. He's an athlete? Do you have more details about that? I don't know much more than that. Though he did say he was good at any sport that requires diving okay. into water. I was like, I don't know if there was any area where he could have dived into water after he shot Shachi, you know? I feel like that could be a thing, but I don't know. I don't think there is anywhere that was really that covered with water. He's also intelligent and good at what he does, but seems apathetic toward other people. That's true. Icardi used Icarly used to be a competitive swimmer. If it's a sport that involves diving into water, he's likely good at it. Okay. Servon. Can you tell me about Servon? He manages all the mechanical tinkering for the resistance. Although security devices are his specialty, he also knows how to make bombs. Bombs? No way! That's so crazy! I never would have guessed little Servani could make bombs! What? Uh, he originally specialized in them. But I doubt he'd do anything flashy, <laughs> given his personality. It's like, why is Yuma acting so shocked? He tends to be a shut-in and was bullied in the past. Aww. I heard a classmate pushed him into an irrigation channel oh. in the Runamon district as a prank some time oh, ago. Oh, Jesus. He miraculously survived, but he was knocking on death's door for three days. He didn't speak to anyone for a few years after that. Machines were his only friends. Even now, he's traumatized from that close call drowning. He told me he still has flashbacks about it. Servan is a good is good at mechanical tinkering of all kinds, specialized in security devices, but is also known but also knows how to make bombs and has a lot of trauma from bullying. I guess he could have like revenge he wants to pull out on some of these people in these areas, like uh, that one district, the Monima district. Savan once nearly drowned in an irrigation channel, which caused him lasting trauma. I don't know, it's just kind of making it seem like maybe the elf guy, Icardi, <laughs> Cardi B, Icarly. <laughs> is more suspicious just because it's kind of mentioning like, oh, that guy's good at swimming and this guy almost drowned, so not good at swimming. I guess we'll see. Okay, Ruka, this crazy, this Can crazy you tell me bitch. About Ruka? <laughs> the only woman leader in the resistance. She's unruly with no glamor or charm. She has a ruthless personality too. I hear she was once a competitive shooter. She and Shachi often trained with firearms together. As you know, Shachi never tried to rely on his gun. What do you mean by competitive shooting? Handguns, sniping, clay yeah. pigeons, rifles. She's an athlete who can use anything. I guess it had to be with his gun that he used, right? So I was like, it really makes the most sense that yeah, she would have sniped him. Shachi's gun was specially made. It was designed by Aruka. It's ironic that it was used to take his life. Aruka used to be a competitive shooter. She and Shachi often train with firearms together. 
Chachi's gun was specially designed and assembled by Aruka. Okay, let's ask about you now, old man. Since we got Can plenty you tell of time. Me about yourself, Margola? Me? I'm just an ordinary old man. If anything, I was a former Amaterasu employee. I mentioned this before, but I handled the financials. Okay. About the alibi you mentioned, can you prove it in any way? I just told you. I was speaking to customers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you want me to bring them over? How dare you ask me to prove it? No, I don't have time. Then check the shop security camera. The footage is all here. Wait, did I mention water guns for the girl? I see I'll talk about water guns. Did I just, uh, clay pigeons? No, nah, she didn't mention water guns. She's probably good at water guns, though. <laughs> Unharmed. Here's the footage. Take her with you. Okay. Thank you. Given that confidence, I bet his alibi is legit. Okay. Yeah. Damn it, I always want to blame the old men. Security footage of Margalo's shop. He was talking to a customer at the time of the crime. But what if this is security footage from last week and he just gave it to us and pretended like it was today? I'm on to you, Margala. I'm on to you. Seems like we got some information about their leaders. Shouldn't you be thinking about the case after you disarm the bomb? If you fail to disarm it, you'll turn into dirty fireworks. Yeah, for real. Right. Let's go <laughs> disarm the bomb now. Fabuki's like, we literally have like five minutes left. Margala. Thank you for the information. If any of the resistance leaders come here, please mention I'm looking for them. Will do. At any rate, you better believe Amaterasu's pulling the strings on this one, too. Now you always think that. I hope you can upstage them on behalf of Shachi and me. Ah, uh, that's sad. I do feel bad the for Shachi. Is in a secret fort on top of a snowy mountain, <laughs> right? Yeah! No, it's in the shrubbery at Etheria Academy. Let's hurry. We can't let it explode. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm nervous about this puzzle. We'll see. The last one, I was so confused. <laughs> it's like, the fuck does this mean? Virgos! We already did that one. Does anybody even know if they're uh, off East Jesus? <laughs> off East Jesus? Never heard of that one before. Riverbank. Due to polluted water, as river really caught. That reminds me of like, there's some lakes like close to my house where it's like, I'll just put it later. It's like funny, but kind of sad. X A B Y X A B Y. Shit, 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 shit. At this rate, we will be caught. We have to go now. This is bad. Uh, L, okay. Wait, did I do it? Uh, I didn't do it in time? Jesus, they don't give me any time. Really? I, 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 what? I, how, 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 how did I not do that quick enough? Holy crap. At this rate, we will be caught. We have oh my go God. Now. Okay, 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 okay. This is bad. This oh my God. So you really didn't do it in time? Or did I push it to the right on accident? I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Whew. Oh, man. Are you all right, Fubuki? Yes. I believe I could carry on. To be some very uh, dangerous jaywalking. <laughs> Time to die from the bomb again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Forensic Forte. Crosswalks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're not supposed to jaywalk. I know that much. Where the Sagittarius one? Oh yeah, that was the sea turtle soup. So sad. <laughs> Almost there. Probably just a the picture of a changed. camera. It's like pasted on top of it. <laughs> just to make it kind of look like a camera. This is the last bomb. We still have time, so please remain calm. I'm trying to, girl. I'm trying to. Oh no, I can't remain calm. I'm stressed. I'm so fucking stressed. 
Okay, oh god. <laughs> 19 seconds? What? What? I, no? Fuck, I don't know, I just picked Error. something! <laughs> Bomb will detonate in five seconds. Oh, I missed up. Oh god, I should have looked at it longer. I didn't know what it meant! I didn't know what it meant! Oh god, poor Fabuki. Girl, you're gonna be doing this a lot, I think. Yuma, are you doing this on purpose? I'm not trying to! Sorry, I'll it's make tough. sure to disarm it this time. What does this even mean? Okay, okay, okay. Um. Um, okay, so it's like a cube, I think? Oh, it's like what the cube is supposed to look like, maybe? No, I have no fucking clue. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Disarming code accepted. Detonation circuit severed. That was mostly a guess. <laughs> mostly a guess, but I, I kind of, I guess, an educated guess just looking at it, but whatever. I'll take it. I'll take it. Confirmed. Detonation circuit. Yay. Oh, wonderful. It's just, oh, it Whew. came off. Stressful, man. Yuma. You have graduated from being a terrorist. <laughs> Wait, is that it? Doesn't this seem too easy? The screen is pitch black and won't turn on. After all that noise about the revolution, there's no closing message. Yeah, I just kind of had to like think quick. I was just, like, there's a lot of red, so I guess I'll choose the one with the most red on it. But hey, I'm glad I don't have to do puzzle again. What is the matter, Yuma? You look like the chief when he misses the chance to have a meat bun. I'm surprised it came off so easily. Yeah, for real. I was prepared to be strung along by this game a bit longer than this. Perhaps this is the fairness and equality that the terrorists yearn for? You won in a fair game. Your opponent must admit defeat. I hope that's the case. How is this fair? There's nothing fair about it. You were framed as a terrorist and forced into a game you didn't agree to. Yeah, that part kind of sucked, but, but you know. But someone who does cowardly <laughs> stuff like that also admit defeat so easily? So you're saying disarming all the bombs doesn't mean our opponent has lost? If that's the case, what was the point of the bomb threat? What was I being made to do? Is this a distraction while they kill other people in the resistance? I don't know. Fubuki, I don't think this is over yet. It does seem like some kind of distraction, though. Huh? Are there more bombs? No, I think this string of terror acts using the bombs needs to be reconsidered. We still haven't figured out the mastermind behind this case. Yeah, for real. So now we face whoever is behind this terror conspiracy? <laughs> I have been waiting for this moment. Now we are in an adventure detective story. Where do we start our investigation? Uh, that reminds me. I promised I'd meet Kurumi at the hotel. Oh, uh, yeah. The other detectives are supposed to be Fumuki. there, too. Let's head to the hotel Apparently. in Kamasaki District for I guess now. we'll see. All right. And so our investigation adventure begins. She is an informant, so maybe. Man, we have been going for almost five hours. I don't know when would be a good time to stop. There's just been so much happening. <laughs> like, there's no good time to kind of like, you know, <laughs> chill out. I feel like we could have a decent bit more in the investigation, though, because I don't know if we really have that much evidence yet. I'm not really sure. Double check, I haven't missed any donations. I think I've been okay. Okay, no, I think I've been good. Cool. Rumi isn't here yet. Wow. I feel much more relieved being back at the hotel. Okay. I rarely ever run around like this, so I am feeling quite winded. Okay, I'm pretty close to Mystery Labyrinth. Okay. Well, that let's rest on the sofa until Kurumi arrives. I hope she's okay. 
Honestly. Sit on a sofa. No, Vivi, I miss you. Is that his stuff? <laughs> he just like leave his books there. <laughs> just left his young adult teen novels there. Oh, Vivia. Where are we supposed to go? Just like chill on the couch or something was what she said. What did they say? Thrust on the sofa. Don't stand, sit on a sofa. Okay, here's a sofa. Yuma! Bubuki! Thanks for waiting! <gasps> Kurumi! I'm glad you're okay. We just got here ourselves. How was your investigation at the hideout? Did everything go okay? Yeah, it went great. Looks like you took care of the bombs on your end. By the way, you don't need to hold hands yeah. I thought that was so important for the investigation, Yuma. I, I told you, <laughs> it's a, uh, it's for the investigation. Oh man. <laughs> I know. I'm just teasing. Teasing my master is worthy of a vicious boom kill. So did you find anything out? The peacekeepers were scouring the hideout, but no one was inside the building itself. It was easy to sneak in, but I didn't find any documents or evidence. Maybe all the important stuff is inside that safe. Oh, the one that looks really sturdy? I was unable to open it, but I couldn't come back empty-handed. So I copied the security camera footage. Okay, Jesus. It's a video from the emergency stairs. I saw you in the footage, oh. so I grabbed it just in case. <laughs> That's great, Kurumi. I wanted to check that footage anyway. Just grab it, you know, in case you need to get rid of any evidence. Hey, Peanut, you down here? Oh my goodness. What's up, Nolan? No man? problem. Informants are all about give and take. Then how about I take your life? Let's check the video right now. I'll borrow a device from the front desk. Okay. Like that makes us look so suspicious. The only person in the video <laughs> is Yuma. I went to the roof following Shachi. Oh my the peacekeepers were blocking the indoor stairs, so I used the emergency stairs on the outside. I don't know if I can see him too well, but he's chilling. He just sitting next to me, chilling. He's so cute. I love him so much. I don't know if y'all heard him meow too. He's got a little baby meow. She's just like a little meow. <laughs> he's so but cute. Halfway up, I heard Good a job, gunshot, buddy. so I ran up the stairs. That's when I saw Shachi's oh body. My goodness. I fast-forwarded to the relevant footage, but it doesn't seem like anyone else used the emergency stairs. There was one gunshot, and only Shachi was on the roof. He was even holding the murder weapon. Okay. Perhaps it is best to consider it a suicide. Yeah, but that's too easy. The security footage of the emergency stairs. The security footage of the emergency stairs. No one but Yuma has shown. So you think Shachi was chased by the peacekeepers, thought the revolution had failed, and took his own life? I disagree. I mean, I thought that in the beginning, but something seems off. Off? Poor baby. How so? He's so sad, Pina. You just want you just want mommy to play with you and give you pets, huh? That's so sad. That's so sad, little buddy. To start, was Shachi really being chased by the peacekeepers? If he was fleeing them, he could have taken the emergency stairs. The peacekeepers weren't near the emergency stairs, so it was a safe way out. Maybe he heard your footsteps coming up and mistook you for them. Peanut always likes to move away from me when I'm petting him, so that's why I'm like going more and more off screen. <laughs> what is that, little buddy? Why do you do that? Why are you sitting on a switch container? That's cute. Even so, killing himself before confirming it was a peacekeeper seems too rash. Besides, I only started up the stairs shortly after Shachi ran to the rooftop. There was still time to flee before he heard my footsteps. I see. I see. So there had to be another reason he stayed on the roof. Okay. But what could it be? Let me read through some of this since I was kind of distracted petting Peanut. <laughs> uh, let's start the stairs himself seems too rash yeah it was like literally yeah that's kind of what i thought too he could have taken the emergency stairs it's like why would he need to like shoot himself in order to like run away you know what i mean hmm that's the problem yeah hmm. 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 
one of them is just pretending to think. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that too. She's like, oh, I should make that noise too. So Yuma thinks I'm smart. Shanji had time to run away, but he stayed on the roof. Oh, right. This is a bit off topic, but I got some information about the flood in Marnamon District. Okay. There was a wireless bug inside the Resistance hideout, and I heard the peacekeepers talking on it. Mm. The flooding was due to the Ombre Electric Power Plant. Ombre Electric Power Plant? Kane Ward's hydroelectric power plant that harnesses falling rain. They say it's a clean, green energy source. It gathers rainwater throughout oh, the city yeah. and drains it to the power plant. I remember that now, yeah. And the power plant was also... Yep. Oh. Made by Amaterasu. Okay. Who could have guessed an Amaterasu power plant would be a problem right now? Kanai Ward's hydroelectric power plant. The harness is falling rain. They said it's clean green energy source. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't trust them. Suicide, I mean... Bomb threat and flooding. If it's all just coincidence, then this place is cursed. Like, it seems like it'd be a pretty green, clean way to get energy, but it's kind of hard to trust anything Amaterasu says. Well, to be fair, you're the one who's cursed, Master. I don't think it's a coincidence. There must be some kind of connection. An Amaterasu power plant. I want to investigate it, but it probably isn't safe. But it could be related, right? Then we have to go. Yes, let's. An exciting adventure mm -hmm. awaits us. She's just always down for an adventure. That's right, Fubuki. Finding the truth itself is an adventure. Yuma, if you hesitate, the truth will get away from you. Then again, I'm just repeating what my grandpa said. It's getting really hard to <laughs> say no now. <laughs> Girls got their eyes at Master is suddenly helpless. That's not it. Despite the danger, we have to go. We can't let the peacekeepers pursue us forever. All right, let's go to the power plant. Okay. Yes, let us all join together and solve this case. Yep, let's go. Time to head to Marnamon District. Okay. Let's not do anything reckless. Last place, it seems like. I might stop here and do the other part, uh, do the rest of the investigation next time. I'm pretty hungry. It's been a while, I didn't eat enough, I don't think. Oh, whoa. Well. Uh-oh, no more quick time criminals. events. <laughs> okay, what do I gotta do now? L, okay. Wait, did I not do it in time? God damn it, what? Did I, am I pushing it up? What is going on? What? I, I could have sworn I did it. What? I don't understand. Is my controller broken? I found you, you vile criminals. <laughs> I guess I just didn't do it in time, or I pushed it up or something? Okay. Stop resisting! <laughs> I guess I must have pushed it up on accident or something. You criminals! Dun, 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 Oh God, shit, oh God. I'm too tired and hungry to do this mini game right now. Okay, okay. I did not realize there was more. Wait. What? Okay, X, oh, L, God damn it. Pain. Ah, man, that's so quick. Oh my God, I'm sucking so bad right now. That's enough. Okay. <laughs> You have nowhere to run. Give yourself up. This is bad. Oh, uh, oh, jump, maybe? Look. Right! Yeah! Let's go! A, okay. Woo. Okay! Got away. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why I was so bad at that that time. Being a commercial area, it's relatively crime free. Grade A, meat bun shop. Oh, it's the meat bun shop. Kanai Tower. 
Uh, tallest building in Conai Ward, especially high-ranking people with an Amaterasu corporation and their families live there. Margawal's photo frame. Oh yeah, I think I did a little bit of that. What happened? Oh Jesus this Christ! This is just a flood. It's all underwater. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> that was really bad. Marimon District was so severely flooded that the water level reached the second floor of buildings. It looks wow. Like the swamps we left. What was that place called? Oh wow. Gaia District. This was one of the really nice districts too. I know I have made the same mistake in the past, but did everyone in the city leave their water running? <laughs> Girl. Kabuki, <laughs> you're so funny. No, she's not. She's just really that stupid. <laughs> I think she was serious. From what I can tell, there aren't any peacekeepers around here. I'm sure they prioritize eliminating the resistance over rescuing citizens. But now's our chance to see the power plant if you want. Okay. The we power get plant there? is up ahead, right? How do we get there? Hey, I see a oh. boat over there. Oh, we used the boat? Maybe Whoa. someone used it to evacuate. It's like the minigame chapter. I've never been on a boat okay. before. Okay. So I guess... Excited. Uh, yeah, I guess I might stop here. I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> I didn't really eat too much today. I probably should eat more since I knew I was going to be streaming for a while. Okay, somebody did say I got really uh, quick in order to help, like, Fubuki shine. So it does make me feel a little bit better <laughs> that I haven't just gotten really horrible at these. And I was like, man, some of those really are so quick. It's like once I process what I'm supposed to do, it's already, like, gone. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, I might go ahead and call it... Call it. <laughs> oh, my God. Coffee all, all of a sudden became a New Yorker. Call it quits uh, here. I'm getting yeah, pretty tired and hungry. But um, I will stream a little bit earlier this week. I'm planning on stream... I plan to stream on Friday, I think. Um, the rest of this chapter, since uh, I'm going to be going out of town on Saturday to visit some of my family for a little bit. But, um, yeah, we'll uh, pick this up on Friday, and yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to finish the labyrinth that night. I think Friday, yeah, makes the most sense, since people could stay up later, since, you know, it's a Friday. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you guys then, and I should have another video going up this week sometime of me reacting to FNAF lore yet again, which was quite a trip. <laughs> So I uh, hope you guys will look forward to that as well. And yeah, thanks guys for coming. It's been a very interesting chapter so far. I was kind of worried about chapter three being a little like, I don't know, not as good. Just because, you know, Danganronpa kind of tends to have some weird chapter threes. But it's been really interesting so far with the resistance and all that. And uh, yeah, interested to see what else happens. But uh, thanks guys for coming to the stream. And let me kind of get my outro video ready. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!